the roar, an electric hum that stems out over the desert. It's almost an audio-visual sensation. It passes through the air almost as a weather effect. People try to classify it almost as a thunderstorm or a tornado. Problem being, it occurs every six or so hours exactly on the dot. This time, bit by bit, has been inching backwards, the roar becoming a more consistent thing. It washes over the desert around you, your tiny van bouncing from pothole to pothole. It stretches through the air and seems to distort space. Argos, you're shoved free of the van and given a very unenviable task. The thing got lodged in a nearby pothole and for some reason, you were tasked with getting this thing moving again. Someone else was already intrepidly sent out into the wilds, but with the roar kicking around, you almost feel a prickling sensation in your eardrums. The cool desert air washes over your head. <laughs> you move your way around the van, stuck. Yeah, flames lick around the very bottom of the car. You've been assured that this is harmless, a simple effect of the desert's unique Ecology? Biology? Geography. Yeah, that's the one. You look down, they're harmless. They do nothing, but just the same, always an eerie sight. Walking back and forth, they look at your feet as well. You hear a struggle, a slip, and a fall in the back. <sighs> Heavy sigh. Oh, hey, um trying to get this thing moving, but uh, she sort of like gestures down. I'm giving me a hand. Uh, okay. <laughs> she moves over, gives you a little space. Oh, you're Argos, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. You're... Uh, Mike says you're a little shy. Don't worry, I won't pry too much. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You, you look at the person immediately to your right. The two of you put hands on the van and lift. You're both incredibly scrawny. <laughs> Progress seems to be nearly impossible. I could pick up all the flame in the desert and I wouldn't be able to move this thing. I don't know why I came out first. Uh, thanks for joining me. We might not be the best ones for the job. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Give me a sec. She moves up and over. Knocks on the window and... From inside... Slowly departs. Hey, movie star, help us out. I... you... you... oh yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> I... I go over there, but uh, I need control of my icon. Oh, you gotta get legs? Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Oh, Movie Star wants to wants to walk. walk. Okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> let me see. Do me a favor. Describe how you uh, move the van. Describe your mood. Uh, Ace was uh, leaned back in a chair, just relaxing. Uh, Riddle was very insistent that uh, they could handle this sol solution, so Ace was like, "Okay, cool, I can just chill." And then uh, Riddle came up, knocked on the window, and was just like, "Yeah, that's a." Uh, I was kind of hoping for too much if I was expecting Riddle and uh, Argos to uh, push this thing or anything. Uh, so he just uh, casually hops out, sand kicking up in the air, uh, coat waving in the wind, uh, and he uh, will probably start uh, moving down to help them push this, this tiny van. It's not tiny, it's a large van. I mean, it's, it's, got, plenty of, it's, it's got plenty of room. Look in the back. I mean, the van, it could be bigger. I, I don't it's know. It's you're trying to push it. Just... <laughs> Can you move Ace? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Uh, uh <laughs> she like, she like looks over at uh, you is like, okay, join in. Let's all go at once. 
Uh, I mean, you guys can. Someone needs to be in there to steer. Uh, I can. I can push it myself. It's fine. Oh. Oh, sorry. There's plenty of people inside the van. They're all crowded around the windows watching you attempt this farce. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That checks out. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. I should probably be in the middle because I'm, uh, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she moves over and gives no, her space. No offense, it's not like you're weak or anything, it's just, you know, it's a van. Uh. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and she, like, looks up, and uh, you see on the inside of the van, there is what appears to be a long... A long rectangular... A long rectangular... I'm, I'm struggling to call it a device, because there's no way around it. You're transporting a coffin. Yeah. I mean, checks <laughs> out. I don't know why we had to pick this thing up. Um, I have a theory what's going on with it, but... Well, whatever. Okay, let's go. Yep. Okay. Uh, on, on three, okay? Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three! And you start shoving. The three of you in the van pitches forwards, and you almost clear the, uh... You almost clear this, like, little divot that you wound up in, and... The motion and the effort upset someone else within the van. <laughs> she riddle peeks her head around the, the outside. Willow, uh, hell. <laughs> I, yeah, why? Why do you get to sit inside? Come on, you, you're you're like I, riddle. Just uh, stop. Let riddle. Let Willow take yeah your space. Not saying you're weak or anything. I'm just saying that like. <laughs> Riddle like looks over to Argos and is like, "Well, yeah, seems like you got stuck with the crappy job." Salutes and takes a step backwards. Argos shrugs. <laughs> I mean, you you can stop too if you want, Argos. It's a. Uh... I, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, all right, Willow, get over here. So you're in need of my expertise. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Just push the thing, please. All right. Okay. On one. On on three. I I I. Oh, I, on, I, on two. I. <laughs> the third Riddle number. Is, Riddle uh, is three. looking at you and just smiling. <laughs> okay. I said, I said three. I, you said on one. Okay. Never mind. One. Two. I push. Th <laughs> <laughs> you push, and everyone else lurches forward. Ace, your feet are set. The van actually shoves ahead with just Willow, like, driving it, almost like an engine in the back of a boat. Argos, you are yanked along. <laughs> and it comes to a halt, and the guy up front is like, peeks his head out the window. What the hell was that? Did we get hit by something? No, we're pushing. The... Why aren't you out here pushing the van? Well, because I am driving the van. <laughs> I, Riddle can drive the van. You can get out here. You got yeah, muscles. I can drive the van. I, I can drive the van. Or I can drive. No, you don't want her to drive. You don't want this thing drifting all it's... over the desert. You want to wind up in another ditch? This is how we wind up in another ditch. <laughs> this thing isn't drifting anywhere. It's not even driving. Oh. Oh, it can drift. <laughs> uh, look, okay, just get it moving however you were doing it before. You Y'all can hop on the back or something. We're in the middle of the desert. Just chill, vibe a little. Live for once in your goddamn lives. <laughs> he rolls up the window. Yeah, easy for the guy like, in the front seat to say. Yeah, seriously, let me drive the car. I'll show you how to live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm joining in this time. I felt bad I was left behind. Yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah. Ready? Thank yeah. You. Okay. Okay. On two. On, on three. On two. On three. Okay. One, two, three. Three. Okay. Everything <laughs> goes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Before too long, the van actually gets moving, uh, hopping along, bouncing along the road immediately in front of you, and Riddle pretty deftly hops up on the back, offers you a hand, Argos. Thank you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I offer Ace a hand. <laughs> Ace will take it uh, and drag Willow up with him. <laughs> Your entire crew winds up on winds up on top of the van. Uh, you you heard a pop in your shoulder, Argos. Uh, but you drive forwards across the desert, sort of towards the roar, enough away that it won't fry the various circuitry within the van. 
out here without obstacles. This sort of interference will cause machinery like this to shut down. There was a worry for a split second that your van stopped moving due to a similar concern. It's rolling now again. You're clear. Yeah. And as you travel, your eyes scan upwards and stare at the stars above. I want you all to note something for me. This won't mm -hmm. come up immediately, but tell me what you look at when you stare at the stars. All of you bouncing along on the back of that van, looking to the heavens above. And okay. Well, I, yeah, you want me to start? Uh, no, uh, hold on to that, at least for the moment. Um, okay. And as your little vehicle carves a path away, we see in the distance Fuse City, a gigantic behemoth. Once the great god of gravity, it was slain a long time ago, and its mechanical remains were repurposed into the greatest city in the entire world. Bit by bit, you lose track of this path. Everything fades upwards, and it's all lost amidst the spark. And another area of the city. A singer begins weaving a calm but determined tale. The entire bar becoming a light for a mom with the sounds of song. The spotlight flicks on, revealing a brilliant stage, and the world seems to be alive around it. And then it moves. A man sitting at the bar, with a wide variety of different drinks in front of him, turns around and almost appraises the air itself. So everyone, welcome to the show. I hope you enjoy yourselves here. If you're looking for a tale of triumph and tragedy, you're in the right place, but it uh, feels like now is exactly the right time to give everybody a little bit of a warning. If you find high tension and gut-wrenching scenarios to be a little stressful, there's nothing wrong with backing off for a bit. Maybe reappraising, coming back. After all, the tale that's about to unfold is going to be hmm, captivating, thrilling, but also maybe a little scary. If you become incredibly invested in the personal lives of others, well, you'll be rooting hard, but you also might find yourself a, at least a little bit afraid. That being said, even in the darkest times, hope always exists on the far side of everything. You keep trying keep beating your head against it until you eventually win, right? That's the whole point of working through a cycle. Try, try, and try again. He, uh, sort of like turns, looks down at his four drinks, taps the table next to one, requesting another. So, without any further ado, why don't we get to it? Hopefully, I'll see y'all on the other side. Now would be a wonderful time for introductions. My name is Jay. I'm the GM for this game. I'm quite excited to bring you an adventure in a setting hopefully unlike anything you've ever seen before. Yeah. Hello, I'm Aloha. I'll be playing Gase Ace Galatine, a uh, movie star, martial artist, and what? Did I fuck up? Sorry, <laughs> doesn't miss. <laughs> <laughs> And also, I control the camera and uh, stream and stuff. So, yeah. Hey, I'm Daxon. <laughs> I'm playing Argos, number one live streamer in all the land. <laughs> Hello, I'm playing Willow, Willow Wisp. Uh, <laughs> she's uh, She's got a lot of heart and a lot of strength to back it up. <laughs> And hello, I'm Brennan, Jibo, Great Black Otaku. I'm playing somebody who hasn't shown up yet, but um, can I say it? Yeah, go for it. I'll be playing Basilisk Id. Fantastic. And we do also, we are joined by our wonderful art director. Okay, I, yes, I am, I am introducing myself. Hi, my yes. name's Roma, I'm the art director, and I play a couple of NPCs. 
again, I'd like to thank everybody for making this project work, making it all come together, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Somewhere at the base of View City. The siren goes off. Another creature from below. The Esper Corps, backed up by, uh, by Geist soldiers, worked to contain a creature that crawled its way out of the great gaping maw known as the Koda. They exchange orders, one to the other. Maintain the perimeter, keep it locked down here until the artillery can fire. On the upper branches of Fuse City, gigantic guns aim downwards. These creatures that come from below are so thoroughly reinforced that the only thing that can destroy them is heavy ordnance. The beast drives forward and bounces off the containment field that they're creating. Many of the espers all shriek in terror. Naturally, the feed gets none of this. Heroic music blares instead. The cannons point inwards. So long as they're uh, fired to the center of the containment field, the blast should be limited to this area and this area alone. Over time, this was the best solution that they could find for these creatures. The Coden Demons, they called them. Beasts from below. And, with a roar, the cannon fires! And, with a roar, the crowd cheers. Not for this scenario. No, 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 no. This plays quietly in the background on a large television screen as a large parade worms its way up the arm of the god. Let me change the music. Let's do uh hmm. How about this tune? It's been it's been a long few years since the Coden invasion began. Finding anything against these creatures, any weapon that proved to be effective was almost impossible. Until, of course, the discovery of the Reflection. A super weapon from the world below. A connection to another world and a manifestation of pure power. This moment, this moment, everyone genuinely believed would be the moment that humanity turned the table on the demon invaders that they would regain a brand new foothold and invert the incoming apocalypse this was the day that the carefully chosen members of flow wave 2 were all invited to opia headquarters to receive their reflection at the front of the pack there's a roar the drones skittering around the surface of the cloud trying to get a better view as everyone cheers. That is Ace Galatine. Ultra schmeated heartthrob. The absolute <laughs> apple of everyone's eye and, by most people's count, the hottest man in the world. The fact that he finds himself at the front of Flow Wave 2 is nothing short of a miracle. Imagine the most famous actor that you can think of, <laughs> and them joining a war to save the fate of the world. And to boot, that very same actor scoring number one in every single placement exam, every aptitude test ever conceived. That is the mythical titan that is a skeleton. Now, as far as this little parade is organized, naturally, they're going to lead with the best first. The number one ranker is out front, but immediately behind him comes the number two. A senator from Skypoint. Her name? List Salaeus. She ran a profitable entertainment district, one of the largest the world over. Skypoint, a nation that flies high, high, high up in the sky, is a rather insulated place. In fact, for the most part, their borders remain closed to all others. The fact that she is down here now and fighting her best for the future of this world is a testament to the gravity of the Coden threat. 
the two sort of progress through the crowd. You hear whispers. He sort of catches up to you and is like, they're making quite the show of this, huh? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is what they kind of just do in the city. It's <sighs> normal. Exhausting. Oh, uh, no. normal, I see. <laughs> she like looks over. So, you're used to being surrounded uh, by crowds like this? Yeah, it's not really that uncommon. I mean, you probably get the same effect, don't you? Hmm, no. I prefer to be far more discreet. Speaking of which, keep up, number one. I'm taking your spot. <laughs> it's fine. They know who I am. <laughs> oh, very, very, very cocky. <laughs> she smiles. I like it. Yep. Mm. So, she turns around. Gossip with me. What type of reflection are you aiming for? What kind of reflection? Uh, mm. something simple, something not life-changing, something that can get me through this, not change me at, at all, and I can just go back to my normal life afterwards. Acting? I thought you gave it up. I gave it up for now, but there has to be life after this reflection shit, don't you think? I suppose there's no point in saving a world that isn't worth living in. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Well, I look forward to working alongside you. You hear the loud whispers like the, oh my God, and then all the camera flashes as you know, this picture of you two walking at the very front of the line is going to be over absolutely every single newsfeed tabloid, absolutely everything that you could imagine. An announcer flicks on, uh, a voice barely chiming in. And that is Ace Galatine, officially in, uh, sponsored by Intuitive Foods, creator of the Electric Squid Chips. Uh, <laughs> she flicks her fan clothes. Oh, you already have sponsors. I have people who do that thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> you two progress off and into the distance. And immediately behind, third in line. The rank three member, scoring high on, high but not too high on most of her aptitude tests, progresses. Though, um, let's say the format of her participation in this parade is quite different than everyone else's. Six terrifying guards carry a stone coffin through the middle of of this parade. Everyone watches in abject horror as they pass by, and uh, one of the guards unhelpfully turns and is like, uh, uh, Geist, be good. <laughs> he says the company's catchphrase as they pass by. Uh, the camera, the camera person, the announcer, focuses in and is like, and that is Basilisk Gid. What do we have on her? Uh, hold on. <laughs> and the camera flips away. Oh, pretty here. Sponsored by i7, we have... Oh, oh, this is the wrong icon. Of course, isn't it? Um... <laughs> well, you know what? The camera's only flicking over to you now. You can take it away. Sponsored by i7, we have international super hit uh, and, <laughs> and video game streamer Argos. You, you feel the focus on you. You feel absolutely everyone's eyes focus from the outside over to you. Argos isn't used to being able to see all their eyes, but, you know, that's okay. It's gonna go for it anyway. Hey, everybody! Thanks for coming out! <laughs> Remember to, uh... You know, uh, subscribe. There's a flick up. Can you do... Can we get a uh, confirmation if they can do that? <laughs> hey, thanks. Hey. Technically speaking, yeah, I think they can. Um, oh yeah, if they're viewing it through the AR, uh, through ah, if they're uh, viewing it through the VR, they'll be able to basically click the link and yeah, right in. Can't believe they didn't let me rehost this. <laughs> it's okay though. Thanks everybody. I think it's technically state secrets or something. I mean, that wouldn't stop us, though, right? We're gonna sneak something in? 
<laughs> uh, let's not give anything away, but, you know, if, if anybody wants to tune in to the next Argo stream, <laughs> see what you can see. Tap your nose. That's a good tell. <laughs> huh? 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 <laughs> no state secrets here. <laughs> the pair travel downwards as the camera recenters. And the fifth ranker is. Uh, I don't know if this one's actually sponsored by anyone. <laughs> There's uh, Willow. You work your way down. It seems like the focus is primarily on you right now. Hey, everybody. Willow waves. <laughs> you wave to the crowd. People wave back. They're like, oh my God, she's stopping and addressing the crowd. Um, there's a... Uh, jog, 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 jog. Yo, yo, number five. Yeah. <sighs> hey, um, uh, number seven's having a rough time in the back. Can you come with me a sec? Uh, what's going on? Uh, uh, I think she's having, like, a minor meltdown back here. <laughs> uh, he, like, runs back over here and he stops as you notice the camera's firmly set on someone who is staring directly up into the not breaking eye contact. Uh, or is like, or leans over, he's like, hey, like, listen, I think she's, like... I think this whole going, progressing by rank thing is, like, not good for her mental health. Uh, you want to do me a favor? Can we all, like, walk arm in arm, confuse the shit out of them? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, hell yeah. Screw these people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Riddle. Riddle's like, oh, uh, oh, Aura. <gasps> Willow, she, like, visibly <laughs> cheers up instantly. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's, let's start walking. Let's stop staring into the camera. <laughs> Like, oh, uh, did you two come back for me? Maybe, maybe not. Could be. Who knows? <laughs> he taps his nose. Argus is onto something. There is something here. <laughs> Riddle like walks is like, um, thanks. I really appreciate it. Doing the whole pageantry thing is <sighs> a little grotesque. <laughs> grotesque? Don't say that to the sponsors. I, I have like one sponsor. How about you guys? I don't think I got any sponsors yet. You- that is a shame. You should get some. I mean, unless... Unless that's adding to the capitalistic grotesquery, in which case... Hmm. <laughs> Her brown it's so like, did you guys... How was training camp for you two? Did you, um... Willa, did you teach them what for? Yeah, I threw a bunch of them around. <laughs> oh, oh, I think God, some of them dude. quit. Oh, God, did she? <laughs> <laughs> you guys travel over. The big thing that you notice is as you move together, the announcer's having trouble keeping up with all of you. He's just like, and that is, huh. It's clear that none of you are recognized by name or face. So there's no actual response. And the crowd actually treats you like, for the most part, support staff, like you're janitors holding up the back or some equivalent like you're carrying everybody else's equipment there's dead silence as you round the corner okay this is a little awkward i gotta say <laughs> all right hold on i, I can fix this Oops. we're just gonna go through this really quick hold on and okay, okay. uh willow's gonna lift both of them and start <laughs> sprinting down oh my god <laughs> riddle immediately the crowd, of the crowd. oh triple witch Woo! <laughs> Those people start fucking just running through the crowd, pushing people being the rudest asses ever now that they can see her above everybody else. You just start clapping loudly, just like, Oh, Triple Witch, yeah! <laughs> Riddle slowly turns over and smiles, just like, Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Willow is physically carrying uh, both of these people. Slop over. There's a momentary disruption as the announcer is like, okay, and they appear to have formed some sort of pyramid. <laughs> Let me click on this. Oh, Willow, um, I'm gonna wait for you, okay? You're you gonna what? Both, I'm gonna wait for you. Both of your hands are full. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle oh, wait, goes. Actually, I, now that I'm in front, I can't see. Hey, is that Willow? It's Willow. Hey, Willow. 
Oh my <laughs> gosh! She stops in her tracks to wave with using Riddle. <laughs> <laughs> riddle, you wave using Riddle like a giant appendage. She does not miss. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for coming out. Um, I think we're holding up the parade, but uh, it's good to see friendly faces. Hey, yeah, we we would ever miss that for for the world, man. It's <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> or it's like, hey guys, I hear you conspicuously not cheering for me. <laughs> well, you know, maybe we would if you didn't know if history didn't repeat itself. Or uh... You still looks on like the someone, Yeah, yeah, it looks like someone can't keep his place in line, or... Uh, I am gonna... Will put me down, I'm about to start shit. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put you in uh, timeout for a second. I'm gonna give yeah, you... Yeah, come and get it, boy! <laughs> put me down, I am ab about to begin shit. <laughs> Be fucking destiny, face best garage in town, this fucking ghost. <laughs> Maria, I think we're gonna continue on. It was nice meeting you guys. Willow, Willow, walk, 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 look at the start. <laughs> <laughs> you continue progressing down as the announcer, having refocused on the stately Ace Galatine, <laughs> as the fight almost breaks out in the last, in the last leg of the line is like, are they moving? Oh, thank God. <laughs> you make it to Opia HQ. More or less in the order that you arrived, so we're gonna we're gonna do these two first, and then those the rest of everyone else will come in. Ah, right. Coffin. <laughs> <laughs> you two are walled from the exit by a wall of people. Well, it looks like it's too back too late to turn back now. That's an incredibly grim way of saying uh there's no way to leave. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, no, 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 that, no, 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 no. That's not what this is about. <laughs> this is one of the, one of the Geist soldiers. Okay. Don't worry about it. No, then I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just keep moving. Okay, all right. She moves forward as a figure in front of you. Walks through the holographic screen. Welcome to OPHQ. I am... The director. Uh, we've I'm met here before. to the direct you. He gestures behind himself. I'm glad you're doing good. I am doing good. Yes. Thank you again for participating in our effort to reclaim our world from the Coden threat. Uh, Ace is going to walk up to him and just kind of squint. Is that you? Is that me? Yes, the director. <laughs> you sound a little more stiff than before. I'm not stiff. I love people. <laughs> Verona appears from behind him and immediately almost shoves him aside. It's like, yeah, yeah, okay, hi. Uh, she like reaches her hand out. Um, uh, yep. A pleasure, a pleasure to see both of you. Um, welcome to Opia. I'm Dr. Barona. She glimmers lightly. Uh, I am the, I'm the head surgeon here, as well as one of the people on the forefront of studying not only anti-coding technology, but also medicine. Um, thank you for joining our effort here today. She gives you, she reaches out a hand, very professionally curtly. This thank is like, you. We're doing this for the cameras, aren't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Verona turns and smiles at a nearby camera. When are we not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was... That was very... very nice. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of relaxes and is like, So, you're going to take us to the reflection hall? Mm -hmm. She kind of nods, turns around, and immediately behind... Flick, flick. Two holograms flare to life. Hey guys. Okay, everyone. We'll be directing you. Um, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This one before, right? He says, looking at the two of you specifically. Yeah. We've oh. done this once before. Hey Cam, how's Perfect. it going? It's going good. How are you doing, man? Eh, normal. Yeah, and I don't. Normal. 
They're not giving you too much problems out there, right? Just nah, a just a normal amount of issues. And uh, Ace leans like past list to the uh, this AI over here. Uh, I don't think I've met you before. My name's Sophie. I'm an AI developed for the assistance of Opio. Right now, I'm sort of general purpose. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Holds out a holds out a invisible hand, and yeah. then mm -hmm. it's about this point. These two catch up. So, uh, Argos, I gotta warn you about one thing. Uh huh. Uh, you look tired. Do you want to get a drink or something? Yeah, it might be time to take a break and have a nice uh, demon energy drink. Yeah, I let's uh, smile let's... at the cameras. <laughs> let's just sneak over here. There's there's like a little there's a little kiosk. She moves over. I wanted to warn you. Uh, all of the AI that we've been working on are really eager to see you. So uh, unless you lie low, you will get mobbed. Okay, you're calming down. That's good. That's good. That's good. To lie low right now. <laughs> that was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. <laughs> That's not objectively true. Remember the 24-hour stream? Fell asleep on camera. Okay, usually, usually I can't see the people looking at me. Please. Okay, Mike, how possible is it to copyright claim all the footage of me from that parade? Uh, just a little... take it all down. Just take Unfor it all down. Unfortunately, slightly, slightly possible. Yeah, you could, you could do that. <laughs> There's... Let's, uh, let's, see, let's see if we can do that. There's another flick. It's like, oh, the other AI are manifesting. I'm really sorry about this. Yo, Argus! Thank wow, you, what's up? Voice. Hey, you're here to get your reflection today, right? Yeah, the big day. It's finally time. Yeah, it's finally time. Hey, is that Ace Galatine over there? Can you give me like a, can you give me an autograph, man? Hook me up. Hook me up, dude. Come on. We're pals, right? Yeah, I mean, you can ask him yourself. He seems no, like a nice enough guy. I, I'd panic. I'd scream and cry. <laughs> you right, know well, me, dude. I got, Come on. I got your back. <laughs> yeah, thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> hey, Mike. Everything going good with our ghosts? Yep. We've become quite an effective duo. I think. <laughs> she looks over for caution. <laughs> I give her an affirmative thumbs up. Relieved. Uh, it's like, come on, let's go, let's go. Over okay. here, Cam, Cam heard danger. Cam heard him go, oh my god, Argos! And like, whatever conversation you two were having, immediately yeah. stopped and his eyes immediately darted over there and it was clear that he wanted to run over there but was trying to be very respectful <laughs> because you were in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> autograph, 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 autograph. <laughs> Yep. Oh man, there's. Huh. It's a lot more AI than I thought. Yeah, there's yeah. uh, there's seven of oh, us. Yeah. Hey, Argos! This guy like puts a hand up. Like, <laughs> it's, it's been a bit. Are are you doing all right, man? I'm doing great. How about you, Cam? I'm doing good. Do you need Do you need me to like? You know, I, I'm sure Mike's got it. Actually, it's cool. <laughs> he backs up. He's like hands up, like he was about to be like, "Do you need me to like get you out of here?" But clearly, Mike's got it. It's good. The second you're like, you're like, do, do you need me to get you out of here? This one feeling responsibility getting taken away from her. And then yeah. you're like, no, it's good. And she's like, <laughs> recenters. Sophie, what's good? <laughs> Hanging in there. I. Yes, it's good to see you again. She smiles at you very brightly. Um, did I hear Danger screaming about an autograph? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Ace? Uh, Ace me? my good buddy Danger. He's saved my life like three or four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Danger. Uh, Ace puts on a, a, a complete, just like, it's like this thing of like, oh yeah, these these AI are, co are, are co-workers. It's fine. I can just be yeah. oh, relaxed. Then it's like, this one wants an autograph and he's just like, oh. Okay, I see how this is going. And so he's just being complete PR face, just nice as possible. Well, it's nice to meet you. It's, thank you for uh, protecting Argos so much. Yeah, of course. Anytime, dude. Uh, so, like, Opie is developing AI to help you guys on the front. So, like, I'll be joining you soon enough. I got a really strong sword arm. But till then, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep yourself alive, my guy. 
Don't die to a big demon. Hey, I won't. Nice. <laughs> These two stare at each other for a split second, innocence sparkling. You see Cam in the back giving you a thumbs up like a, hey, thanks for humoring him, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cool. Later. Yeah, <laughs> Man. You seem to have a lot of friends, Argus. Yeah, actually, uh, I've been hanging out with the the whole AI crew a lot lately. Yeah, yeah, he helps us he helps us train and stuff. Uh, and you... the, uh... Oh yeah, you should stop by the uh the VR hall one time. We we've been working on uh developing the uh the training system into Well, it'll be better if if it's us. Oh, okay, so we're not going to explain to him the meta's got it. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> no way. Uh, what, what, team, <laughs> what team gets ace? <laughs> uh, hmm. It depends on the comp, right? Yeah, I think it depends Whichever on the comp. Whichever team. <laughs> I, I they start no... formulating strategies. In yeah, the these, two are, these two are now talking about VR stuff in the background. I feel like we've been, while well, we've been struggling to keep our ranks up, uh, other people have uh, kind of just been able to socialize more and maybe like you know <laughs> it's all get about the grind get ahead of us it's all about the <laughs> list genuinely considering saying that did you know there's a few city phrase it's all about the grussel it's the combined combination of grind and hustle that's not a real word i that's what i insisted too but people were yeah. very keen to inform me that it was can, hey argos can you believe that that coffin over there is one of our teammates he Ace kind of just peeks around the corner a bit to look at it. <laughs> there you is... met them yet? No, I, we oh. we went out there to get the coffin, and I don't think they've been out since. So it's an exclusive meeting time then. Well, yeah, whenever I... whenever they emerge from the coffin. Director's next that's to scheduled? it. Scheduled? The director is talking to the coffin. <laughs> oh. Okay. What is <laughs> he saying? He's... Uh, he is going through the exact same spiel he just gave to you. No. Oh, no. Oh, and okay. then, from down the way, comes someone carrying two people in her arms. Thank you for the ride. You're welcome. Don't forget to thank, thank you for the ride. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she, she riddle hops down, or is like, thank you for saving all of those people's lives. I was about to go fucking turbo nuclear on them. <laughs> Yeah. Don't forget, uh, the, don't forget the bus fare. She holds out a hand to Aura. Aura, Aura reaches into his pocket and dead serious leans in. He's like, I understand perfectly. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out a bag of chips and is like, use it wisely. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll use it wisely. She opens it and be immediately begins eating. <laughs> <laughs> Aura's just got this big grin standing next to you. You two have met, like, for context. All of the people here have met casually, but in terms of meeting person to person, unless there's a special relationship, this is the first time you're really meeting outside of a training context. They know each other's names, roles in the world, etc. But when it comes to forging this organization, this is their first interaction. Immediately, Aura is like, oh man, okay, yeah, no, I'm, chill I'm chilling with this one. <laughs> uh, Riddle, like, walks forward and is like, okay, God. so has Verona walked everyone through everything? We should be heading towards the reflection hall. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, Verona walked through us. We were just waiting for some people. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine who that would be. She, like, <laughs> she walks with a big smile. Uh, <laughs> Are they coming? <laughs> looking at uh, they gotta be really far back there. <laughs> Uh, uh, Verona moves in and is like, well, you all will have plenty of time to talk to each other as we walk over there. All of the shielding between us and the reflections necessitates, um, well, uh, distance, 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 let's go. She starts to walk. Yep. And move in this direction. Uh, uh, about that, how's the signal in there? Uh, b bad, but we've, we've made a special exception for you. Beautiful. Thank you so uh, much. Cam kind of leans towards you and goes, don't worry, man. I think I'm allowed to be around for that one. I'll boost you. 
Everyone starts to progress off in this direction as, hold on. <gasps> you move forwards. List like speaks up looking over to uh, Oren Willow is like, I don't believe we've had the chance to become too formally introduced. I'm, I'm List Soleus. Oh yeah, no, uh, just pretend like your gossip buddy from camp is someone you don't know. Cool. I'm doing it for the cameras, dear. <laughs> She holds out a hand to you, Willow. Oh, well, nice to meet you. I'm Willow Wisp. <laughs> it's a pleasure. She flashes you a big, wide smile. I shake her hand if she <laughs> gives a hand. Oh, yeah. No, you shake each other's hands. And for a moment, your eyes connect. Her grip is powerful. Your grip is powerful. There's a connection. <laughs> strong woman. Oh, so they're strong. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly are as well. <laughs> Assessment. <laughs> uh, Riddle turns around and is like, Oh, Argos, um, thanks for the help moving the van earlier. Thanks for coming out and bailing me out. Oh, uh, yeah, wish I could have done anything. But... Uh, oh, it's fine. I've been mostly lying to anyone who asked. I said you moved the van by yourself. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's fine. I think it's funnier that way. Yeah, I wanted to apportion credit in a way that felt proportional to effort. <laughs> she says, <laughs> giving you a weird look. <laughs> your squad progresses, and let me uh, let me grab let me grab your eh, cloud as you move off in this direction. You travel past a group of guards as you head up and into the main body of the hospital. Verona at the front immediately calls back. Officially speaking, welcome everyone to Opia HQ. This area of the hospital is broken into a few distinct floors. On the left and right, we're going to be talking about official hospital flooring. You don't need to worry about that too much. It's rooms reserved for patients, ER intake, etc. On this floor, it is the special ESP research wing, as well as the garden and the outdoor area. You all will gain access to it through your dorms. Don't worry about that. You'll be able to get the hang of it later. Then, over here, this is my clinic. If you ever need medical attention, please come this way. And over here is the cafeteria. Please don't hesitate to drop by. Up here is the VR chamber and the meeting hall, as well as the director's office. Uh, and finally, up here is the gym and the containment wing. I'm going to give you all a little piece of advice. Don't go in the containment wing. <laughs> uh, what exactly is contained there? Uh, dangerous reflections that will end your life. Yeah, the reflections that kill you instantly. They do uh... one thing, and it's kill you instantly. Don't get clever. Don't sneak in there. Don't grab one of them. If you do, this has been my official warning. You will die. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> everyone has like a moment of, everyone has a moment of quiet. Well, in that case, let's continue on. The reflection hall is just up ahead. You travel up here and feel free to chat a moment while I get the next map set up. Yeah. So, uh, anyone, anyone think about how crazy they're going to get with a reflection? <laughs> anyone willing to change their life in an instant? I mean, what do you mean of, by that? I, <laughs> Willow, yeah? these things, these things can fuck you up. What you mean by fuck, fuck, fuck you up? Like, is it heavy? I, I, I mean, I can pick it up if it's heavy. <laughs> Uh, this AI starts speaking up, and he's like, "Well, some of the some of the reflections have this thing called feedback, and feedback can do things like ch physically change your body or change your mind, you know, stuff like that. Like, there's this one. Actually, I'm not gonna talk about that one. <laughs> yeah. but oh, just... so that's what you mean by the ones that kill you instantly? No, so there's yeah. ones that just so... give you like a third toe. <laughs> there's ones that do things like, okay, I'm gonna tell you about this one. You, you gotta promise me something, okay?" You promise me something, Willow. If I tell you about this reflection, you're not going to use it, right? Oh, yeah, I promise. Thank so you, there's this one. There's this one reflection that turns you into a mermaid. <laughs> At least that's uh. what we think. It's either a fish or a mermaid, and 
it can do that to you. Also, there's like one that lets you see, like, I think it gives you like a third eye. Look, a third I, eye? Look, just I j don't. Okay, look, just be careful. Those are bad examples. Some of them might just change you completely. Your mental state, your memories, your existence. Things that don't sound good. Mermaid Tail is the least of your problems. Some of these can actually change who you are. From a funny, quirky, small girl into a real bitch, potentially. So just be careful. Uh, this AI speaks up and he's like, I want the mermaid one. <laughs> <laughs> you had. There, there are a lot of options, so you can probably... Oh yeah, there's one like a hundred of them. Mess with you too much. Yeah, you want to look for one that has the F category feedback if you don't want to get changed. If you, I would recommend anything under C is what he recommends. Don't go above C on the feedback scale. If you go above C, there's nothing we can do to help you. Oh. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I can't remove it. Anything below C though, yeah, I can take it off of you. Are you only saying C because you like the ocean or? <laughs> no, I'm saying C like the letter because, it, it, like, like Ms. Arendite said, uh, if you go, if you pick C or lower, she can take the reflection off of you if you hate how it changes you. But if you go like anything above C, then it's stuck on you forever, and there's nothing that can be done about it, and you will be like that forever, regardless of if you like it or not. So it's just a funny joke that he keeps saying C. It it's is not a, a joke, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it is a fun pun. It's a fun pun, but, you know. <laughs> it all sort of shrugs. I was uh, just making sure things were clear. You, what? You got, you you got a problem, dude? <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of squints at this AI, just like, what? <laughs> Let's just yeah, keep I walking. Like the ocean. I like yeah. the ocean, what of it? I'm not making fun of you for your ocean, like, liking the ocean. I'm just saying, don't, you, yeah. Don't, don't make fun of people for liking the ocean. Wow. <laughs> somebody, somebody walks down from down the hallway and it's just immediately like, wow. So, you immediately get into trouble. First day on the job. That's, that's rough, Galatine. That's real rough. Ace hey, swivels around and looks at this man and goes, who are you? Huh? <laughs> you don't recognize me? I'm the guy who drove you into this place. My name's Seder. You forgot? Shit, he, man, that's old. <laughs> he just looks him up and down and goes just... What? What do you what? want? <laughs> what happened to you? I... Uh... You know... Life? Comes at you fast, dude. Like, uh... He, like, points himself down the hallway. It's been two be, weeks! I'm gonna be working at... No, 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 no. <laughs> he points you down the hallway and like motions ahead. A lot can happen in a short period of time. You just find yourself caught by the eddies of fate and carry yourself forwards. You live the best life you can, man. And by that, I mean, pick a reflection that doesn't kill you, okay? I mean, that's always been the plan. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna be chilling out outside. We're functionally... We of Geist are technically just here to watch after you guys. So, good luck in there. Pick a good reflection. Don't blow up. And, uh, maybe we'll go get a drink later. Sound good? Yeah, sounds like a plan. I Hell Thanks. yeah. <laughs> he takes a step backwards and, like, leans back up against the wall. I'm gonna keep an eye on you guys from over here. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> Circuit's throwing a little bit of a fit right now. Mind if she says hi? I mean, I'd, I'd go ahead. Circuit, go get him. <laughs> Riddle! Hi, 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 Circuit, hi. She like, she gets a look on her face, a big beaming smile for a second. And then- Oh my God, I saw you guys on the cameras on your way in. She like waves at Willow. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> did, did you see, see me? I, I lifted up Riddle really high. I did, I saw, it looked really cool. You guys were definitely the coolest part. I, was I loved when like... you were arguing with, with my dads. <laughs> I was waved around like an appendage, and suddenly I understand what it's like to be an AI trapped in an arm. It was delightful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's really fun. Yeah, I liked it a lot. <laughs> here, uh, Seder's arm starts waving up and down. <laughs> ah, right. For everyone here who doesn't know, this is Circuit. She's my AI partner. Uh, she technically pilots my prosthetic arm. So, uh, say hi. Oh, hi, you're... everybody here I haven't met yet. 
You're the one who kept tasing him. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I don't do that anymore, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a time in my life where I needed to be tased regularly from within. That was but two weeks ago. I've changed. I only did I've, it like twice. I've looked over the horizon of life and I've seen the other side. You know what exists beyond it, my friends? More life. More life. More life. It's just more of the same, guys. It's Keep that in mind. Life. It's a great, Ace? beautiful thing. Ace is just <laughs> looking at Seder, and there's a little bit of disgust, just like, what the fuck? <laughs> he smiles at you. <laughs> well, so you can't move your arm at all? No, I can move no, it on my own. We can fight for it, too, though. Yeah, we can, like, contest it. It's, you it's know? fun. <laughs> Normally, if I want it, he just lets me have it, but for the most part, it's his. I'll just live in there. <laughs> he sort of nods. He, like, looks over, is like, okay, don't pick something too wild. Later. He, like, gives you the double finger guns, and then you watch the man fall backwards into his own shadow and just... Boom, vanish. Okay, I gotta go too. See you guys later. <laughs> I'm not allowed to be here because of the press or whatever. Bye, Riddle! Um, she bye. gives you like a big wave. What? Are you... hmm? What's up? It's fine. I... What's the matter? Let's just, let's just keep walking. Uh, you look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> that wasn't Seder. <laughs> Riddle squints at you. She gives you the biggest squint. She's like, okay, no, run me through what's happening in your brain right now. Circuit, do something to him. <laughs> He's changed. He, I've, yeah, Ace looks at his own hands. It looks like <laughs> he, he didn't even mention how he wanted to die once. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he received medical, de uh, medical attention for his intense depression. <laughs> He's doing better now. What? <laughs> Riddle's he, like, yeah, 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 that he's literally a healthier person. He used to be a garbage fire. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, he'd call himself that regularly. No, he's, he's doing good now. I mean, good for him. Uh. <laughs> you look devastated. <laughs> Thought I had an ally. Are you depressed? You need. No, you no, it. Talk. You. you uh, it's fine. You don't. You wouldn't get it. It's. It's cool. Uh, My uh, partner can do wonders for you. So your social skills. I'm starting to think the AI don't really like me. I mean, uh, hmm. I mean, they're they're just people, so you can always improve your relationships. Yeah, you come uh, to one of our skirmishes. <laughs> yeah, you should come to one of you should come to one of the one of the skirmishes. I think you'll have a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Okay, I'll, it's fun. I'll, I'll I, think about it. The, uh, do not, do not, do not, do not. I mean, like, I, I, oh, I, 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 I had to do one. Of, I had to do one of the skirmishes once. It was terrifying. What do you the mean? We had so much fun. The second you go into VR training, all the AIs are so used to it. They do stuff like rush rocket launcher. I don't understand what that means. It's what scary. do you mean? It makes. Bro. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah it's what's like up? The basics. It's like the basics, dude. If you it's don't the get basics. the rocket launcher first, the mastermind gets the rocket launcher. It's that oh, simple. God. I, yeah, I experienced that firsthand when I was exploded with the rocket launcher. Yeah, you did get exploded with the rocket yeah. launcher. It was a don't real worry. Uh, we're rebalancing for next season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're considering, we're considering lowering, lowering the number of rocket launcher ammunitions that are available. I... <laughs> Hey, List, come Lister's up here. I'm kind of mad about that. <laughs> I'm listening to this fantastic conversation. What are they? What are they talking about? VR simulations? I don't know. I just need some sort of rock next to me. Thank you. <laughs> You're talking about doing video games. I don't know. I don't know anything I... about video games, Willow. They're talking about the video games. Yeah, I heard um, Riddle, Riddle talk about them video games. I think it's the same thing. Yeah, uh, you've got to play. I, I play Gnome Castle. It's really hard. Uh, <laughs> she, she turns around with a big smile. <laughs> it's uh, like lifting weights, but for your brain. Exactly. She gets it. <laughs> Riddle beams at you. <laughs> Isn't that just what meditation's for? Uh, yes. Uh, you can do both at the same time. 
I, okay. No, meditation's like sleeping for the brain. <laughs> you know, I thought... I thought I was pretty solid. I, I thought I was pretty worldly, but it turns out I don't feel like I know as much as I thought I knew. I... That's the eternal process of being a scholar. I... Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you don't know anything, just ask Riddle. <laughs> yeah. Beaming, 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 beaming. <laughs> this guy walks up like, yeah, Miss Arndite knows pretty much everything. Fluffs up to three times the size. <laughs> <and> chest expands. <laughs> I didn't even know what an AI was. Well, and then Rill taught me. Well, she's about to like. She's about <laughs> to go off on another speech. You can feel it about to happen. Brona's like, Riddle. I understand you're eager to explain about the artificial intelligences, but at least for the moment, we need to. They're here to support us in our efforts moving forwards. Mm -hmm. Um. And for now, welcome to the Reflection Hall, everyone. Nope. She smiles at all of you. Now, I'm going to need to run you through some protocol. You all will be spread out throughout the hall. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask Riddle or Cam or myself. Um, we'll be wandering around in here. Uh, otherwise, just feel free to use. We have VR simulations hooked up so that you can try out a Reflection before you permanently bind yourself to it forever. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have, there are a lot of geist people out here. Hold on a second. They, uh, they all turn and look over. So we'll be joining you inside the reflection hall. Uh, I thought we got out of that. Unfortunately, plans have changed slightly. We need to make sure it's secure for the coffin to be placed within. Secure for the coffin to be placed within. Delightful, uh, the things you do with my hospital. <laughs> uh, Ace is actually going to just uh, put a hand on uh, uh, her shoulder and uh, walk forward. Uh, it's fine. I think uh, we're capable enough to make sure it's secure. Uh, they, like, look over at you back. Um, no, I'm afraid we can't. We'll get fired or worse. We've got to bring the coffin inside. Got to make sure it's all safe. We don't want you, you know, changing the plan. Okay. Changing I, the plan. Again, very cute turn of phrase. <laughs> well, uh, just make sure you guys get in and get out. Don't want anything bad happening to you guys. Of course. The only thing worse than getting fired is being killed. They silently nod and look at each other. And then Verona pats your arm and is like, let's go. Yep. She moves over to the button. <laughs> the riddles, button. Riddles, riddles like my eyes, your eyes, the entire way past these people. There we go. <laughs> and then she calms down again. Cam, you notice that, uh, you, or Argos, you notice that Cam's kind of like putting himself between you and these freaky geist guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he was. Typical guy's behavior. That's their deal. They've yeah. been trying to convince us to let them into the vault forever, and they're finally getting an excuse with this coffin girl. Oh. <sighs> Guys. Well, the whole thing's about to be blown wide open. With uh, I've got a, got like, twenty k people in the waiting room right now. Yeah, it's more like we uh, we don't want guys trying to commandeer all of our super weapons. He says under his breath. <laughs> the door slides open as Verona moves inside and is like, like sort of gestures everybody in. Yep. Okay. Just make sure to keep, uh, as Ace walks in, Ace is going to be like, just make sure the keep an eye on the Geist guys while you're in here. And also make sure they don't walk away with any echo, echo weaponry, okay? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, an interesting turn of phrase. List says with a big smile. Verona turns around and is like, and then hits a button and the door slams shut behind you guys <laughs> in the airlock. And she's like, okay, I'm going to be honest with you all. You six right now are basically the hopes of humanity. Cam, thank you for joining us. I don't mean to leave you out. <laughs> he gives you like a two finger salute. <sighs> you all will be selecting a reflection one by one. Geist right now is attempting to, at the very least, probably look over our armory so that they can begin 
demanding weapons for themselves. We don't know to what end. Right now, she looks over to you, Argos. You are our little guarantee. <sighs> Think about it this way. Guys can't exactly roll in and demand a reflection that's been seen by 20 bajillion people on stream that are all memeing things about it. If they're all talking about the fish water and the fish water goes mysteriously missing, everyone will know that guys did something. So, thank you. What if they keep their eyes away from the fish water specifically? Uh, we can, yes, yes, Cam, we can do that. Uh, so, again, thank you, Argos, for your, for your services here. It's very useful. <laughs> yep. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. So, I'm going to ask each of you a favor. I want you to all line up and then simply walk into the reflection hall. Riddle, this is, yeah, the best way to do it. Functionally, try to feel something that calls out to you. Be careful responding to the call of the first thing. It might not be 100% accurate. You might have been called by something nearby. It Something else might hook you in. But if you're looking for raw compatibility, basically going in blind and just feeling it out with your heart is the best way to do it. I know it's really unscientific, but uh, trust me. <laughs> yeah, they're going to like call out to you. Just like check out the ones that feel right. Okay. And also, oh. maybe maybe the loudest might not be good. They might be tricking you and luring you in <laughs> just so they can change your life forever. So, uh, there is a few ways we can do this. This, right now, my friends, is the moment of truth. Or the beginning of the moment of truth. Yeah. You, you all are going to have a chance to wander around the reflection hall. The NPCs will do it in the background. You can talk to them, ask them for advice, etc. But I think we should do it in a specific order. Ace, I'm trusting you to wander freely. Uh, I want to I wanna grab you two. And then our final player. Our final player, do you want to go first, second, or third? Whatever you want, Chief. I'm rolling for you, then. You're going last. <clears throat> Damn. So, let's talk, let's talk about mechanically what's happening right now. First of all, you all don't have any attributes. You're going into this game with blank character sheets. I'm going to uncheck all of your attributes. Do you remember that really suspicious part of the game where I said you look up at the stars? Yeah. One by one, before you tell me what reflection you, uh, before you roll your D100s to determine your starting location in the hall, I want you to tell me exactly what you looked at. We'll start with Ace since he's going to be wandering. Okay. Camera, uh, camera person responsibilities and such. Yeah. Uh, uh, as Ace looked up the sky, he didn't look at any stars, but looked at the blackness in between, the darkness connecting the stars, okay. the empty vastness of space. There you go. Okay. I've, I've got the stat for that. You gain a blue attribute. Fuck! <laughs> what? No. What? Do you not like the blue attribute? <laughs> yeah, Come sure. On. Give me blue. Yeah, you get, you get a blue attribute. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta do this right. Wanted a black? No, I didn't want a black. I. I... You don't like the, you don't like the blue attribute, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, I, I squeeze. <laughs> uh, next, Tiny or Jackson? Who wants to go first? I'll go next. Okay, excellent, Tiny. Tell me what you looked at in the vastness of space. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if this counts, if this yep. works, but when they were looking up at the stars, Willow looked at her friends, or the people she worked with around her, and uh, appreciated their oh. appreciation. Because oh she's happy God. seeing them. Oh, shit. Uh, so, in this case, I'm going to give you a special stat. This one is going to be a clear stat. This stat will functionally sit on your character sheet until another character acts on you, and then it will change to whatever color their color is to. It is the bond of teamwork. So, you're going to start with a clear stat. Very good pick. Um, then, Jackson. Okay. Uh... Well, for a while, Argos wasn't really looking at anything. He was focused hanging on to the top of this moving van. <laughs> but eventually, he leaned his head back and wound up looking 
forwards towards the lights of the city that they were heading to. Beautiful. Give yourself oh. a steel stat. <laughs> this uh. is a rather unique one, too. Steel is a unique attribute that will always clash with other physical efforts. So, say you fire a gun at someone, it will always clash. That is a very fun attribute. Y'all, y'all did great. Uh, Coffin, Coffin, Coffin player will have her own question. Um, so, here's how we're going to do this. This is going to take a little bit. Everyone in chat, you, they're going to have a chance to tour around the area. Basically, what I'm going to do is say, roll a D100, you first, Tiny and then poke around the area that you are sent to. We will read out loudly and dramatically the one that you are sent in the direction of, and then we'll pan to the other ones while you make a decision. You are free to poke around everything in the area, and you will have a substantial amount of time to make this decision. You will be able to do this three times, and at the end of the third, that is your last call. You've got to make a decision. As stated before, Riddle can change your reflection if you don't like the one you get in this session. If, unless. Um, unless. So yeah, give me that D100. Let's fucking go. Uh, let me, let me, let me play the hype music. <laughs> 93! Okay. Oh boy. So, I'm going to, first, Willow walks into the hall and you feel called. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there's the presence of a lot of them around here. And... Your little antenna twitch upwards, and you're drawn in this direction, and down, and down, and down. The, the one that calls you initially, and you don't need to take this, is if you mouse over the little shard at the end here, you'll notice that you can mess with it. You can move it around, you can, you can do stuff with it. While you mouse over, it will tell you the type of reflection that it is. As, uh, for example, this one is called Opposition. Axis Calibration! Uh, it is a pair of gloves, and it grants you two additional attributes. This is a rare type. Most only grant you one, but if you take this, you will start as a four-attribute character. Now, to read this one out, briefly, for the sake of both you and the audience, this is a set of long gloves, gloves, gauntlets, or even symbols adorned on the flesh, depending on the wielder. This reflection tells no one story. Instead, it tells a tale of an entire philosophy that binds sets of legends into a single governing tale. The wielder is immediately asked a core question. Upon which axis does the universe rest? Functionally, the wielder is tasked with naming two opposing forces that govern the world. Then they are tasked with, or perhaps cursed, with proving their thesis through action. If one names good and evil, the more good they do, the more potent their next evil action will be, and vice versa. This is a set of gloves that will bind to you. And when you take the reflection, I'll go, what, what axis determines the universe? You'll go, good and evil. Uh, like, good and evil, fire and ice. Literally two opposed forces. You will gain two attributes, one called fire, one called ice. And your entire gimmick will be about balancing these two things. So, that is an example of how intensive a reflection is. Now, Tiny, we are going to flick over back to Jackson, and Jackson's going to roll his. You can mouse down the line and just look at everything in your area and shift double click to read any reflections nearby that seem interesting. If you see something that fits Willow's style or vibe, you can read more, you can ask for more time. We're just going to paw through this gigantic, like, gigantic list. And I'm going to flick back over to Jackson. Jackson, roll me a D100. Okay, and we are live. Welcome, Argonauts. We are finally through the orientation, through all the parade, and we are no longer bound by a script. <laughs> Can I get a nice in chat? <laughs> 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 Holy fucking shit. I, so you walk in and you immediately feel yourself called. Every instinct in your body, like, gotta keep it respectable for stream. Mike I've been flares, in the memes for too long. <laughs> Mike flares to life next to you is like, 
it's a funny bit for sure. Are, are we sure we want to go with this one immediately? All for the bit, baby. <laughs> 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 you head over. To the reflection, truth and lies. This is a pair of pistols. <clears throat> This twin pair of pistols was taken as a trophy after the great airship in the uh, after the greatest airship in the land crashed and burned, flattening a village. The ultra wealthy who owned the pleasure barge blamed a pair of invading thieves for the disaster, while a group of engineers who fled the ship moments before its crisis blamed an engine malfunction due to undersupply. The existence of a pair of intruders was never expressly confirmed or unconfirmed, and the pistols carry the spirit of the thieves that never were. While firing, one can invoke the special properties of these firearms by speaking aloud a statement. The victim of this firearm can choose to believe or disbelieve the statement. If they choose to believe, the bullet is empowered and gains the velocity and force to puncture solid steel. If they choose to disbelieve, two outcomes occur. If the wielder was telling the truth, the bullet will find its mark without fail. If the wielder was lying, the bullet will simply disappear into a gout of flame. Functionally, you're playing will I, would I lie to you with this gun. You can use your special attack to share a fun Argos factoid from his life or just a factoid in general. And then you you say, state this, you bring this statement aloud and whether or not you're telling the truth or a lie, the bullet goes out. The opponent has a chance to call your bluff if they call correctly. Uh, if they call correctly, they can negate your attack if you're lying. You get significant bonuses for lying and slipping fabrications past your enemies. This is a highly tactical weapon. Uh, you will notice Sorry, I should have clarified this at first. There are categories listed. From EX to F, there are two EX plus items in this uh, in this reflection hall. This has an EX plus in power. There is an EX plus in feedback floating around there somewhere. But um, every ranking indicates something different. EX plus indicates that EX and EX plus indicate that something outside the normal grading scheme is occurring. In this case, this gun's power is really high. It's at an A. Basically, the highest normal power can get its defense, the next rank, an F. It, these guns will not defend you. Um, down the line, you'll see that listed on the character sheet as well, uh, it's tech or technique. The difficulty of use is a B. It's anima, its ability to grant you psychic powers from beyond the veil of reality is a B. Its special ability or effect is a C and its feedback is an E. This one will not fuck you up. <laughs> so that's more or less what we're looking at and feel free to scan the area around. Um, next. Oh boy. I think it's coffin time. It's yes. coffin time! It's coffin time. <laughs> Let's get ready. Uh, let me grab... Let me grab the coffin by the entrance. Oh no, the director's been pulled into the gravitation. That's fine. If you can continue to, to direct them. They are led into this area where they place the coffin in the middle of the reflection hall. You let it sit here. And with a hiss. Actually, no, I'm gonna be real. This one is followed. Anyone who's curious about the fucking coffin is probably wandered inside. <laughs> uh so everyone mostly unless is ace chilling does ace give a fuck about the coffin ace is going to stay farther back away from the coffin and revealed from within is a figure or just with a hiss already pre-adorned in opia colors <laughs> she emerges and there's a moment of silence as Basilisk, 
you look around the world for the very, very first time. Or that's how it feels. But skittering across the top of your brain, thousands and thousands of memories. A patchwork connects up. You remember living dozens of lives. Hundreds. All of them connecting together into a single existence that you right now. All of the skills, all of the logic that exists is built from this network. You remember living a life as a mailman. You remember living a life as a scuba diver. You remember living a, li uh, living a life as a pilot. However, all of these are snippets. Moments of single prowess, perhaps a training course. You are skilled in a wide variety of different things, but the you of right now is left utterly and completely unknown. That blinding light shines down on you, and you are left with only experience, but no purpose. The figures take a step backwards, allowing you to leave the coffin. Can I have my legs, please? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> I will allow you. <laughs> there you go. Basil kind of springs out of the coffin in one quick motion, landing on all fours. And she, she feels the coldness of the steel ground on her hands and her feet. Oh. And as <laughs> all of the memories of what you just explained, yeah blood into her head and then flash into whiteness she blinks and then she screams <laughs> <laughs> no. oh my god uh riddle's going to immediately move forwards and be like okay 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 it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine calm down calm down you're okay you're okay what the hell did you do to her she says looking around at the figures they all look down and they said this is within parameters <laughs> um hey Hey, Basil, Basil, Basil. Um, Still screaming. I, I see, I see. Um, uh, uh, okay. Um, let's. Uh, oh, uh, Riddle's <laughs> like, hey. Um, calm down. Is it too loud? Is it too bright? She reaches out her hand, and you see an immediate cover of darkness, almost a sphere, form over you. It's completely silent on the inside, just utterly dark. No other outside stimuli pouring in. Does she stop screaming? She stops screaming. Oh my god. <laughs> there's she only there's only riddle on the inside of it. She <laughs> smells something familiar to her. <sighs> okay. Okay, good. So you're you're you you stopped. Did you did you run out of screams? Are there more screams in there? She passed she you sniffs. on the head. She gets, uh, she kind of stands up to, uh, her two feet, like, like a human should stand. <laughs> and then she, uh, she sniffs Riddle. <laughs> I see. This is, this is certainly occurring. <laughs> uh, Liz moves in. Oh, very fascinating. Hi, um, are you our seventh member? She stops. And she stands in silence for kind of a second before uh, something kind of snaps into her. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hi. I'm morning. the absolute free will con. Uh, I am the absolute free will project by Geist. Geist, Hi. be good. Try Geist products. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle looks at the Geist guards and just gives them the dirtiest fucking stare that they've ever received. And she's like, uh, you're, you're the absolute free will project. Yes, but that's hard to say. So you can call me Basilisk Id. That's good. Um, I don't know who you are. What is your name? Hi. She's I, talking I, to List. I, oh, okay. <laughs> List like moves in. My name is List Soleus. It's a pleasure to meet you, Basilisk Id. It's a pleasure to be met. And you, the other one, you smell like... Home. I know oh. you. Oh, okay, so you do know me. That's, yes. that's good. Okay, that's great. She's like smiling and she's like, okay, well, that's You good. must be my childhood friend. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I... Technically, maybe that's correct. Basil, we met 
at one point a long time ago during the middle of your development, I guess. Yes, uh, during childhood. Development yeah. is another word for childhood. <laughs> Riddle's entire upper body sags. I guess that is technically correct. It's good to see you again. I'm glad to see you remember me. It's good to see you as well. She gives her a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle Riddle is visibly hugged and it's like this is this is this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Verona's like, I see. Um, well, it's a pleasure to have you on the team. Are you sure you're ready? You spotted Geist advertisements like a, like a pre pro uh, Are you all right? You have an issue with Geist? Mm, do, do you not uh, use Geist products? I don't not have an issue with Geist. <laughs> good. Be good. Uh, <laughs> Riddle, focus. She snaps her fingers, Riddle. Oh, right. Um, do you know why you're here? I'm here to obtain a super weapon. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, I was worried that's the case. Um, you're... I look forward to forming my first relationship. I s see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, could you do me a favor and maybe pick a low feedback one? Just, just to be sure. I will make no promises. <laughs> Riddle like, I see. Okay. <sighs> she like looks over at the uh, the Geist guards. All right, everyone. Um, So whatever you've done to her, I'm not a fantastic fan of. You're literally giving her a super weapon to go fight demons. You're giving her a super weapon to go fight demons. It's fine. She's received all of the top of the line training. Her memory, all put together, should equip her to deal with all sorts of situations. Riddle looks over to you and is like, I don't know how I feel about this. A low feedback weapon is functionally the same thing as just nothing. We can pick it up, we can pick it off of you, but if you pick something higher, she gives you a genuinely concerned look. Uh, that sounds bad. Yeah, yeah, not not the best, not the best, not the best. However, person. I will not limit my first relationship based on feedback. I your first relationship. What do you what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, of course there is my relationship with you, my childhood friend. Right. However, <laughs> I am looking for something more substantial. Uh, okay. Like what? I don't know. I suppose that's why I'm here. Okay. Here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to stick with you, and if it looks bad, I'm going to try to gently guide you away from a reflection, okay? Over here. Don't hamper her options. She has absolute free will to make these choices for herself. Are you really going to get in the way of free will? Is that a, is that a rhetorical question? What are you doing? <laughs> she looks over to the guard. Of course, I am. If she's going to destroy herself, yes. It's not even a question. Come on, come on, Basil. Let's go. <laughs> she grabs you by the arm and starts walking off. Uh, roll a d100. This is. I did. Oh, oh, 59, You say? Oh, 59, You say? Okay. Why you say it like that? Uh, because it brings you over to a, a unique quadrant. So. Oh, hold on. If we're going past these guards, there's these guards are in the way. We don't simply walk through them. Oh yeah, of course. And Basil's gonna judo throw one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, Basil, I want to ask you a question for your attribute. Yeah? While you were in the pod, what did you dream of? I dreamt of what was promised to me. Rad. <laughs> Zero hesitation, you just got a red stat. Here yeah. we go! <laughs> I figured. Uh, so, in this case, Basil, Please, give me a roll to die. You can only feel one way right now. This is going to be our first roll to die of the game. So, you can lock that in or not, but then give me a roll to do. I'm feeling red. You're feeling, yeah, you're feeling this. <laughs> <laughs> you flip this person physically into the coffin and it shuts. <laughs> Riddle. Riddle, riddle, riddle. Boom. Okay, that was that was that was really good. That was really I good. have free will. 
You, you certainly do keep using it like that. <laughs> You're going to wander into this area. Now, for you, the way that you're picking reflections is kind of unique, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to the one that calls you the most. It's not mm -hmm. just, it's not just impulse. It's not, sorry, I should rephrase. It's not just a call. It is the loudest one of them. The loudest. I'm so. closing my eyes and I am listening. Okay. So let me, there's a few of those. Ah, uh, oh god. Um Oh no. This is a bad place to put you. Uh give me another <laughs> D100. Okay. I'm going I'm going to pick a direction that you're hearing in. Of, of course. Okay. So, the one that you wind up at is called the Forgotten Front. It is a battle standard that you plant and use to spread feelings throughout the battlefield. It's a very potent ability, but it isn't loud. And then you start to move over in this direction, and you're dragging Riddle along behind with you. And you look at this one. He's sniffing around like a dog. This one is a little loud. There's a noise that comes through the uh, through this reflection in particular. It's a roar, sound of sound of gunfire, shouting. This is a rifle that contains the spirits of those that have died pointlessly in battle. By firing it, you can functionally summon a line of goons to fire along with you. This one's a tribute to Christian. <laughs> uh, give me another D100 roll. 44. You continue dragging Riddle around as you move through the area, and then you hear a loud one mm. as you move past here. Um, let me let me double check. Ooh, ooh, wait. 44 is back over there. Yeah, 44 is back over this way. So you would hear... This is just watching this and, like, covers the little camera in his visor and mouths to Riddle. Is she okay? I'm really, really trying to make sure she's okay. Um, <laughs> Riddle's like, thank you, uh, just... Can you keep stream focused over there? I'm a little worried about her, but don't worry, I've got So 69 really is funny, huh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> the loud ones from this area would be... Let me double check. Ooh. Y y loud... 66 would be loud, but not in the way that Basil is probably looking for, where Basil wants bass boosted. Like... I want whoop, 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 whichever whoop. one is like yelling at her. Uh, you notice that 66 immediately has a brilliant sound. It's beautiful, subtle, it ranges across all things. This one is called Symphony for the New World. It is a harp that progressively builds up increasing amounts of power until it achieves a miracle. It is a powerful support type reflection. You find yourself paused at this point though. There are a few loud reflections in this area. You've got a 44 or so. I feel like I should point the hardest to 41. Is incredibly loud. It does have your feedback. Um, <sighs> and then 31 is incredibly loud. It also has your feedback. And 36 is incredibly loud. So, do you want me to run you through your options? Yes. I'm going to. I'm going to. And I will ask you two questions. Okay. And that will make my decision. Yes, we're going. We're taking extra time and care with our good friend Basil here because. Uh, a, Thank you for pronouncing it correctly. This point. Yeah, and uh, B, I get the feeling that you're going to pick on your first one. So I this am. one's for keeps. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, first up. Collapse of the Living. The Lost Demonic Arm, somehow cast as a reflection from its early summoning and reforged and surrounded by overwhelming will. The fall of every world it's summoned to has created a cancerous sore in the form of this weapon. Its shape changes the more chaos it drinks from the battlefield. The log number for this weapon is merely a designation of its discovery time. Its origins are unknown and no demonic court claims it. It guarantees the fall of the plane it is summoned to. With every iterative summoning, it drinks the flames of the apocalypse. 
Hey, uh, Basil, you want Soul Edge? Yeah, sounds nice. <laughs> sounds funny. <laughs> the Blade. Demonic Arm. Immortal Blade. Sword. <laughs> Grants a white stat. I should be designating this. My apologies. Draws from the strength of the Court of Inner World, an unremarkable blade that belies a darker truth. Rejects the wisdom of the world in favor of its own. So long as one carries this blade, they will never die. However, the madnesses of the City of Fangs built, uh, build, uh, build until one questions whether or not they are even themselves anymore. A blade that makes you functionally invincible, but slowly drives you mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and finally, the last one. Sealed in stone. It is technically a large rock. <laughs> it grants the black attribute. An ancient section of rock given as a gift to the great queen for her long voyage. A stone that promised to one day become a meteorite. The priests that maintained it discovered it hungry on the verge of starving, calling loudly for different emotions to be poured into it. The priests, one by one, filled the stone with feelings of devotion, pentience, and regret for the great, that great queen, so that she might never forget how much this world loved her. But she left, leaving the stone behind. In the years to come, that regret would become a potent poison, a choking presence that only the divine could tolerate. In ages even beyond that, the stone would be carved into a suite of charms and effigies, whose influence would undo empires. So... This is a stone that once you acquire it, I will ask you what this stat is. You are able to pour all of one emotion into this stone and fashion yourself charms, effigies, and weaponry from that stone. Oh. So. That's a fancy rock. That's a very fancy rock. Here are my three questions for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh go through these three weapons yeah yeah and tell me what is hot or cold um ooh, 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 that's fun okay um so let's start at the top let's do uh yeah let's let's grab a let's grab another theme for this <clears throat> this one is burning it is burning hot, it is hungry, it is just endless burning hunger. Frigid cold, confused, lost. A pocket of cold around the hottest flame you have ever felt. Okay. okay. It is literally the best way to put it is this one feels like a like an egg. An egg, okay. Almost. Um question number two. Yes. Go through the three. Yeah. Mother or father? Hmm. Mother. Father. Mother. Question last. Yeah. <laughs> Which one wants me? Hmm. Depends on what you're promising. What do you have to offer these things? My first relationship, that's very important. Hmm. Well, uh, you can offer up your... You can pretty much offer up your soul to this one and it'd be pretty thrilled about that. Hmm. No, it'd be, it'd be psyched as hell. Um, that one, this one, desperately, what it wants from you is someone to wield it to bring about the end. I'm gonna be real. That is immediately what it's reaching through to you to say. It's like, you and me together, we could bring the whole place scorching and burning down. Okay, okay. This one wants to find itself in preserve order. It wants to find itself first, though. And what it can offer you is actually... it. It would not mind your companionship at all. Another another person traveling on this path sounds pretty good. The last one. Does it does it want you? Theoretically speaking, it wants whatever emotion that you can provide. It wants to be it wants to be form a symbiotic relationship with you to share and revel in whatever whatever you are personally about. Okay. There's a clear choice. 
Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we all do no it. We all fucking. Shocked. No one is shocked. No one is shocked <laughs> as you roll up to the most evil shit that's ever been found. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Riddle, uh, Argos, Argos, you turn around and you see Riddle behind you, looking back with a like, like a like a look like she she's maintaining this cool composure on the outside. Interior, she's like. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it even has one. a purple stat, like Geist. Yeah, all of those sound nice, but the idea of not dying is scary. <laughs> uh, are you absolutely sure you want this one? Yes. But you positive? It wants me the most. I guess that's. I guess that's technically correct. Hold on, this is like this is really. It's it's feedback isn't that bad on the lowest level, so I could still remove it. Yeah, okay. I can actually I can rip this one out. I can do this. Okay. What more could I ask for in a mother? <sighs> you 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 know, you you know You pick up the vibes this thing's putting down, right? Yes. Destroy the world, burn everything. That. <laughs> what vibes do your mother give you? <sighs> Don't ask me this question. Basil, focus. <laughs> she like leaves and is like, okay. So for now, this does have a D feedback. If it goes, if it goes bad, I can pull it off still. So nothing will go bad. <sighs> okay. Okay. Cool. Um. She's like, she sort of sighs and then actually like looks at you pretty intently, like. If, if you, if any part of this scares you or becomes upsetting or anything, don't hesitate to say, don't hesitate, even for a moment. Even if you feel a little strange, just say it out loud. I'll make it go away. All right. Okay. But I won't be afraid until I get what's promised to me. I see. Um, well. Until I get what's promised to me, I know that nothing can go wrong. Of... Of course, Basil. Uh, good. Okay. I'll keep an eye on you. Oh, I hope this isn't a mistake. <laughs> she That's what I expect from my childhood friend. She gives you a hug. <laughs> uh, Riddle's like, I... Mm. <laughs> She's... Riddle's making eyes at you, Argos, like, I... I am dying a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, Mike quietly, can we get some more 69s in chat? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Big sigh. Uh, back over here. Ace, what the fuck have you been up to? Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> He's just been standing there just thinking, and then it's just like, it's just like he sees that hallway. He sees Riddle just kind of concerned. He goes, huh. Okay. I... I, Aloha, uh, didn't wander around because I uh, was just too oh, busy yeah, paying attention yeah, to the oh, train yeah. wreck. <laughs> no, uh, Stop being so, entertaining. <laughs> so I'm gonna just uh, casually just uh, go, well, that's not my problem. Or is <laughs> <laughs> uh, walking with you is just like, wow, you see that shit over there? Yeah. It's... That's, uh, it looks like Riddle's handling it. She's really reliable in moments like these, but, uh, that's terrifying. That's, like, a little existentially terrifying. I, uh, that's our seventh member? I she's mean... kind of, she's kind of like us, right? Like, back in the day, remember when I first met you? Yeah, you were, you kind of were like that, actually, a little bit. Yeah, huh. just think about it like that. It'll make it easier to talk to her. Oh, okay, I'll just think, think about, about it like... Think about it like us, if instead of being born to be people and be whoever we wanted to be, we were born to explicitly get a super weapon and kill demons and chill for Geist. Sometimes I remember that Riddle had a direct impact on your development too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, this one seems okay. Oh, wall launcher, huh? He like leans in. It's like, oh, this is pretty neat. Um, Vault Watcher, to read this one. This is a ring. A ring that grants any color. You get to choose. 
an awful little familiar by every measure of the word, a being bound to a great golden vault that all the demonic arms were sealed away in. So, uh, so particular in its choosing of who accesses the treasure hoard, many of the artifacts sealed within have lost definition to time alone. <laughs> Nobody knows who left this eyeball on a ring in charge of watching over the spoils of the great demon war, but each owner of the ring agrees that the little bastard must be removed by any means necessary. Should you win the Vault Watcher's favor, good luck, you will find yourself with access to well over a dozen sealed demonic weapons, as well as a grand suit of armor reserved for the demonic knights of old. What is more likely, however, Grave Wielder, is that you will receive a headache and a fat lot of nothing. Oh. Ah, so you want the you want the uncharismatic bastard ring? Well, I mean, it's the one that spoke to me the most. I uh, what's not, it saying? <laughs> um, I, I mean, it's not really saying much right now, but apparently it will if I grab it. I mean, it's an F feedback. Yeah, it's F feedback. Do if you'd me... like to look around this area some more, I can I can point some out to you. Uh, yeah. Let me let's just walk around the hall. There's down a lot the of Fs on this hall. Yeah, yeah. You I the, think you pick the good floor. I think, like, honestly, this one. I think this one's kind of cute, but I don't know if it's really your style. You seem more oh, like the, a the like little a fighty guys? fight guy. The yeah, little the little guys. guys. They're yeah, great. This, this one summons a bunch of like little 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 robots. Little, like, yeah, little robots. Yeah. Little robots. I actually think the one that I would pick for you hmm, might be back down towards the beginning, the very first one, or maybe this one. I feel like this one might actually help you in fighting, but... Hmm. Take it to the do show. Do you want, like, a weapon? Do you want, like, a weapon? I what mean, you, a, what, what I don't know. What your life looking for? I, I, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just... Yeah, me either. What the fuck shit was she saying over there? Mother, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, any anyone speaking to you, Aura? Any... Uh, no. No, but yes, but no. But yes, but no. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's picking's hard. That's that's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, there's... I mean, there's the ones that I've... I saw during my practice. The the, the test thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you looked at, like, Moonflare, right? Yeah, there's oh. Moonflare and there's Sunshadow over there. That's... Oh, Moonflare's right here. He gestures. Yeah, this, is he... the, like, this is the sword that, like, teleports your ass all over the place. Yeah, it's... Oh, maybe I could give it a shot. Wait, like wait, wait, wait. Yep. Yeah? What the fuck? You look down at this one. This is listed as Demonic Arm Moonflare, but on closer inspection, you notice that something's really wrong with this. Huh, EX plus feedback. Weird. I, I thought you said you didn't want an EX plus feedback. Uh, wait. It didn't... Yeah. It what the... it, it wasn't that a few weeks ago. Um... Hold on. There might be some kind of mislogging in the in the... He like you see Cam pull up like some like a data pad and he starts like looking through. And that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> he says like <laughs> looking through like if we mislogged one of them. You you look through and hmm. The stats are definitely not Moonflare. The stats are there's a moment of silence. They're actually oh. matched to a different weapon. Oh, this isn't Moonflare. Oh god, we actually did mislog one. That's Oh, what is what is it? This one's uh Seagazer. Oh, oh, cool. Sea Gazer, EX plus feedback, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one. No, I mean, like, uh, what's the big deal about it? Um, I honestly wouldn't recommend Moon Flare oh. either. Uh, but Sea Gazer's Sea Gazer's one of those reflections. I mean, it's got EX feed. EX feedback. He's just gesturing at it. It's also one of those reflections that. Uh, I mean, how do I say this? Uh, if you're not the right person wielding it, you won't be the one wielding it. I mean, that. Yeah, checks out. It's EX plus. That's. Then where's Moonflare? Oh! Actually, oh. I know where Moonflare is, I think. I think that one's under. Yeah, the ESP. Uh, the ESP lab's uh, doing some running some tests on that one. Oh right shit! Now. Is it in the containment ward? Is that what's like over there? I was curious. No, there's a there's a different there's a different reflection in the containment ward. The containment ward holds the reflection that kills you instantly. Oh okay, so this one doesn't kill you instantly. It just swings you around like a sword. I mean, Riddle yeah. was doing that earlier with Willow. That looked fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's Moonflare. Uh, Moonflare. That... 
Moonflare, this is Seagazer. Moonflare is in the, in, it's under research right now. Yeah, that would be the, one of the ones I picked. I liked using that one during the practice, but I guess it's not here now. But there's a, another one that might interest you, Boro. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, it's uh, Moonflare has like a, like... Oh, a partner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over here. Oh, shit. That is so, like... Are, 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 is this like a vow of friendship? Are you swearing a vow of friendship? This is adorable. You're nah. saying I should get the sword that matches your thing? The thing no, I mean, I didn't that pick it. That is so cute, Ace. Holy shit! I'm just <laughs> saying it because you. You. you feel like a shield guy. I'm oh, this is the shield that catches you on fire and burns you alive. Oh shit! It sets you on fire. <laughs> oh yeah. I, oh. It throws an arm around your shoulders, like, okay, I'm gonna. You shop for me. I'm gonna shop for you. Let's pick out some reflections. <laughs> I mean, I what, what? I I brought you what? to Sun Shadow. It's. That's it's right perfectly here. It good. sets me on fucking fire, man. <laughs> I mean, most of these probably set you on fire. I mean, like technically speaking. What? Wait, what did you? What do you expect? What, okay, look, move out of the way. Yeah, move out of the way. Big crab, big crab, big crab, nice crab, big crab. Oh, nice you crab. want the you want the crab? Yeah. yeah there's, there's a crab. There's, there's a crab. I like the crab. But uh, no, let's let's talk about more that set you on fire. Like what's, uh, what's, what's up with this look. one? He he looks over here. Just just with his head. Oh yeah, this is the this is the mech. So it doesn't what? give you a, it doesn't. Mechanically speaking, this doesn't grant an attribute, as it gives you a real ass mech. This one's called Pirate Radio. It's not like a super big one from my simulations. It's like, but it's not like, it's still a mech. <laughs> He's like trying to figure out how to explain it. It's like, it's still a mech. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. That's kind of cumbersome. So I, okay, let's keep shopping then. <laughs> like. Do you... mm. Do you want me to point out the ones that I think would be good for you? I don't think you should take the Alchemist's Tower. That doesn't seem like a fight. Uh, do you want a weapon or do you want like a boosting? Please. I'm going to, I'm going to let this simply progress and I will cut over to yeah. Willow. Oh. <laughs> oh, Willow seems to have found something. Tiny, Tiny got there, moved down two spaces, and has been sitting there this entire time waiting for oh, his chance. Click, 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 click on the weapon, just just to, just to let, let, let everyone know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'll, I'll read this aloud. Willow has been drawn to grasp the earth. Gloves. Red. A pair of old, worn gloves. The leather is heavy on the hands when worn. There was once a man who insisted that in order to take a blow properly, one must simply communicate the economics of scale to the opponent. Though they may be attacking you, your feet are rooted firmly on the ground, and your arms, legs, and heads are an extension of your ties to the world below. If they wish to move you, they must also be capable of moving the world as well. When one moves, they do not move. They push the world backwards and have it move for them. When one strikes, they extend their palm, tearing the full weight of the continental shelf supporting them. Well... <laughs> <laughs> that is a very Willow weapon! <laughs> Tiny, Tiny, Tiny's found the gorilla weapon. Willow decision. made my decision. like, and I'm locking it like I don't know. None, none of these things feel like they make me strong. And then she she kind of feels a, her, her antennas kind of like tingle as she looks at this one. <laughs> oh! Oh, wow! This one, this one feels just like at home. <laughs> <laughs> you walk over to this as two people sort of like move into the area behind you. Oh, Willow, you... <laughs> Verona actually lets out a laugh. I would hate to see what you could do with a, what was it, a a starfall punch with the full force of this behind it? <laughs> oh, I can do a lot more than a starfall punch. We're going to call it a starfall crater. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, leans in and is just like, I, I... Oh my god, if you get this, though. <laughs> Brona, like, leans in. It's like, I don't think they fully understand exactly how strong you are. I looked at the suspension on the van and, oh boy. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm going to be able to lift up a whole ass building now. <laughs> <laughs> Verona, Verona, literally 0% of exaggeration in her face. She goes, you probably will. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Immediately, I'm more scared of this than Basil's weapon. Liz sort of like moves over and she's like, oh, oh wow, okay, this is a very cool look. Excellent choice. <laughs> Thank you. I think it suits it's, me. I, it does. I Similarly, I'm looking for reflections of a similar type, so... If you keep an eye out and you see anything like this, please give me a yell. I'm sort of struck by decision paralysis. Yeah, I, I kind of was too a little bit. And then, you know, that one just called out to me. <laughs> well, let's see. I, th Bro, I, I think I got a good eye for finding things that make me strong. <laughs> Verona's going to quietly move over and note this one is like... Willow is going to get this and double check the support structures of literally the entire hospital. <laughs> <laughs> she moves around and is like, so if you were going to pick out any of these from this list, which would you do? If you want to roll another D100, you're now legally al uh, allowed to. Okay. You're allowed three. Uh, I'm going to roll one uh, for her. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's hope it's not crazy. 54. 54! That's gonna bring you past the, the fucking... The shit that's happening over there. So, you two are gonna walk up and over this way. <sighs> oh, shit. Let me see. Oh, oh I like this. I like this I like, one. I like everybody going, oh, shit, nice. Um, All right, oh, this one, yeah. Okay. This one is called the Death of All Beasts, Village Keeper. Functionally, this is a combination. I'll, I'll, I'll read this aloud. This this says this is this blurb is important. Amidst the boundless rampaging beast, atop that writhing sea of teeth and flesh, sat a simple village, untouched by the masses of monsters. Its defenses were weak. Its people content, peaceful and happy. While the rest of civilization was devoured like cattle for the rampaging horde, this village remained singularly untouched. This is because it was the resting place of the hunter, now turned baker. When he laid his weapons down to rest, he planted them along the out of the village. As such, the miles and miles surrounding the village were piled high with weaponry jammed into the skin of the earth, each carved from a different great beast. The horde avoided that place, at a glance to tell that the outer walls of that city was a graveyard, and careful catalog of every single monster that had ever lived carved in bone. This is a weapon that starts off weaker than literally any other one, and the more monsters you kill, the stronger it gets, and the more variants it gets. It's... she, she like, leans in and is like, oh, wow. Okay, I, you are good at this. Yeah, I think this one suits you. <laughs> I love this. I, she, like, flicks her, she flicks her fan open. I was expecting to walk into the situation with most people recommending me mage reflections, but here you are recommending me something like this. She gets a big smile on her face and she's like, thank you. I genuinely appreciate it. I'll I'll put this one on my list. She she gives you the warmest smile. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, just, I, have a, I have a feeling that you're a little bit like me. So I just got something I would like. She glimmers at you and it's like, oh, uh... First, what's like, yeah, yes, I, well, it's good to be working with you. She holds out a hand again and offers you another handshake. <laughs> Willow shakes. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Argos, you found one. Argos is just, you know, talking with chat about, like, synergy, and they are yeah. memeing, and they really love 69. <laughs> <laughs> then... God, they... <laughs> He's trying to convince everybody in chat that, you know, he can always go back and pick different ones later once he knows team comp. He's really not decided on anything. Uh, Mike, like, looks over and is like, okay, uh, should we take a look at this one? Okay, this one seems a little bit my style. Yeah, um, she hits the button and quickly flaring to life. T21. All eyes everywhere. Eyes. It grants a black stat. Small black spheres that float at the wielder's sides, watching. A single portal yawns open at their back, choosing this as the exact moment she wishes to witness. 
I'm unsure of exactly why she's chosen to lend us aid here and now, but it seems she's taken a great interest in our struggle to survive. This reflection grants the wielder the ability to summon a group of ocular sentries around the battlefield, which are functionally able to be used as ESP conductors or bent into the shape of weapons. The longer they observe the target, the more of them they absorb into themselves. The gigantic eye watching the wielder will consistently observe the battlefield, feeding on its energy to perform feats bordering on miracles. This is a very fun one. The long and more you observe and figure out about a target, the more power they build up, the stronger you are against them, and the more damage is dealt over the course of a battle, the more it is personally attached to you will enable to use functionally super abilities. It lets you, it lets you, so long as you carefully observe the entire battlefield, make absolutely gigantic plays. So makes sense that you'd be drawn to this one. <laughs> I like it. I know. Everybody, stop telling me to, to run in and be tank. I'm not a born tank. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't want to let you leave the mage, but this is a good mage reflection. Yeah, I, I, people people really don't get it. They, It's it's more than a meme. Mage builds are legit. <laughs> mage build again, lol, omega lol. <laughs> <laughs> After the after the dual casting incident, again, they they really haven't let you let that go. I'm gonna get it eventually. It's, well, maybe if you have this many eyes, you'll be able to dual cast. See, everyone be more like Mike. <laughs> more like Mike. He believes in me. All of, all of the chat cheers on for Mike. The moderator is well loved in the chat room. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> frequently to the detriment of you yourself, Argos, where it's like the bit will become, no, we like Mike better for like yeah. a day. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> she, she like flushes, looks down. It's like, I'm going to go back to moderating. <laughs> Uh, if you want to roll another D100, you are now free to. I will mark this one for you if you want to. I would love to roll another D100. Let's see what else is out there. 69 again. 69 again! Stream for luck! <laughs> Stream for luck. 61! You've explored this area of... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Have you, have you looked at this one already, Argos? Briefly. I've kind of been skimming them all. Beloved astral elevator. <clears throat> what they took Let's from us. Let's take a closer look with the help of, uh, like, a GM. Yes. To me. A bow of spun moonlight. This armament calls to the stars above and draws a line between heaven and earth. Spun from the tale of a huntress that once brought down the moon with an arrow, this bow enables one to trace the path of its projectiles instantaneously. Additionally, by naming a place or a specific target, the astral elevator will interpret its wielder's wishes and hone in endlessly on the stated destination. For wielders of this bow, knowing someone's true name is the same as holding their life in check. If you are able to know a place, person, or thing, and imagine cle it clearly in your mind's eye, this bow can shoot it. This sounds like it's going to get me banned for aimbotting. <laughs> um, Argus, it, you've actually heard Circa talk about this one before. She loves this one. <laughs> and it gives you one additional ability. You can teleport to the location that the arrow travels to. Ooh. Yep. That's so. Fun. So if you know someone's true name, you can just say their true name and the arrow will go at their ass. And then you can port over to them and punch them, punch Argos. Punch them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that Circuit has actually probably sometimes during the simulation been like, I hope that you take that one. All right, and then she would also list 16 other ones that she hopes you take, but <laughs> this is one that you remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can mm -hmm. see why that one would interest Circuit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, if you want, uh, next would be, oh god, back to hell. Basil! <laughs> Basil you can have, help Riddle! You've got this now. You're, you're just holding <laughs> this now. You already made your decision. <laughs> I love it. I, I'm i glad you do. Don't bind with it yet. Don't bind with it, okay? I will don't not bind with it until the don't, designated time. Don't put it in your mouth either. <laughs> I can't make any promises. <laughs> Riddle's going to start wandering the floor with with Basil. Uh, she's gonna head over to you guys. Let me let me move this in this direction. 
and playing. Oh, let's do this one. Ah, no, things are going good. You get a you get an actually normal theme for once. Let's just do. Things are going good. Riddle like sort of squinting at you like yeah, yeah I guess I guess so. Um, Argus, how are things going on your end? Finding some interesting stuff. Trying to find the ones that won't get me roasted too hard. <laughs> Yeah, They're all going to get me roasted really hard. <laughs> you've got to contend with even more forces beyond our comprehension. Chat. She, like, <laughs> sort of, like, holds her hands out to either side. So, uh, I don't know if you've met her. This is, this is Basil. Say hi. <laughs> Basil, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Argo. Hello. I'm the Absolute Free Will Project by Geist. Geist, be good. <laughs> She's the Absolute Free Will Project by Geist. All right, not sponsored. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I don't think I'm sponsored. <laughs> she sort of visibly sizes like she managed to pick out a reflection really quickly. It's one of the ones we were more worried about, but ultimately we cleared it compared to the other ones. And like, uh, what's the worst nice. that can happen? We can handle yeah, it. Yeah, what is that? Whoa, that is <laughs> <laughs> terrifying. Yeah, a little, a little horrifying. <laughs> Are those words on your glasses your reflection? <laughs> the words, I'm reading them. They're saying, hi, Basil. That's what Riddle calls me. She's my childhood friend. Uh-huh. Has, has, <laughs> Riddle, has, has she signed the, uh, she the signed, NDA she just, and everything to appear on stream? She, yeah, she has. She, The NDA came pre-signed. I... Which is weird because she just attained consciousness a few minutes ago. She She's like really... all up in your grill of reading the glasses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, good to meet you. We can catch up and do like a, you know, a hangout interview after this uh, whole thing. It's good to know that. She's literally uh, fogging them up. <laughs> Wow, they go so fast. Do There's you, so many people. Do you want me to? <laughs> do you might want me not to? Want to <laughs> I'm gonna shut off, off chat display. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to get you some space? Yes. <laughs> Come on, Vassal. <laughs> Good luck. She like waves over to you. <laughs> okay. She's one that loves you. Yeah, I'm sure he will. He's got a really good head on his shoulders. Oh, uh, Riddle immediately cheers up. There are people without heads? <laughs> Riddle does not address this and instead walks over to Willow. Hey, Willow, how's it going? Any luck on your end? Oh, yeah, I think I found a perfect one for me. Oh, fantastic. She smiles at you. Like, a very genuine one. Um, what type is it? Is it like, uh, did you manage to find a lance or anything like that? Oh, it's a pair of gloves that makes me strong. Ah, do you have a proclivity for lances? She, uh, she flicks open the fan. Oh, I, I am a fan of the lance. It's really big. It gets through a lot of tough armor. <laughs> well, if you found a pair of gloves, do they enhance your strength or physical capabilities? We could probably mount a lance on that. Oh, per that's perfect. Get me the biggest lance you got. Okay, the biggest lance physically that we have. She, uh, she actually hesitates. It's like, oh, uh, if you want to... There is actually a giant lance reflection. I don't know if you'd want it, but it's it's here and it's big. <laughs> she sort of like trails off a little bit. Hearing you say these words, um, she uh, she gestures over this direction. Is like, um, it's, <laughs> it's called the Oscar original. It's basically like, you know. You know, like, ballistic missiles? It's one of those at the end of a stick. Uh, I literally have been trying to shepherd people away from it all day, but, um, I, I think it could be fine in your hands. <laughs> Don't, uh, missiles blow up? E yeah. Yeah, they certainly do. So, like, the, the guard of it is, like, a blast shield, fires off signal flares, and other missiles. <laughs> Riddle gets a tired look on her face briefly. She's like, I 
I would only bring this up to you. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it sounds really destructive, mm. but I don't know. I don't feel like a big boom is gonna get through armor. You're right. Um, no, you're entirely right. List calculating, calculating, calculating. <laughs> I will consider that one as well. Oh, um, okay, okay list. Uh, yeah, give it a, give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle like, uh oh. <laughs> I. Hmm. Oh, she marked this one already. It looks like she really liked whatever you picked out for her. Oh, yeah. I, I was just showing her this. This one is uh, something I was going to take if I, I didn't, uh, you know, grab them gloves. Oh, oh. I, I even say hi. Hey, I'm, I'm Willow. She says, looking at Basil, <laughs> offering a hand. Hello, Willow. I'm the Absolute Free Will Project by Geist. Geist, be good. <laughs> nice. Oh, you, you mean the purple? Me basilisk, id. You, those purple, purple guys. Yes, I threw one in a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> it was. Pretty I hope cool. he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> we can certainly hope. <laughs> Uh, Riddle like looks over and it's like Basilisk is technically going to be joining our squad, I think. So, yeah, uh, I guess this is us being formally introduced to each other. I look forward to being your teammate. Yeah, it's going to be cool. And wait, what the heck are you holding? Oh, right. <laughs> Collapse of the living. <laughs> Riddle <laughs> lightly mumbles. She's like, that's, um, that's a reflection that wants to destroy the world. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask, why do I feel the aura of the death of and destruction and the world ending and all that? I thought yeah. it was just me. Yeah, yeah, no, it's literally walking impending doom. <laughs> I just got here, so I can't tell the difference. <laughs> you know what? I think you'll do perfect. <laughs> Riddle is like, ah, excellent. My friend is getting along with her. That means we're good. <laughs> <laughs> You think list. As long as you can, uh, as long as you believe in what you believe, you can make your reflection do anything. Oh. Um, That's true. I don't know what I believe. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, pick a place to start. What are you feeling right now? Hmm. This would be a good opportunity to roll to die with my new stat. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> oh my god, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a purple uh, in addition to your red. You, of course, you have, of course, you have a purple and a red. <laughs> yeah, this is this is ending up weird, isn't it? This is ending up exactly as one might expect. <laughs> give me a yep. No. Okay, purple. <laughs> yeah, 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 Basil. Yeah. <laughs> I feel as excited for the end as I am for the beginning. That's. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> but you can't well, forget, you... it's the journey that matters. That's oh, right. I guess I haven't considered that, as my journey has only been 20 minutes long. Have you liked the 20 minutes? It's been a good 20 minutes. Okay, that's good. I think I've made new friends. I've become reacquainted with my childhood friend. <laughs> oh, you know each other. I... <laughs> She gives you a look, Willow, that's like, I, she says so, that is what the look in face. She smells like birthdays. I smell like birthdays. What do I smell like? Hmm. Strong, you s smell powerful? What do, what do I smell? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, give me a roll to do. <coughs> oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. This is gonna be really fun. Ooh, okay. So you don't you don't roll great. This person more than any other smells like like fire, like life, like livelihood. She smells honestly like just being around her literally makes you happier. You feel more alive, more sharp, in focus around Willow. <laughs> <laughs> Smell like the beginning. <laughs> uh. That's nice. Um, you're a, <laughs> you're a little <laughs> close. <laughs> you asked what you smelled like. Uh, here, hold on, hold on. <laughs> She's gonna 
up right past <laughs> Will slightly, like, come on, come on, let's give Willow some space. Willow's great, we all love her. <laughs> She's great. I'm excited for her as I am for the end. <laughs> Riddle looking back at you. You can tell when Riddle offers you a smile that is real and a smile that is in raw agony. And she's like, wow, when you look at that. <laughs> Why do you smile like that when you don't mean it? <laughs> oh my God. She's like, I. <laughs> you don't have to lie to me. We're childhood friends. I uh, worry. I worry about you just, just a little bit. It'll be fine, though. She like pats you on the shoulder. Well, I worry about you too, Riddle. Okay, that's good. That's a good place to start, I guess. What are you worried about? I just want you to be there in the end. I. You don't have to worry about that. I'll be fine. <laughs> Elsewhere, fucking freak conversation over there. Uh, elsewhere, we're going to focus in one more a skeleton scene. Then we're going to take a bathroom break. Then you're going to make your final reflection decisions. Sound good? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Ace, do you want to roll another D100? Yeah. Do you ever feel like you're making no progress? Uh, oh, well, if you want to make progress, there's a reflection for that. Yeah. Quite literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. 19. Where the fuck's that? We were just over there. 19's I'm, right I'm, over here. I'm rolling again. There we go. 63. Ugh, come on, come on. Everyone's come on. been over there already. <laughs> what, you want to go into an area that you, isn't pick dry? I can literally point them out to you. I, you want to? Yeah. I can, I, hold on, my gut feelings are acting up. Yeah? Yeah? What, what, do you, what do you got? We're going ahead! Straight down one hall! Come on, Ace! No, oh, God, here we go. <laughs> yep. Or it Straight down. Changes. It just yep, jumps, yep, yep. just hops over the coffin, just keeps going. <laughs> the guy is still inside it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's somewhere in this area. The perfect reflection that I'm getting for you. For your for shopping me? list. Why are you for picking? You. Why, what do I'm I do with self? For you. Why would I pick one for me? You picked one for you picked one for me, and you said it set me on fucking fire. So uh, here you go, bam! Demonic gar, uh, demonic arm of city and gold. <laughs> that sounds uh, a little evil. <laughs> I mean, like, well, there's only one way to find out. Like, this one looks like it can have up to an eight feet back. You sure? I mean, I'm it's... just gonna see what it does. Like, I'm not gonna. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. You approach, the, you approach the platform and, immediately chiming in. Built as a stalwart guard against the Court of Instrumentality, a stopgap for whispered words gilded by angelic, age, uh, angelic agents, the ultimate weapon of inertia, immobility, the tranquility that comes with the uh, with feeling of feeling passing, ash left behind after a blaze, a true demonic armor which rejects and corrupts the self with the thoughts of others, yeah, Riddle kind of went ham on these descriptions. I'm going to be real. She gets a little uh, flowery with the language, and the definition is sometimes lost. Hold on, let me pull up the notes. He uh, hits the button. Obsidian Gold. It is a special suit of armor that, when employed, will wound you down to your last dice. Then, after that point, all of your allies lend you one of their attributes, functionally filling you with their own attribute colors. This is a very terrifying but cooperative suit of armor. The suit of armor itself is incredibly potent and has access to a wide variety of summoned arms. Ah, uh, why does everything I find end up summoning other weapons? Or like killing you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's most of them though. So I don't think it is, man. <laughs> I one sets you on what? Look, one sets you on fire. This one literally. This one's like a. This one's like a big cape, dude. <laughs> this one is literally just a normal short sword and shield. This one's that one like, is a bunch of marbles. I this do... one's a this one's a knife that you can stab into a computer to download a car. You can do that? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you pick only the evil ones? I you... say, having chosen this one for you. Yeah, you picked. I picked one for you, and you you complained about it being set yeah. you on fire. Yeah. You yeah. pick this yeah. one, try and this one kills me. Try to one up me, man. Try to try to pick something even worse. I fucking dare you kill. No, me. right? You want to see? You want me? You want me <laughs> yeah. to pick you something? Bring it on, man. Bring it fucking on. All right, let's fucking go. <laughs> 
53. Oh, minutes. oh, you mean the, you mean the side that everybody's been on this entire time where yeah, they already up. picked out all the landmines? Verona <laughs> just hears you guys do this and in the background she's like, I, this new squad is lively. <laughs> Look, it's not my fault, okay, that everyone else is faster than us because you take your time, okay? I like to try before I buy, Mr. Movie Star. Yeah, well, we don't have all day. We uh, don't we? If we don't get one right now, we could just be like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an F rank. Uh, Riddle, scrape it off of me with that psychic spatula of yours." That's the plan, anyways. That's your plan? You're looking for F ranks? Why are you fucking with shit that kills you, then, man? I, I don't know why you keep giving me things that kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Basil, you pass by all of these loudly arguing people. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, how far away is it? It's at the end. It's all the way at the end. It's the oh. last one on the bottom. I thought you were. I thought you were like. I thought you were at peak tip-top physical condition. I am. I'm just impatient. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. What the? Dude? She's a oh. an aura, dude. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I mean, Get it? I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm aura too. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, Aura. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm still scared. I'm running over here. <laughs> I, 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 get over here. This Wait, is what I think. It's over here. It's over here. Okay. It's okay. right I actually, here. I actually really like this one. Okay. This one, uh, he like stops by into the mist. <clears throat> As the cool night's mists rolled in over the shore and the tower's lights dim, a single red light can still be found glowing dimly out on the water. She holds it in her hand. After taking step after step on the water's surface, a light to guide all the things beneath away from the lights of the tower. Oh, Oh shit, it's like a cool lantern? Yeah, you should pick up a lantern, man. I picked yeah, this one for you, it's not for me. Oh. Oh. I, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, hi, by the way. Hey again, Willa. How's it going? You find something good? He like, looks over. <laughs> Riddle, like, returns over a little bit. It's like, we've been doing alright. Uh, Basil managed to found her, find hers. Uh, Willa, what was yours again? It's gloves that's gonna make me lift up this whole building. Uh, holy shit, dude! Oh, okay. Where did you pick that up? <laughs> it's down, uh, down that. Go, you know, this way. Take a right. Take a right. Okay. He like you designated on a hollow pad exactly where it is. It's like, man, why did you point me towards shit like that? I mean, it was already taken, so. Ah, you're right. Yeah, crap. Uh, I'm trusting your nose from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you the perfect one. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Honestly, Willa seems pretty good at this, so... <laughs> well, I, I don't need you anyways, so... Yeah, I don't need you. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have an even stronger, cooler reflection that doesn't kill me. Have, I just... have fun have fun with the instant death, dude. Why don't you just head over to the containment ward? It's, it's, not, it's not my fault. All the ones that I find me are the ones that kill me. <laughs> Am I getting between something? <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. No, you're helping. You're not getting between something. You're helping settle something. Just... Help me find a reflection that's cool that doesn't kill me. <laughs> no, no. I'll just grab but... Vault Watchers and scra scrape it off me later or something. Uh, do you do you want help or anything? Are you good? I, I'm good. It's just if I get something bad, I'll, I'm only aiming for F feedback or, like, you know, pretty low. So if anything sucks, I can just scrape it off me. Yeah. Are you ready? afraid to commit? <laughs> it's just kind of looks at <laughs> looks at this person, just like goes, uh, I, what are you, you? You chose one that fast? Yes, I am not afraid of commitment. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a big it's decision. Okay if you are. I mean, it's a really big decision, choosing something that'll last forever. Eh, what is forever? Yeah. I, I mean. Well, I'm Think about it this way. We're fighting for our lives out there, and the future of the world's at stake. Of course, it. Of course, most of these things will change us forever. Even if it's enough feedback, it'll probably alter the course of our lives. We're going to be fighting for the world. Yeah, but there's a life after the world, you know? Yeah, of course. <laughs> she for me, sort of... forever was the, was the past 21 minutes. Each <laughs> minute is agonizingly long. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you get used to it. I hope so. It doesn't actually. Uh, eventually, your your brain will catch up to having like the 
normal calibrated time frame that all of the other people work at. For me, instead of it being really, really long, it was actually everything was really short for me for a long time. But it does adjust, it just takes a little while. Yeah, yeah, you guys go on ahead, I'll just help list real quick. <laughs> uh, he dips off from the group and just goes over. Hey, list. Hi, how's it going? You Too find much. anything you like? Oh, yes. Actually, too many things that I like. She is looking at what is below her as the continent cracking material driver. It's a gigantic pile bunker capable of shattering mountains. She's you like, know, delightful. This feels very you. It does. Um, she turns back around and like looks at you and is like, so what are you looking for? I, I'm not really looking for anything. <laughs> No, I see. So I, why did you run over to me in such haste? Uh, you look like you needed help. I needed help. She like peeks around the corner as this as this <laughs> clusterfuck over here intensifies and Riddle and Cam continue to speak and Riddle's like, okay, okay, Basil. <laughs> um, wait, wait, but Brennan says he's, he's safe, it's fine. <laughs> I, she grabs your arm and like yanks you in here. Is like, are you trying I, to hide from them? He was not nice. I'm not trying to hide from anyone. It's fine. I'm just. You're trying to hide from them. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a boost. Just jump over the side planing. You should be able to sneak past. <laughs> sneak past? Like, no, it's fine. Yeah. We're. Look, they're going to pick their thing, and it's just going to be. It's. I, I don't need to sneak past. Come on, have some fun. <laughs> oh, what metal plating? That just gives me to the other room next to us. Oh, right. Uh, then you'll have to pull me over. Come on, let's go back and forth. I, uh, <laughs> I guess they hop, climb hop. over the wall. Hop, hop. <laughs> They're going to see us. These are open things. I don't, I don't think they will. <laughs> <laughs> you stop right here, over here. Is that how you're supposed to walk? No, no, Just, that's not how you're supposed to on. walk, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> they saw us i don't know they remain completely unaware of our presence and now we just have to now we just have to walk out in the open and now they're just gonna yeah, see us and it's gonna be on. they're like staring at you and talking a lot of people think that they would look good together yeah <laughs> Riddle is just making this face at you as you walk past you move back to the center area okay yeah this. bathroom break everybody bathroom break as we move to the remainder of the session and then we'll be picking and then uh maybe some things will happen who the fuck knows yeah, yeah nothing will happen mm -hmm. uh, hey chat hey chat i hey, hope you're, you're enjoying you? reflection yeah i hope you're enjoying the stream yeah don't forget reflection ttrpg yeah hashtag. hashtag reflection ttrpg if you have any fan art uh, you can either put it on your Discord, and then we'll share it at the end of the stream, and also make sure to uh, share it with the world on Twitter, Tumblr, anywhere you can tag shit. Hashtag uh, ReflectionTTRPG. We'll be checking those and retweeting all the stuff there, uh, just to share uh, every wonderful creation you guys make. Ooh! Yeah. Void Oculus, thank you for the sub. And also, if, uh, this is the time to sub, because we're able to read them out. Uh, oh yeah, sub now. Yeah. Sub now. Or we just, thanks everyone for watching. Yeah! Uh, like, and I, I gotta say, thank you everyone for being yeah. uh, in chat. <laughs> like, yeah, it's great. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ashmore Region, thank you for the rescope. But yeah, it's it's awesome seeing chat roleplay as <laughs> fucking Argos's chat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when they say after this world, uh, what do they mean? Uh, Ace means that... Uh, after saving okay. the world, uh, there's life after saving the world. So why would you bind yourself yeah, to a, a weapon? Because uh, that's going to, even after you save the world, you won't be able to remove that. Like, uh, Ooh, yeah, it's yeah, like, but maybe there's lives after lives, you know? Yeah. Whoa. I don't know, man. The thank you for the sub. Yeah, Silver Dice, thank you for the resub. But yeah, that's Fuck pretty yeah. much. Mm, yeah. yeah. How come uh, such a coward? We have a lot of new people here. Make sure to follow the stream. We'll be doing this every Thursday, Tuesday. We can, not Thursday, Tuesday. Uh, we can at 8 EST, like always. Just follow the stream got and Thursday you'll be notified. I got, I always got Thursday on the brain, bro. <laughs> God, fuck you. That... I, I hope Thursday everybody's Thursday. having a really, I hope you guys are having a really good time. I fucking love your characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm pogging out. Yeah. yeah. Got it. <laughs> I'm immediately like, this one. <laughs> I saw those gloves and I was like, did you make this for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Willow grab emoji. Legit, <laughs> legit me fucking getting vault watchers like instantly. I was like, wow, this is actually made for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels so scripted. Uh, Sunny yeah. Watch, thank you for the sub. Ooh, and, uh, excellent. And I see all you people following. You guys hey, do everybody, everybody. Everybody in chat, clap for Jay. Yeah, yeah, please, please yeah. Do it. Mm -hmm. he deserves it. Thank yeah. you. I want everyone to know the hours it took us to set the so too. that you could, so that you guys yeah. could click the things and read the description. God. Yeah, yeah. no, that was, uh, yeah. That was Thank a you, lot Max and Neko. Yeah, yeah bless, that was a lot of. And Neko. I, we, uh, I wish we my reading co comprehension was better so I could just read more and more and more. Literally, of them. literally, uh, the one thing I wanted to say was I wanted to go in blind with this, but. I also recognize that this style of delivery and game isn't, like, universally suited, suited for everyone. The list will be immediately after this given to you guys, and you'll be yeah. able to again from you'll, it you'll, time with a week's time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'll be able to find it, like, in our Discord, right? Yes. Or probably I'm going to put it in the description of the YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you check out our Discord, which I have the link there, and uh, then uh, tomorrow at uh, like 1 EST, that's yeah. when the YouTube video of this will be up. So if you miss something, you can rewatch what you miss or <laughs> check the description, comment, do all that other stuff. So Yes. Yeah. I Also, I'm seeing so much good fan art already over in the official Discord. Y'all are... Ooh, really? Let's yeah, I'm, I'm, go! I'm not, oh, I'm not, spoil I'm I'm not spoiling I myself. Look, yeah. I... If, if y'all draw anything, post it over there. We uh, live for this. We go through fan yeah. art at the end. It's our favorite thing. I yeah. live for it. It's I, what gives me life. I am sustained mm -hmm. by it. Ultra Dice Senpai, thank you for this resub. Fuck yeah! I uh, hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, you all are starting to see how many armor type weapons there are in here. Yeah. Um, uh, you're so welcome to my common Rider slash Garo fanfic. Uh, like, I hope you have a good ride. <laughs> Everyone was just like, oh, this is this, this is this. And it was like, you guys don't understand that this is just a Garo fan fiction, especially with fucking Vault Watcher. <laughs> yeah, with Vault Watcher and the demons. No, uh, if you... Oh god, I'm 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 praying. I'm praying you pick Vault Watcher. I'm I'm staring at you and just praying as oh, hard I, as I can. Uh, I I I yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Cuz I I found I found two that are like they're similar yeah. and I want them both. But yeah, we'll yeah. we'll see. Why not both? Why I not both? you know, I maybe I'll die instantly. Oh my maybe. god. Oh my Riddle needs to tell everyone about not taking two reflections. She got so distracted by Basil. What <laughs> oh the <God>. fuck? <laughs> Poor Riddle. <laughs> Riddle's gonna melt down. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I've never heard of Garo before. It's like Common Rider, but with demons. Yeah. Yeah. It's Dark Fantasy Common Rider. Yeah. I I hope everyone's enjoying the cast. I hope you're enjoying the setting. Yeah. Hmm. I hope you're ready for some wild shit. Everyone got water? Everyone, like, good? I think time is still very I don't need yeah. water. I'm sustained strictly on fan art. <laughs> mm -hmm. I... I hope that Cam isn't talking about stuff too much. No, it's fine. Oh, you're doing you're doing great. Yeah, you worked on this Everybody game. You're allowed to participate. Great. Yeah, you're allowed yeah. to participate like fucking nuts, bro. Yeah. Um, Riddle, Riddle is... <laughs> Riddle and Cam are chilling. It's fine. <laughs> they're, they're tending to Basil. Yeah. Cam, if, if, if not stopped, Cam is going to start taking Basil over to the to the first water so that he can special interest info dump at her about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's and dangerous. Basil will appear to be interested. That is dangerous. You can't sell it too hard, Cam. No, she's already picked hers. Yeah, it's yeah, true. I wouldn't yeah, choose. Yeah, it's pretty safe. Okay. So, if everybody's back, we're going to do one last go around. Oh, shit. One last. Okay. Yeah, you've got one last go around, and then you are, you are going to be picking afterwards. So, mm -hmm. Let me play a happier theme. Y'all are y'all are doing great so far. Life's good. Let's let's do this. So why are sad themes even an option? Right, right, right. <laughs> Willow, I think it's time to roll the D100. You're gonna assist Orin picking out a reflection. All right. 
Bitch, you didn't trust Ace. Nominees. Oh my god. Oh, he trusted you. The Oscar original, you say? <laughs> yes! Uh, uh, Morris. <laughs> we're not on the map, by the way. Oh, right. Oh, uh, uh, are we back? Yeah, yeah. We are, yeah. We, are, we are not back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Argos. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. We're now back. So, but. Willow, you immediately go to check out this. <laughs> this fucking oh, yeah. explosive on a stick. Oh, We're always uh, like, so it's a, uh, it's a, it's a great lance, huh? Yeah, right. but it's it's actually a bomb on a stick. And get this, <laughs> okay. you hit yeah. stuff, it explodes. But you see that little shield thing looping on that? Yeah, it blocks yeah, yeah, the yeah. explosion, so oh, you don't shit. get exploded. Oh my god, hold on. He's gonna. He looks at it. And he's like, oh, cool. Uh, to read its description. Error series, the Oscar original, Great Lance, Steel. A lance as large as the body of a small plane. This titanic weapon should be up beyond the ability of anyone to lift. Its full weight is apparently an important part of the package, as it's covered in stickers reading, Danger, heavy, and watch your limbs. The lance is part lance, part drill, part missile launcher, part missile itself. A collection of canisters near the base of the shaft contain both flares and heat-seeking missiles. With the flares, it's possible to tag a target, marking them clearly visible through any physical obstruction, at which point it's possible to fire secondary missile canisters that home in on the target. Finally, the lance itself is able to burrow through the earth, using the same signal tracking as the missiles it will doggedly pursue the target like a beast, with its owner dragging on the ground behind it. He looks at it and then looks at you. And you... Th yeah? Are we on a way still? Oh, uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's be it's because my my yeah, don't worry, I I know. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, my roll twenty was breaking. I was just letting it oh, okay, fix okay. itself. Yeah, All right, no, we're, we're good uh, now. Go. Roll twenty is laggy as fuck. Or like yeah, yeah. looks over to you. And it's like, so it's uh, it's like a big lance that's the size of a car. Yeah, isn't it cool? And you don't see a problem with me being able to physically lift lift this thing. Uh, why, why, what's the problem? You can't look at me. <laughs> or it's <No>. like, <laughs> it looks like you're dead serious. It doesn't look that heavy. <laughs> <laughs> or a hand on your shoulder is like, okay, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to trust you. And two, if it's too heavy for me, you're going to help me carry it around, okay? Yeah, sure. Deal. <laughs> He moves over and grabs the Oscar original. Oh my god. Oh my, he got the he got the lens that's the size of a car that he cannot lift. SMH. <laughs> you two are gonna find your way over this way. Next I'm glad up, someone took the on, Oscar let me grab original. Mine. I'm so glad oh, yeah. someone took get, the Oscar original. I forgot which number it was. Oh, okay, you, thank you. 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 you got grasp the earth. He got the Oscar original, so you're gonna get a red stat. He's gonna get a he's gonna get a steel stat. Um, next up, Jackson, what's Argos up to? Argos is over here, and he's uh he's bantering. He found this this thing called the many. Oh, oh! It sounds to me like a uh, just a bunch of unruly wild creatures that you have to control. <laughs> Chat. Yeah. <laughs> to read this out, the many. An odd puppet, large and draconic in shape. It vaguely resembles a human body. However, the long protracted limbs and semblance of a great tail make it clear that it is anything but. The longer one stares at this creature, the more they feel the unsettling noise that exists beyond this doll's porcelain flesh. <laughs> The many sings with well over a hundred, uh, with well over 1,000 voices, a screaming torrent of different souls, each with their own worldview to share. The many is, in fact, many beings sharing a single shell, all piloting together as legion. Its wielder will gain a potent ally, but will also be in charge of managing the many, as what well, as a being who is ruled by group consensus. So, really worse than death. <laughs> so. This is the Twitch Plays Pokemon uh, reflection, where it has many stats and the winning attribute will win out. Now, there are two different, there are actually many different approaches for the many. Understanding and comprehending it, 
will allow you to wheedle down the number of different distinct voices in the many, focusing their power in on certain areas. Alternatively, if you discover that both you and the many like the pr plurality of their own existence, you can teach them to sort of manage selves on a larger scale. This one is, this one would be like taking a partner. I see. I've already, I've already got my, my everybody's favorite <laughs> mod here. <laughs> my... She, she felt it coming before it happened. <laughs> Listen, hey, <laughs> you, you wanted to join up. You got to get used yeah, to this. This yeah, is part okay, of the okay, deal. I'll go get used to this. Hi, hi, chat. Hi, hi, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give her a hand, everybody, and then <laughs> let and then let her let her go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Click. She disappears. Are you looking at any other in this area? And do you want to roll another D one hundred? I was also looking at right next to it, single-handed savior. Ooh, that another sounds... good pick. Yeah, right up my alley, honestly. A long robotic glove that's mounted on the forearm. While attached, this advanced piece of technology will give an accurate readout of the health of all nearby allies. A halo of hard light is suspended around the back of the wielder's head, granting advanced targeting for the wielder that seeks weaknesses or wounds on allies. By using the innate abilities of the glove, the wielder can manifest a gun, sword, or whatever weapon they're most comfortable with. By aiming this weapon at wounds on allies, they can simply cut or blast away the damage. By targeting weaknesses on enemies, they can easily undo a target whose defenses seemed unpenetrable. Now, I literally had you in mind when designing this, in that there is a phrase in here where it's like, I will simply cut away the damage, is a thing <laughs> that you have said before. <laughs> and I go, ah, uh, yes, this is a gun that gives you basic, or sorry, this is a glove that gives you a medic gun from TF2, or like a blaster that you can, enemy, ally, doesn't matter, targets weaknesses, targets wounds, erases everything. We like this one. That sounds really versatile. It's really good. I mean, it's all kinds of weapons in one. And also, it targets out weaknesses that allies can exploit. Like, it's... It also is one of the few reflections that just makes you a healer. Like, you can just heal others. But... Are you gonna play support, Argos? And it's <laughs> also, it's a B feedback, so once you yeah. get it, you're... Right. Yeah, you, you might be stuck with it. Don't be afraid to commit. <laughs> You'll be able to try out any new ones if you pick that one. Ima yep. But imagine being a healer main, though. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Bottom <laughs> <Our> behavior. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me walk over. Let me have, let me let me have an assistant walk over. Oh, uh, that one, single-handed savior. Right. Uh, that's a really good one. I like it a lot. Um, she yeah. like, she like looks over. It's got B feedback. I wouldn't be massively worried about this one. She, really? Even yep. with the B? Even with the B. Um, likely it will interface and interfere with you. However, I have a reason to be confident about this. Um, she, uh, she, oh God, is she gonna, she points up to its, uh, series ranking. It's all question marks. These reflections, can you, can you keep a secret? Wait, you're on stream. You can't. <laughs> I'm going to DM this to you. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't read it aloud. She DMs you this. There are a few reflections on this floor that we have successfully artificially engineered. This is one of them. I can vouch for its quality personally. She smiles at you. I am not reacting one way or another to that information. <laughs> How are you doing, Riddle? You, uh... Everyone, this is Riddle. She's, Hi, uh... She's got the know-how. She leans in as if there is a place to speak to chat. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your video game stream. She says, with this being a live stream of not a video game. <laughs> I studied extensively to be able to work with you better. Uh, I understand that you are a top streamer, and your APMs are legendary. <laughs> Riddle reads it like she's getting it from a cue card. Well, that is just so nice of you, Riddle. 
Thank you. She looks into the camera again that doesn't exist. <laughs> what uh, <laughs> uh, what kind of reflections are you uh, looking at? Oh, there's one I really like. Um, she like she she's going to grab your hand and start leading you this way, just dragging you off in this direction. Uh, she's going to go to. Where the fuck are you? This one. She leads you all the way over to here, and I'll I'll ping. Uh, this is the one that I'm gonna be making sure to take for myself. She quietly like yanks it down. This one's called Even Beyond the Furthest Stars. She moves over, sort of holds it up. It's like um, best way to put it is it's like mage robes, a little more personal than that, but it's like mage robes. Mage it's, robes. It's um. Chat, best way shut to up. <laughs> it's legit. Riddle gets it. Yeah, no, uh, Mage Life. <laughs> she says, again, looking at the wrong area. <clears throat> to, uh, to read the res uh, description, I wrote, Woven starlight from before the dawn of time, a long ribbon representing a path of separation that had to be taken, the wedding dress of a comet for the sake of the world. When the first great conflict went to a close, the blade bearer left her sword on the battlefield and bid farewell to the world she loved. She cut herself free of the gravity of this place, yet her lasting affection formed a long ribbon stretching to the cosmos. It's functionally a big ribbon that makes you a little smarter. <laughs> I, I, I like it. <laughs> Mage. Did you write these? I I did, yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I appreciate the uh the pageantry of it all. Oh <laughs> someone complimented her writing. She's like, uh, believe it or not, most people go on a, saying it's overwrought or too poetic, or the lead is lost somewhere in it. So um hearing someone likes the poetry, actually a huge ego boost. <laughs> Good job. I'm, I'm sure everybody at home is enjoying it, too. Uh, she's she's just beaming. She loves this exchange. She's like, oh, so is there anything in particular that you might be looking for? You buttered her up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, as I'm looking at this team comp coming together, well, I don't know how how much it's coming together. We've got a... Uh, we've got the... The, the new girl over there with something truly terrifying. Looks like you're going the mage route. Hmm. I'll be honest, I'm as mu as much as I'd like to try, you know, something up front and in your face and uh tanky, I don't think that's really my style. And everyone would everyone watching would get motion sickness if I'm out there first person. Tanking. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Are, <laughs> I mean, if you want to aim, <laughs> you could absolutely do that. You could also pick a firearm. We have a bunch of different ones that I know. Ooh, ooh. Uh, how good would you say your imagination is? Hmm. <laughs> I'd say it's okay. <laughs> I hope. Well... <clears throat> if you're looking for something mage-like, particularly from this area, there's like she yanks you over in this direction. There's this one called Blessed Ties over here that lets you literally form links or bonds with people to let them split damage, share abilities, etc. And even at higher levels, lets you functionally hop into another person and like GM speaking lets them take lets you pilot them for an extra turn. <laughs> Similarly, it can eventually be used on enemies as well. Um she leads you then down in this direction. That would be an amazingly interesting perspective. It certainly would be. Uh then there's she's like shifting back and forth like looking. There is this one called Ooh. Uh, you said no tanking stuff. Where where did it go? She's like scratching her chin. Um, there is. Oh my god! Yeah, no, she's gonna recommend you to. <laughs> she's gonna recommend you to Caliber actually. Um, where where the fuck are you, Caliber? Uh, she like looks over and goes. 
there's one that, um, when you use it, you functionally get a large multi, uh, <clears throat> a large, 22, perfect. Uh, you get a large single barreled gun. As you work on every single one of your rounds, you imagine a world and compress it into the form of a bullet. And then you fire those rounds, one after the other. It requires very strict ammo management and a good imagination, but it's a very potent reflection. If you're looking for something like that, hmm. She's like genuinely trying to give you suggestions. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I'm starting to think maybe my imagination isn't that good. Otherwise, I'd probably be making the games instead of playing them. I see. Hmm. She's just like looking around the area. Oh boy. Well, if your if your ability is to respond to other things, you could always try something like Pirate Radio, which gives you an actual mech, or something like um. Hmm. She's like. She's really, she's really racking her brains. Give me a D100 roll. Thirteen. Streamer okay. luck. Lucky Streamer number. luck. Lucky shadow. You got sun shadow, the shield that sets you on fire. Uh, you get that, and <laughs> what do you think? You got... That's a good one. Uh, no, it sets you on fire. <laughs> okay. Um, Nearby, though, there's a magic broom <laughs> that has a basic functionality to give you the ability to control literally anything the bristles touch. It's always touching the air, so you can fly. You touch it to the ground, you can control the ground. You touch it to a door, you can open that door. Wow. It's a that really seems overpowered. It's very, it's very single function, but if you're clever with it, you can really do a lot. What if I, I were to touch it to myself? Could I become anything? Maybe. Self-transformation? I think such a thing could be possible. That also sounds like a lot of feedback, if I were just to do it to myself. E yeah, <laughs> if you decided to permanently alter yourself using the power of a reflection, you'd be giving yourself functional EX feedback. There is... Hmm... Ooh, there is... I'm sorry, I'm going to recommend you mage ones primarily because they're my area of interest. Is that okay? That, that is perfect. I don't <laughs> want to hear anyone complain about it. <laughs> they're really thinking about it. Um, This one over here. Uh, here's Caliber. Uh, here is the Light of Humanity. It's a... um. It's functionally a big lantern on a stick that you can wield around to redirect and rearrange your friends on the battlefield. You can call them to your side. You can send them to other places. It's like, um... Ooh, wow. it's, like, it's like a tactician's weapon. Oh! Yeah, the ultimate solution to teammates who don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh... Do, would you be interested in anything that's, like, related to, uh... Like a tactician or something? Um, yeah. Because... There's there's one of these. Um, there's a sword called the Tactician's Finesse that functionally will let someone whisper in your ear consistently and give you battle tactics. Uh, apparently, there's a ghost hunter yeah, screaming sword. in my ear constantly. Understandable. Maybe not that one. Ooh, <laughs> she uh, points at this. This one's called the Wing Runner. It's you get the wheel of an ancient airship, and simply by using it or swinging it around, you can summon parts of the airship at any given time. So, say you want to summon an engine, you can hit someone with an engine. Say you want to summon the bow, you can hit someone with the bow. You want a cannon, it gives you a cannon. Wow, vehicular manslaughter on demand. Yeah. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> uh, ooh. You summon the whole thing? You can. If you just need to hit someone with a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are all... Uh, <laughs> These are some very interesting things. Where, uh, so where do all these come from? How did they all wind up in this vault? We, a lot of them were discovered in the coda. Others were contributions by a, uh, they were, they were taken by a mysterious thief called Blue Rose and donated on our doorstep. We don't know where they came from, but yeah, they always leave, uh, the same, the same, um, Calling card, uh, Blue Rose. Wow. 
Gotta love donos. <laughs> Keep, make the world go round, huh? <laughs> Thank yep. you so much, Riddle, for for showing us around and uh... Yeah, no, literally any time. Um <clears throat> she like she like looks over and tries to speak to stream again. It's like, okay, stream, as a reminder, um we're fighting our best out here, so you can fight your best at home. Please don't take this as an indication that you should join the armed forces in any capacity. Any participation helps the people of Opia succeed. Focus on your education and stay in- She's gonna do this for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Elsewhere in the room. <laughs> you two have gone over to- <laughs> You two have gone over to uh, the, the, the first water. Yeah, I mean, if Basil's done looking and yeah. she just needs She's someone to like, looking. yeah, it's like it's like everyone just left her alone, and Cam's like, "I'll hang out with you, I guess." And he <laughs> he's like, he's like, so "This is this is the reflection called the first water." It's, so it turns you into a fish. Yeah, it. What it does is it's just a drink. It's literally it's just a drink. It's it's a glass of water, and when you drink it, it gives you infinite wisdom. And the theory is that it turns you into a fish. I, man, if I ever get a body, the first thing I'm going to do with it is drink this. <laughs> I do you know think fish live like. good lives? Oh, for sure. They have to, right? Imagine I if you could so. live under the water. I imagine that it would be like living in space. Yeah, probably. Except for That's water is words. prettier. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's fine. Everything's oh, fine. Okay. Nothing's weird. Nothing's weird. Nothing's, weird. Nothing's, Nothing's wrong. weird. Nothing's wrong. Don't mention space. Um, well, do you think you can get a body? I didn't know that I could get a body until 25 minutes ago. Yeah, actually, I think, um, there are... <laughs> Kim starts talking and has a moment where you see panic cross his face, where he's like, clearly was about to start talking about something, and then Verona <laughs> looks at him and he's like, who knows? That definitely wouldn't be classified secrets or anything. Oh, do you also have overseers? You know, that's it. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, but like, theoretically, I feel like if I could get a reflection and drink this water somehow, maybe I could get a mermaid body, and I think that'd be kind of cool. I Just also like, look I forward to the first thing I drink. Have you not drank something yet? No. Oh my god, we should get you a glass of water. And the only things I have done like? in my life are get a reflection and judo throw that man into a casket. <laughs> he's like nodding. Like he's like, yeah, I guess you can't leave the reflection hall until you've adhered your reflection. But once I can leave, here, I have free will. Yeah, but like, it would be rude, you know? Also, you're not allowed to take the reflection outside of the reflection hall until it's adhered to you, so you would, like, have to leave it here, and then that would be, like, leaving it behind, and that's kind of sad. I think I'm allowed to do anything. Oh. Do you want to go get a glass of water? Yes. Okay. Hell yeah. Not this water. I don't want to cheat on my reflection. Oh, yeah, no. Please don't take this water. I don't want to uh, this water. Basil, wait near the middle of the room. Cam, let's go get her a glass of water. Hell yeah. Or wait... Are you good hanging out with those guys over there? Are you gonna throw any of them more? Oh, them? go find Riddle. Go, go, go! Attach yourself to Riddle. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Cam. Yeah, sure. He like waves at you. I hope you have fun with the others. Thank you. She like Verona walks ahead and is like, "Okay, earnest opinion. How is she?" She's nice. She's okay. Just, she's just like sweet and kind of. Seems like she's got like her own thing going on. Yeah, I. She's technically in our care. I want to know how to best. I want to make sure we do right by her. He nods. She kind of. She kind of reminds me of Cursor. A little bit, yes. <laughs> she says with a smile as the door vroom, vroom, closes, and then over here, <laughs> you guys have reattached, and then Ace. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, she, like, looks at it. Oh, one of a kind? Hmm. One. Y yeah. Yes, one. <laughs> I, I mean, well, let's read this description. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> what? What's the matter? 
The long one. Ah, I see the, um, I see the specialist went off on this one. She flicks her fan open. <clears throat> the writing of this report, uh, this the writing, uh, the one writing the report for this particular weapon will re leave the writing of this description to the sword itself, as it has a story it desperately wishes to tell. This one will avoid censoring or altering any material this weapon wants to present, as much as she desperately, desperately wants to do so. Peerless. What is the first image that comes to mind when you hear the word peerless? What about the phrase beloved? Words can draw the outline of an image, but the reality that exists beyond words crime glory. Red legend. That is the shape of this blade. Only one per world is capable of lifting the true shape of this blade. Only one is capable of filling this empty space. By binding oneself to this title, one agrees to bear the collective weight of the eyes of the world, the weight of expectation and the denial of the self. The blade represents that invisible throne fit only for people who are one of a kind. It should be noted, as far as this custodian is concerned, regardless of how much ink is twisted into beautiful words, a loser will always be a loser. Its Whoa. stats are simply ludicrous. I mean... It says bound and all this other stuff, but its feedback is D, but it's power and special and oh. or EX. Mm. This one's weird, that's for sure. Uh, Any leaning towards it? Kind of corny. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking so as well, but I think to some extent many of these are. I think it's part of being a legend. Yeah, I guess that's true. The weight and expectations of the world, all this going on with it, it, it can't be telling the truth, right? Mm? What do you mean? I mean, do you really think it's that important? Uh, maybe. <laughs> she shrugs. Sword mm seems to insist on itself pretty heavily. And do you think it really only b binds to one person per world? <sighs> Maybe, or its source legend is about a uniquely unique hero, like a once-in-a-world hero. <sighs> uh, I mean, if it only binds to one person, I could at least try to bind- it's only a D, that's not that high. I could always that's just scrape it off if it gets terrible. annoying. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna take it. Not yet, at least. That's- <laughs> if it if it is actually telling the truth about how important or you know the weight of expectations of the world, I don't want to feel it. Right, fair enough. What if I take it? <laughs> I mean, are you truly one of a kind? She shrugs. One way to find out. I mean, you can take it. It sounds like something that would uh, mimic your own interests. She waves over her shoulder and is like. No, I think I'm going to go with the lance from earlier. <laughs> I found it to be quite nice. Good yeah. luck on your own hunt. Oh. Looks like I'm alone now. <laughs> he just looks looks at the long, empty fucking hallway. You look at the long, <laughs> empty-ass hallway in front of you. She's God. gonna move over, and she is gonna get Village Keeper. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> You yeah. gave a good- you gave two good suggestions! <laughs> yeah. Man, maybe I should get that person to come over and give me a suggestion. I guess I'll just go over here and- I, I kind of blame <laughs> to take the first one that I walked up to, but I mean, hey. <laughs> oh, oh, vote watcher time? Oh, vote watcher time? Awesome. I mean, it's, it's my best option right now, and it's an F feedback. I can just scrape it off if it gets annoying, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I would take Moonflare, but Moonflare's not here. You walk over, and you take Vault Watcher. Let me move this to front. Yeah. So, you get to pick any attribute for yourself. Any attribute? Oh, yep. Fuck. Yeah. I already have blue. Yep. I... This might as well be red. Yeah! Okay. Yeah! Yeah, yeah baby! Always. Yeah! We love yeah. to see it. We okay. love to see it. Right. And finally, as you head back to the middle, we cut over to Argos. Argos, it's decision time, baby. Oh man. Ah. All right. I was. All right. 
I was a little worried because of the bee feedback. But uh if uh Brittle's gonna vouch for it, then I'm gonna Yes! Gonna yes! single handed save you're a shot. Oh yes! She's so psyched. She's literally thrilled the entire way that you walk up. She's just beaming behind you. This one is also beaming behind you. <laughs> yeah, 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 I noticed. <laughs> so, Basil, you look like you uh you found yours pretty quick, huh? Yes, it called to me. <laughs> That's good. That's uh Is the one you're picking calling to you? In a way. I, a lot of them were pretty interesting to me, but this one seems to fit my style the most. What this one's say? the loudest. But I, I think I can hear the call of, of your reflection shouting pretty loudly. <laughs> yeah, it's, God, it's leaking vibes everywhere. <laughs> your chat seems pretty loud. They are. They can be. <laughs> they're, they're, they're good, though, you know. With, I with think a little... they're good. Especially if they're on a Geist brand computer. She winks. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, she, like, we're, not, we're not getting paid. <laughs> no. What is paid? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, Do you want to tackle this, or...? I think this is something left for off-stream. That's fair. I... <sighs> She's just like, I, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. She doesn't need to know about fiat currency yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. So I'll just. Uh, you move in and you have a single handed savior. Yeah, this one is, this one's really strong, particularly for your skill set. How does it feel to you, Argos? Um, Ooh. A question of how this feels. This one shines through actually very clearly. This is a... Holy shit. Uh, as you hold your reflection tight, this one is just overwhelming with malice constantly. But as you hold yours, it is literally clear-minded focus and an utter willingness to nonstop do what needs to be done to make sure that everything will be okay. It's a little intense. It's an intense feeling, but it's like a jolt of demon energy drink. Yeah, I. It feels good. I like it. It feels like I'm in my element. <laughs> That's good. I'm happy for you. Uh, everyone points at the the thing, and Mike's like, "Right. Um, so. Uh, it has a high anima stat, which means um, everyone in chat is telling me to tell you mage build." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, they you all too. said it. They all said it. They all said it. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Stop corrupting. Stop corrupting the newest mod here. <laughs> She's still in training. Everyone was using all of their all of their they were using all of their redeems specifically to say mage build to you. <laughs> No, I've earned this. I've earned this. I've earned my legacy. We're gonna show them. If it calls to you and makes you happy, then I wouldn't worry about what chat thinks. Even if I think chat is nice. You know what? You're alright. <laughs> Click. Let me add orange. Brown stuff. Uh, orange. Orange. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh my god, you have literally the most whack stat spread I've seen so far. This is Steel and orange? Yeah, that's Steel and up. orange, baby! <laughs> Argo's kind of awesome. Uh, so, everyone finds their way back over to the middle. <laughs> Fucking coffin dudes are still here. Uh, <laughs> let me set things up. Thank you! Thank you. Everybody come back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> Riddle's like, okay, everyone. Um, It looks like we all have our reflections. I'll run you all through the binding process. It's not that bad. 
Uh, it seems like for the most part, we all have reflections that can be removed. So we can actually just begin. VR demonstrations aren't necessary, but if you want to take one, we absolutely can. There are VR rooms at the end of the halls. She starts to speak up and just click. And this person, immediately to your left, starts to shake Willow. Starts to shake and rattle on the spot. Um, let me let me start playing this. Uh, Willow, you're the closest right now. Would you mind hitting that roll to die button for me? Just All really right. Oh, I've gotta give you stats. Hold on. So you've got a clear, which will only be listed Omega. as a white for now. Omega wall. And then give me a roll to die. All right. Okay. In this moment, you turn over, and just a little too late, you manage to catch this person collapse onto the ground. The inside of their armor almost... Almost melting into this ectoplasmic sludge. Black goo touches the floor and begins to hiss and sputter away at it. And then, over here, another one drops. And then another, and then another. And the intensity grows. You hear a split-second call from Verona going, What's what's going on in there? And then it cuts. All of you have a split instant to react. What do you do? People are falling and turning into goo all around you. Let me let me let me play some uh, music. Combat. Is uh, this wait. a good time to ask how yeah. how do we activate our reflection? Oh, are you just gonna bind it to yourself on the spot? Yes. Oh, oh okay. boy, Willow, you feel like you can intuit this process immediately. Uh, are you gonna bind your reflection? Yes. Holy shit! Okay. Uh, lock in what? You don't have to lock in any dice. Just give me a roll to do. You're gonna respond to shit going wrong, and you're like, no, we're going. Boom. Willow, you take the shard, and as natural as breathing, you slam a hand into it and rip back a glove of brilliant light. Tell me what shape Grasp the Earth takes. Uh, it takes the shape of a gauntlet that kind of melds in with her armor. Ah, oh, beautiful. It locks in in an instant. A line of brilliant light. Uh, in this moment, another person collapses. You immediately equip your reflection. Ace, what next? Uh, what Ace was going to do is run over here and rip the coffin open to see what the fuck's yeah. inside. Uh, you open the coffin. Nothing but liquid inside. Oh, God. What do you do? Uh, Ace is just gonna say, uh, uh, he's going to see if there's anything unusual. Because this person hasn't turned to liquid yet, right? Yeah, they're shaking, though. They're shaking, though? Yeah. Uh, there has to be something causing it. So what Ace yeah. is going to do is just try to look around and listen to see if there's anything that snuck in somehow. Give me a roll to do. All right, roll to do. Uh, wait, uh, there we go. Roll to do. Boom. Uh, you feel. Whatever this is is coming from inside the coffin. It's buried somewhere deep inside of it. Uh, he's just going to tell Riddle to break it. <laughs> oh, not oh, Riddle, uh, Willow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, okay. Uh, Willow, give me yeah. a roll to do. Alright. Yeah, he's just gonna just stand, jump back and tell you to break the coffin. <laughs> break the, the strength, coffin? Tell me how you use your reflection to fucking obliterate this thing into dust. So, uh, Willow, uh, she knows that this, this powerful strength is not limited to her arms. She lifts her foot straight up in the air and goes for a hatchet kick. As she slams <laughs> it down, smashing this coffin. You obliterate the coffin in a moment, and then we're going to do something entirely unexpected. Immediately, you impact the coffin and a wave moves out through the area. Another hiss. It feels like the roar again as everything cracks on the inside. And you feel that this trap, whatever it was meant to do, was meant to do something specific. It was meant to kill you here. Now it is doing something else entirely. The world begins to blur. You see a line of static in front of your eyes. Let me bring you somewhere else. The signal is now distorted. 
everything burns around you. For a moment, you see the shape that the spark takes in all things, and your eyes go wide. You witness a space beyond and a space below. And I roll some dice. Fantastic. Okay. So it goes like this. Um, we're going to focus on Ace and Basil first. Your vision stretches in front of you and you feel yourself being called. Called somewhere deep, dark, someone somewhere beyond. You feel countless eyes focused Ooh. in on you. From beneath, millions and millions of lights look upwards, seeking to consume your own. And then, it all stops. There's a moment of pure and utter freedom, a purity and a clarity of mind. You feel almost at peace. Your body has been ripped apart, certainly. Nothing could survive a journey like that. Noted. This is Ace and Basil. Um, and you find yourself. Let's do... Oh, boy. <sighs> Christ, okay, here we go. You find yourself in a distant place where a long, ugly, ashy sea licks at the foot of a great castle. Right. And you feel a voice lightly and gently calling to you. Your body didn't follow you here. But, just the same, you return to a distant place where a light voice brings you home. Your eyes stare up now bereft of physical form, as you witness something beyond even the realm of the Coda, you see a throne of brilliant brass pipework towering up above you. One device leads to another, in the shapes of the flame trapped within, and all of it leads back to a singular point. A person sitting on a throne... The fire twitches and burns again. And in that silence, they look down at you and they simply beckon. And the best that you can do is follow. Willow and Argos. <laughs> <laughs> we meet you in a different place. Okay. Mm, something like this works. We meet you somewhere far, far away. Sent up, <laughs> rather than town. There's a slight roar, as it seems almost like a train is leaving the station. Your body is jostle. And let me put you on a map. You both are corporeal here. Feels like your bodies are still present. Let me move you over here. <clears throat> you sit quietly on a train. Seems outbound, traveling somewhere distant. silence spreads over you and in that silence you see a figure who looks identical to what you would imagine a vision of death to be rise on the far side of the car in utter silence look over to you pinch his eyes shut raise the silencing finger to it and then walk further down the car What do you two do? 
I look at Argo Argos. <laughs> you seeing this too? Yeah. Uh I'm going to see. Am I still am I still live? You are certainly not live anymore. But Mike, you, are you there? Yep. Immediately she chimes in. She's like, what is what is happening? What, what, what's happening? Relax. Relax. Okay. Check, check the check the ambient burn levels, please. Will she, it? <laughs> she looks around. It's this is really bad. Just being here is you're 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 burning our ghosts. All right, Willow, we we gotta get off this train. Are you sure? Pretty sure. <laughs> if Mike is saying it's bad, then just just being here is. Taking an immense toll on your minds. There's a click. The character of the train shifts as you begin to move. It becomes blurred in your vision slightly. Still friendly, but the sense that spreads over you now is not fear. It's not hatred, anger. It's not an intensifying emotion. It is peace. It is tranquility. It is stillness. But based on the tone of Mike's voice, you know... Practically speaking, you are burning. You are dying. All right. I'm getting us off this train. Okay. Uh, are you gonna? Are you gonna axe kick it? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, something a little different. And uh, Willow is going to punch the side of the train. <laughs> Willow, as hard as she can. Willow, give me a roll to do. You're gonna get a bonus to this from your reflection since you equipped a- <gasps> BAM! The entire train rocks back and forth. The tranquility, the eternity being disrupted. You feel like your body is being pulled elsewhere, but you fight back against the flow. Uh, Argos, what do you do? It feels like she has made progress. I look down at my 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 relatively weak gaming hands. <laughs> but, uh, I think right now the only way I'm gonna be able to help is if I uh, try out this this, this new this new glove. You take uh, a... Ooh, yeah, Willow. yeah. <laughs> Willow, did did it come naturally using your reflection? Ah. Uh... I mean, I kind of already knew how to do this. <laughs> you just gotta feel it. Just you know, punch inside and grab what grab what's yours. I kind of wanted to do this live, but here goes. <laughs> you reach in, and the glove meets you as you reach to the other side, and you feel the pinch of that be feedback travel through your body and you feel your your digits at the end of your hand suddenly flay uh splay out uh every single one of them as if there was for a moment a hot, hot iron inside of them and that feeling traces its way up your arm into your neck and then up the back of your neck into your head and then you feel the focus set in you feel the clarity immediately spread through your body and you look at the area around you and you can see weak points, dots, little, little flaws or fractures that's happening right now. You can tell if you shoot it exactly right, the right place, you can rip this place down, but it'll take a certain amount of accuracy and, uh, well, a weapon that you're comfortable with. What do you do? Okay. Uh, Argos is uh, a little stunned to suddenly be seeing this, but it it makes sense. He he uh, he's he's used to getting headshots every now and again. <laughs> it's not an unfamiliar thing. So uh, he's gonna try out just the uh, the starter. A, a replication of the starter pistol from uh oh oh exciting from the whale song scenario yeah 
you snap it into being. And in that moment, yeah, you get used to, you You summon a perfect replica of the, uh, of, of your current, we uh, of that imagined weapon. Opia brand, but this time reinforced by reflection. Lines of almost electric energy connect you to it. You can tell firing this will have the force of a railgun. Okay. All right, Willow. I'm going to shoot right over here. And if you punch right over there in that exact spot, I think we'll be able to break this thing. All right. I don't got know what's going to happen after that, but uh <sighs> Mike, if this is gonna if this is gonna kill us, now's the time to chime in. I think you're fine. Don't worry. I'm. If worse comes to worse, I'll, I'll pull you guys out. All right, on two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sink. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Give me rolls to do. <laughs> Bam and bam, you strike both sides of the train at once. Willow, your strength grips an earth that you can no longer even feel. Your core rooted power reroutes itself to worlds below and you yank this entire train down. To you as a comparison, it almost felt as if your soul was being called to the heavens. In this moment, you felt like it was born above on a bubble, carried to a place beyond the moon somewhere. But for you, on your end, Argos was able to point out a hole in that bubble, and you struck a hand through it, and then immediately grabbed the world below, and you bring this entire thing crashing down. Your soul vehemently returns from the world above and violently slams back into the real world. And all you see surrounding you on all sides is rainbow fire. A cushion or a cocoon bearing you back to the place that you once were. It feels incredibly active, incredibly kind, forward-looking. And about this time... This. You who traveled below. That same burning, sickening light spreads out through the area. It seems distorted here in this world of muted colors. But mm -hmm. your vision of the person in front of you is disrupted for a moment. And... You feel it stretch away. They rise from their throne. They take a step forward and they offer you a hand. Do you take it, either of you? God. It feels like the rainbow flame is trying to take you from this place. Another fire. Uh, I don't have a body, right? You are literally just a little mode of flame right now. I'll but throw you a... I'll th yeah, of course. I'll throw you a body so you can... Yeah, I see where we are yeah. relative to the map, yeah. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> a rainbow flame. Well... Uh, he looks over to Basil. Uh, or, or, you know, <laughs> theoretically looks over at Basil. Yep. And he's just like, oh, God. Uh, he's, uh... Well, I think there's only he's really one... You seem what? distraught. I'm not really much of a fan of fire. Are you the part of myself that is afraid? <laughs> <laughs> he just looks at him. No, no, I'm not the part of you that's afraid. I'm, I'm, I'm not you at all. Without physical forms, how are we to distinguish each other from one another? As, as Basil says this, she's actually got a point. In this place, the fire's leaking out. One is becoming the other. You are joining with this machine. It's only a matter of time before you are gone. Well, there's only one option, I guess. And he's going to just reach out and grab the hand, even though he hates it so much. <laughs> God damn it. First day. You reach out. 
You grab the hand of this unknown person sitting at the throne. Basil, what do you do? I am also grabbing the hand because I do not know that we are different. You both reach forward and you grab the hand as the person on the throne smiles at you, at you look full of infinite and true mercy. And then the damnable bright flame cuts away at you, yanks you apart, and separates you from a moment. That machine, that machine, that place that you were going to, that you felt, at least for the moment, that is where you truly belong. But you find everything stretch and blur, and you're pulled upwards. Up, 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 and up, borne by that rainbow flame. Play this. You all find yourself somewhere dark and distorted. Riddle is sweating, standing over the lot of you like, okay, okay, you're back, we're back, we're good. I... But, oh my god. Is that a normal part of being alive? Uh, no, 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 Basil, no, it isn't. Uh, <laughs> she like. Kill a train. <laughs> you, you guys saw a train? I want to know, I want to know about all of your experiences. I don't want to talk As, about it. You don't want to talk about it? You look down at your hand. You feel where her hand touched yours almost feels burnt beneath the surface, beneath the skin. No, he just kind of, of flame on you. He tightens his hand. He really does not like fire. Yeah. And he just stands back up. We kind of have more important things right now than we talk about where we were. Like, yeah. where we are now. Like... What's this? Okay, everybody else. Riddle, like, looks around. She is going to take the reflection and actually sweep it into her staff. And she's like, okay, everyone. Um, So, bad news. We're in the coda right now. We've initiated a coda dive, and we are, unfortunately, in pretty deep. It seems like those guys' soldiers were the catalyst. Excellent thinking, uh, Ace and Willow. You stopped us from being called to wherever they take us. Um, downside, we're stuck in the coda right now. Upside, this was a mistake, and they brought me close enough that I can get a good look at them. She starts to walk off in this direction. Oh, right. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, actually, worry a lot, but, um, if we stick close, uh, I'll do my best to keep everybody safe. She winks. This person is a twig? <laughs> yeah, uh, hold on just a second. Yeah. I think I installed my reflection. Um, oh, can I see? Yeah. Actually, let me take a look at all of you as well. Ooh. Immediately, like, she looks over between the two of you. Excellent work, you two. You said you destroyed a train? Yeah, punched it. I'm really proud. Metaphysical constructs like that are... Let me check your burn levels. Let me check your burn. Mike's other, Mike, how's their burn? Mike immediately chimes in. They're... Doing better than you'd expect. They're doing a lot better than you'd expect, actually. Uh, they acted really quickly, and you know how Argos is kind of resistant. Oh, Riddle like looks at the group. For anyone that doesn't know, so probably for Basil. Burn. It's a phenomenon that's encountered when we come into things from another world. Being in the Coda certainly does increase one's burn level linearly over time. There are things you can do to decrease it, but the best thing that you can do right now is keep your eyes straight ahead and don't think too hard. If your burn rises too much, if you overthink things, and if you focus on things from other worlds, that's how um, they start to whisper to you, pull you to other places. Oh, Ace and I were just burned. I see. Look at my she, hands. She looks at your hands and is like, I'm sorry, I lack a gift that will give me clarity here. <laughs> I shouldn't my reflection be able to like tell things about stuff I don't oh my God, I don't really know what I'm doing yet your reflection can do that uh she she like looks over and she's like whoa can I um, see wounds or do yeah just burn a wound or oh boy <laughs> Mike so... can you help me interpret this this is a lot I, so... I'm, <laughs> I'm having some trouble your feedback your reflection is 
everyone gets to display their health bars at all times. Also, their burn will be displayed for you. Literally always. Ooh, wow. Congrats. You can also scan people for different weaknesses, etc. You got a reflection that gives you functionally an analysis type ESP? Always. Uh, it's really good. This is a really good thing to have. So, the first thing that you're going to look at is... Uh, what, what are you going to look at with this? Okay. Um, Basil says he was burned, so I want to... Take a look, look at her. her and see what kind of data is popping up here. Oh boy! Start configuring my my heads up display. You start to configure your heads up display, and you look at every person around you. You look at these two. There's something strange happening with them. You functionally get a reading of their burn, and theirs by default is already set to a default ten. It can't be lower beyond that point. It is a flat threshold. There seems to be some sort of distortion around their hands each of them almost like almost like uh, it's viewed as a weakness but it's almost viewed as like a I, the best way to put it is your brain is telling you that that's a parasite um, <laughs> is everything I, okay I think you've got some sort of weird burn based infection or parasite or something that, going on with you. That's bad. That's bad. That's really Your hands. bad. Um, is it okay. code disease? Thinking about it? No, if it's code and disease, we need to make sure it doesn't spread. I'm sure it's fine. No, it's probably not. Um, She moves over to Ace and looks over at you. She's staring at you and like asking to see your hand. He uh, just give, sh give, shows the hand Coden disease, but you're here and you're fine. It doesn't it's feel not, like coden disease. It's not spreading fast enough for it. Yeah, it's... I, I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's... It's something for later. It doesn't seem like it's immediately pressing. Yeah, if it's not spreading, we should at least set it as the second priority after getting out of this place that is raising our burn levels in the yeah. immediate. Yeah, we, smart, we, smart. We just had to do what we had to do to get out of there. We didn't want I, to be dead, so... I see. Um, well, it'll it'll be okay. She, like, offers you, a, offers you, like, a comforting smile doing her best. We'll make it out. Um, all we need to do is find whatever the source of this is and cut it. If we yep. cut it, we'll go back. Mm-hmm. All right, that's only one way forward. Conan dives are functionally caused by being yanked forcibly into the coda. Um, right now, we are we're landed here, but physically speaking, our bodies are likely somewhere up high, high above. She's like moving around. We're functionally pure flame right now, so be careful. She uh, she like speaks up and. We should be fine, though. Creatures in the Coda aren't really drawn to people unless they're, like... Unless they're, like, super espers or anything like that, and we just got our reflections to begin with. Nobody mm -hmm. here is a super esper. I'm barely intermediate rank. Yeah, but what about the thing we just got touched with? That. Oh. <laughs> she looks over at you with a slight amount of horror. Yeah. Um, should I mention that we saw like death or something on the train? We saw yeah, death. Yeah, was this. Uh... Well, I. He he was this guy. He gave the impression of death, though. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Yeah, he like winked at us and then like walked away. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, that's a... good. <laughs> it's really good. Um, you walk through this area, the slow discolored section. You feel. Like something's watching you. It crawled its way out from the other area and is simply keeping eyes on you as you move. Riddle doesn't seem to notice, but you all do. She continues to walk. Help. Riddle, Where? hold up. Hold up. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Um. Is there something on the map? 
Oh, it's uh, to the right. It's right there, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Gonna gonna point that out. Don't call attention to it. Is that what death is? Uh. No, it can cause it. (laughs) Is what what death is? Nothing. Just keep walking. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're not we're not going to tell my childhood friend. Riddle, the riddle trusts you implicitly and we'll just continue moving. Sometimes ignorance is its own kind of strength. <laughs> Besides, if it's a problem, then we'll deal with it. Argos has has that pistol out. Just yeah. <laughs> be ready. Golden eye fucking <laughs> head bob. Yeah. <laughs> strafing, strafing. A figure drag itself out from the world below and move onto the platform, and then another, and then another. Guys, we got ads. <laughs> Riddle continues to move quietly. He's like, "Is that um okay? Where? It's where we started. Just South. try to keep moving. They live here, so." I'm surprised you're not seeing it. She turns around and she's like, seeing what? Oh. It's probably because <laughs> Riddle's burn level isn't at 10. She looks over and she's like, mm. Oh. You, you see a physical bit of feedback on her body. A line of black from one of her eyes. Right, okay. Yep, properly perceived. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful about that. Everybody continues to move forwards, and it's around this point. I'm going to need rolls to do from literally everyone. Yeah. Roll to do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you want <laughs> to see it? Yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. Argos, you All are right. too. Hmm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get the stream back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come, on, come on, stream. Come on, come on. You realize you hear repeated sets of footsteps headed towards you. Uh, that would be Ace. Ace is the one who immediately picks up you're about to get mobbed. Oh, God, they're coming for us. Let's just... Uh, what wait, do we do? Keep, keep moving. Just Run. keep going down. Yeah. All right. Will- Willow, take take the cog and block the doorway, the hallway with it. <laughs> um, What I'm going to do... Yeah? Uh, I'm going to take a finger. Yeah. And I'm going to kind of cut the wall just like slice along this this wall Ooh. and just cut it in half cut it <laughs> like straight in half you're gonna take the one finger go boom and just drag it around the outside give me your opening Fuck. you impact this and you manage to do it because uh for this add 1d6 add a 1d6 bonus from your reflection Boom. One. You slide it around the outside and really divide the space. But in a moment of horror, you realize gravity, as you understand it, doesn't apply here. It seems like this area is sticking back together. You're like, oh. <laughs> All right. I'm going to listen to you. And yep. use the cog this time. <laughs> Roll the two. Bam! You slam it down in the way as this large group of people just moves into the area, one after the other. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, Riddle keeps closing the way. It's like, uh, we're moving ahead. Come on. Yep. Oh, fuck. Right. I didn't mean to grab your, grab your boyfriend. <laughs> it's my mom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're all pilot piling up on the far side of the cog as you continue to press onwards. Yep, just gotta keep up. I think that'll stop them for a second at least. Uh, How do we know if there are any more people in here? If anyone else got pulled in? I uh, we, we, we don't. We if just we, gotta trust that they can handle it. Yeah, plus if we defeat the source, everybody gets out. So let's go. You look over as you see one of those figures, uncloaked in the coda proper, stands yanking itself up over the side. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh God! It uh, it towers over there. Ace, this is starting to feel very familiar. Yep. Okay, just keep moving. I think it sees us. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not gonna look at it. Watching with a large grin as you move onwards. 
You have no idea why they all seem so pleased. You hear the large crowd building at your backs as you continue They're to move. They're probably happy to have company. And? You move to an area that feels achingly familiar. Okay. Okay, this looks... This is the reflection hall. Yeah. Okay, come on, keep going. It's just a we reflection of it. We don't understand what the coda is or how it does any of this. We oftentimes will see... We'll see physical representations of the world above down in the coda below. This is another one of those times. It's just... It's mixed with so much architecture. Old, ancient. This stuff goes back for years and years and years. She's like looking around and scanning it. Argos, is Mike recording all of this? Argos. Uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm getting all of it. Okay, good, good, good. Let's keep going. <sighs> Alright. So... Turn. Uh, have to rebroadcast this later. <laughs> <sighs> you continue sprinting. Willow, uh, like, Willow, you notice that Riddle is visibly not getting massively tired this time? Just like, okay. <laughs> Pick a direction. Which way? I mean, uh, if we look down the hallways, on the the one in front of us has a geist guy just standing there. Yeah. He's, uh, you he's, see, you see a single figure standing in the middle of the ash. He's probably the ash. He's probably the cause. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Right. Hold on one second. Yeah. I'm going to think real hard and try to manifest the memory of the uh the sniper rifle that i saw Ooh. circuit wielding in the uh whale song scenario you're gonna summon out a sniper okay as best i can <laughs> and try and uh. try and get a look at at this guy you take a look uh give me a roll to do or you can roll to die and then roll to do i'd love to die <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes excellent and you can click to lock one of those in. So yeah, That's you locked in fun. your steel. Yeah. My, I focus my steely gaze. Sniper monkey. <laughs> you can tell. Oh my god, you choosing that reflection is going to give you more information than I ever expected. Uh, you see long tendrils of almost grotesque energy leaving this being not visible to the naked eye you feel you feel your burn spike up for a moment even conceiving of it but it feels like this is almost the nerve center of this place okay i'm really not sure how to interpret it but i don't think this guy is a friend okay uh what do we do mm. oh well i mean there's only really one thing to do Riddle's Just, like, how do Riddle's... i unzoom <laughs> <laughs> UI isn't calibrated yet. <laughs> if you put it there, it will cease to function. Yep. That's my plan, at least. We'll get out of here. Let's just get closer first, just to confirm. You continue sprinting up through the distorted reflection hall. As you see, this figure here. Everybody roll to die for me really quick. You don't need to roll high, as you only have two attributes. Is my rogue Ooh! Basil, Argos, Ace. You all managed to detect this a moment before it impacts. There is about to be some sort of a blaster shock around this thing. Uh, I pull back Riddle. Ooh. You grab Riddle and yank her back out of the way. Um, Willow, you are caught in this dust storm as, as basically something hits the ground immediately in front of you. Play something? Mm -mm -mm. Let's do. You recognize a large robotic form. It hits the ground, sending up a cascade of dirt and sand, blowing you all back. Riddle's yanked to safety. You two up front manage to guard your stance. And the figure turns towards the Geist guard picks it up, and just begins beating the shit out of it. 
He's <laughs> like, it towering over this thing, just starts to hit it again and again and again, and then it seems confused. And slowly, it turns around and it looks at you. It seems to recognize your presence. And you watch as it bo its body distorts. One segment be uh, becoming long, and then... It explodes so, mm -hmm. out. Everybody, give me rolls to die. Welcome to your first combat. Yeah. <laughs> your first and obviously final combat for the session. Ooh, okay. It's, it's jamming. <laughs> it's yeah, going. He's, he's bopping. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, Riddle is going to go first. Okay. Everyone do your best. I'll cover you from the back. If it has any projectiles, I'll try my best to send them off course. I believe in you. We've spent a long time trying to... We've spent a long time in training camp, honestly, doing this... The fake version of this for, like, what, months? Let's show them that we can do the real thing. She slams her staff on the ground. The area around, so long as you're here, you will be able to move instantaneously through it. Furthermore, Riddle will be able to clash with and redirect any projectiles follow, uh, thrown through here. Functionally, you can teleport within this sphere. Cool. And she'll uh, actually... That's <laughs> useful. <laughs> That's incredibly Ooh. useful. Okay. Uh, now, the way this game system works is we do popcorn initiative. Riddle rolled the highest. That is the primary one we're concerned about. You're allowed to lock in any swing off your initial roll to die. Uh, Riddle is going to pass it immediately to Ace. All right, here we go. Obviously something hostile. There's only really one thing to do. He, doesn't, he hasn't bonded with his reflection yet, but Willow has. So what Ace is going to do is he's just going to simply like, just run up to it uh, without a reflection. And yeah. he's just going to try to uh, sweep this thing's legs in order to knock it onto the ground so Willow can just ground pound it. <laughs> it's funny. As you move in, Ace, immediately, you feel like it is appraising your stance carefully. It makes a move backwards, and you feel like it is doing something very similar to you. Uh, it it waits for your, moment, uh, your motion. Give me a roll to do. All right, roll to do. Whoop. You feel... Uh, it is going to. <laughs> it, no. it'll, it'll clash with you. Yeah. For a moment, it almost feel like this thing is trying to enter a formless style of its own, but your speed just outpaces it. Tell me how you beat it. This was a clash, you may ignite. Alright. Oh, ignite? Oh, fuck. Is that, doesn't that do more yeah. damage? It does. It doubles yeah, the yeah, damage yeah. of your attack. Okay. So what Ace is going to do is he's going to uh, just come in and just give it like a calf kick to the legs and it's just like oh this yeah. won't hurt but it's stronger than it thinks and then it just kind of just like gets hit and then <laughs> topples to the ground uh, <laughs> it's a very mean attack as you thunk it over and the, the machine in front of you seems genuinely upset it thought it was anticipating your move but you went for such a dirty tactic yeah then ace is going to just boop, teleport back <laughs> just because of the space the space yeah. riddle is given yeah you, I imagine you throw the reflection in the air, do that, teleport back, and catch it. Yeah. <laughs> Who goes next? Uh, Willow. Willow. Uh, for all of your efforts for the remainder of this fight, add yourself 2d6 for your gloves. Yeah. If you're gonna beat the shit out of something, you get 2d6 on it. Alright, so Willow is going to teleport, uh, directly above it. As yeah! This was mm -hmm. a plan that she already knew. <laughs> Give me that roll to do, add 2d6 to the effect. And hey, she's going to do that ball. star punch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! Hold on, let me roll to do. Fuck yes, and then add 2d6. Your entire body ignites as you fall from the sky. Flame licking around your fist as you slam into the ground with even more force than this thing, sending it flinging, like almost pressing it into the ground as you force it downwards, connecting yourself to the earth like a comet. Who goes next? 
So, uh, after the attack, you see, like, the little glowing spots on Willow, like, burn, and, like, she's actually a little bit on fire. <laughs> and, uh, she's going to, uh, follow up by, with Argos. Perfect. Let me... All right. Argos isn't in the cool teleportation circle, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a sniper rifle. He's gonna, he's gonna zoom in and look at this thing and try to analyze exactly where those weak points are using his reflection. Ooh, okay. Give me a roll to do. Uh, there it is. Perfect. Uh, that will... Yep, that'll succeed against it, and I'm gonna mark something on it. Whenever you are following Argos' advice and acting on this, 1d6 bonus. Cool. Argos, you just... Sp you you shout it out. Where, where do you think is weak? The knees. Go for the knees. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, get to get his fucking knees! Who goes next? That me? Uh, yeah. Basil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this uh, what the awkward initiative means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay, also, I, oh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Uh, also, remember that uh, the enemy is a valid target to pick for pop yes. popcorn yep. initiative. Yep. Popcorn effectively oh. means at the end of your turn, you get to pick who goes next. The reason why the enemy is a valid target and why you should probably never let the enemy go last is... Um, the can enemies can themselves. pass to each other, and they can pick yeah. themselves. <laughs> so, so if, uh, whoever's last can pick themselves, basically, because the turn would reset, and they get effectively two turns in a row. I see. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, more you no, know. You're, you're good. Gamer tips. <laughs> Strategy. <So. laughs> clear these tutorials off the screen. <laughs> 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 Who's up next, Argos? Uh... Did, uh... Basilisk and the enemy have yet to go. Okay, then... <laughs> Sorry, but I'm gonna give it to the enemy, actually. <laughs> That's fair. That's what I've learned. The enemy is going to summon, up above their head, this towering sort of spectral force. A gigantic hand, almost projected by the speaker on its back, gives light to this thing, and it picks it up and is going to attempt to bring it down over your head. Uh, give me your roll to die first, Ace. Yeah, because my gift allows me to roll to die first. Yep. Yep, I locked out because of uh, yep. igniting, so all I got is a fucking blue one, but it's better than nothing. Clash with me. God fucking damn it. I, <laughs> that, actually, that's good. That's what I want. What the fuck? Why am I angry? Oh, fuck. Bam! Bam! The sword overarms at you and dramatically swings down you hold you hold your, both of your wrists up of, above your head trying to shield against what is a sort of psychic force as it brings it down trapping you beneath its weight ace is holding the sword up now this this being's going to turn around and try to take a swing at willow it's going to willow roll to die versus this it boots you backwards as you fly and hit over here. Uh, Willow, you have 10 HP. That will drop you by two in this case. He was mostly trying to fucking send you over this direction. You are at eight. Ace, I'm going to drop your three as well. You are at eight as well. Yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. The last choice, Basil. Okay, I can teleport anywhere in this field, yep. correct? Anything in this circle is free movement, and then you can move afterwards as well. Okay, I would like to teleport into the space where his leg is, because I'm oh, going yeah. to grapple it. <laughs> Still holding on to that reflection? Yeah, I'm not going to use it. I haven't determined okay. whether or not it's worthy of being met by its end here. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. Roll to do. Oh, where's my, where's my thing? Your thing? Oh, oh no, I was, I was selecting. Like, yeah. I was hitting the, yeah. Uh, roll to do. Yep. Boom, boom. It manages to jump in the air, evading you, and actually I'll ignite. Of some sort. Uh, you cannot in this situation. Oh, I can't. Oh, because we're not you clashing. Can't, yeah, Dang you're it. not clashing, and uh, you can't ignite to make an attack hit. You can only do it for skill checks. Mm. Uh, sort of a new act. Who goes first, Basil? I pick me. <laughs> You pick yourself? I'm gonna okay. do it again. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's up in the air. You teleport under it again? Give me a roll to do. There we go. Ah, uh, excellent. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, wouldn't they wouldn't they get an extra D6 for the weakness? Boom. Oh! Oh! Please. Of course! Yeah. 
Oh my god, I'm so foolish. The rules I just Thank said. You, um uh Basil, give me uh yes. you uh tell me what you would have done if you pinned it. You warp underneath it and you grab its leg. Tell me what you your follow-up is. It will hit. Uh my follow-up to that would be uh she would break the knee. She would dislocate it. <laughs> <laughs> Basil, you attach to the knee and you <laughs> give me one d6. Okay. Uh, who goes next? Uh, a riddle. Riddle. Riddle's gonna move over in this direction. She's gonna warp and then move over here and she's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna start severing the connection. Everybody get ready. <laughs> uh, next turn. Everything is gonna go fucking buck shit wild. Riddle slams her staff down on the ground as the ESP begins to flare in the area. You feel, Argos, you feel it. Every single tendril connecting you to this space is being severed one by one by her. Keep it off of me for now. She's gonna pass to Willow. I'm picking up this pillar. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, let's still, Basilisk. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm gonna run over here, and once I run, I jump and teleport behind you. With <laughs> 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 the fucking pillar! <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking hitting it with the pillar. Oh my god, okay, roll to do for me. Add that 2d6. Jesus Christ. Tell me how you home run this thing. Like, tell me how you get its ass. After Willow teleports right behind it, she swings the pillar, hitting it straight into its back and hoping to just knock it through a wall or into the orbit. It flies into the distance and boom, almost touches down in space itself. It braces a galaxy with his feet and boom, flies back, impacting the ground immediately in front of Riddle. It takes a wound. <laughs> AJ. Yeah. I never let go. Of course you didn't! <laughs> of course you didn't! You're attached to its leg like a rabid dog. Who goes next, Willow? Uh, Willow is going to leave, like, a little bridge leading up to it, like, uh, a ramp leading off up, up to it. Ace, it's up, it's up to you! I, I'm, he's holding back his sword, kind of busy right now. <laughs> I, so, just block it! Do? <laughs> I, sword. It's my turn. Well, I have my back corn against the wall right now. Uh, he's gonna bind to Vault Watcher. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. So, yeah. you back to the wall. You're keeping the sword above your head, and you reach over and plunge a hand into the reflection, yanking it backwards as a ring adorns your finger. And it lets out aloud. Yeah! <laughs> Living again, baby! God. What's going on? <laughs> Look. A, a skull chatters open and closed on your ring. Yeah. Uh, it appears on the hand. I reached out with a hand that was touched by the flame. And, but the that ring's not alone. Uh, it's adorned on the middle finger and there's a ring next to it with a, like an engraving of an eye. <laughs> Oh, whoa, you got me a friend instantly? Messed up, dude? Uh, so, what can I do? You yeah. Want? You well, want some help? You want to yeah. forge, forge a contract? Oh, you, what do you mean I got to get a contract? I already bound to you. <laughs> uh, dodge left. This sort of impact <laughs> as, you move, as you move through the area. Well, I just don't <laughs> let anyone take a weapon from my vault. We got to make a deal. Tell me what's most precious. What's most precious to me? Yeah. Living right now? Yeah. <laughs> the day of your life. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a boom, and fire exits your body and flows into the ring. Immediately oh, in your hand, a heavy blade rests at your side. You look down at it. Its shape seems awfully familiar. Long, yeah. most prolonged pipes rest at your uh, rest at your side. A flat blade, barely usable for any cutting. A an eye adorns this as well. <laughs> Can I take burn? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Uh, your LS is going nuts right now, Argos. You Ar Ace over here is so on fire. <laughs> uh, Ace, you know I what you're doing. No. 
<laughs> you get an attack with this thing this turn. You want to do something with it, my friend? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. So, uh, my burn. Oh, God. Yeah. What is it at? 20 probably right now? <laughs> uh, your burn is... I put it at a solid 17. Okay. So, what Ace is going oh, to do... Wait, no, 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 no. You're 22. 22? Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. Alright, so that's just I a... I could... This. Yeah. <laughs> I will set up heads up displays for the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so what Ace is going to do with this blade that feels so familiar is it seems like everyone's uh, paying attention to the red thing right now. That's good. Uh, Willow was like, come on, Ace, you set it up. And Ace is like, Ugh, there's something else to deal with. And so what he's go going to just do is uh, now that he dodged the blade, this blade like uh, embedded into the ground, what he's going to do is just try to swing this blunt sword down to break this ghostly blade. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. Yeah. Boop. Oh, yeah. you swing it down on top and there's a crack as the blade shatters beneath Willow Willow. Uh, 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 and you watch as the sword at your side greedily drinks its fire. Who goes next? <laughs> oh, who goes next? Uh, yep. you know what? Uh, ah, fuck. Our ghosts are the enemy. I, you know what? Uh, I'll go the enemy. Argos can take two turns if he so chooses. That's dope. The sword falls to the ground. The <sighs> fist reels back and is going to attempt to punch Willow. Willow, match it in a contest of fists. Oh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Tell me how you outpunch something that is literally three times your size. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't out even uh, out punches it. She just does a little flick and knocks the entire hand out of the way. Boom! <laughs> God. It explodes into the distance. This one wheels around and is going to attempt to kick, kick Basil off. Basil, give me a roll to do. Okay. You remain attached to its leg. To, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I mean, is it my turn? <laughs> uh, it is not. But tell me, how are you holding on? With her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you you keep your teeth attached to its knee, Argos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Argos is going to move up into this nice little circle. Yeah. And instead of looking at the enemy, he's going to look at whatever... Uh, uh, Riddle is doing with this thing. Oh, okay. I'm trying to analyze it with, with the single-handed savior. Excellent. Give me a roll to do. You see, Riddle is trying to cut off every tendril that is currently binding, holding this place together. Imagine this is a spider web that all connects to a single point. For you, you can see every single tendril leading back. Riddle clearly can't. She is literally blindly firing through the space. Cutting it with her ESP again and again and again and again. You can right, still I'm, act if you want to. Yeah, I'm gonna shout out some. I'm gonna shout out the uh, like which, which points of those tendrils or do anything to help her cut through it faster. Perfect. Who goes next? Uh, let's have Basil. Yeah. Basil. Um. Okay. Um. Basil is going to look at uh, Collapse of the Living. Yeah. And uh, she's going to detach her mouth and hold on with her arms for a second just to ask it a question. Yeah. <laughs> is this creature worthy of being your first end? It offers you a yes. Okay. I'll bind you. <laughs> <laughs> you reach your hand in, and what you pull out is a large, heavy sword at first. The end almost appears to be axe-like? What the fuck is this shape? And then it twitches and reconfigures itself and twitches and reconfigures itself and twitches and reconfigures itself. Basil, what shape does this weapon take? A giant axe that's bigger than her. Chung! You touch it down on your back. Give me your do. Bam! You swing it into the thing's side as it stumbles over to the side. It keeps itself upright. That single eye trained on you. The axe whoom, returns to your back as the entire area just 
like you disturb sand and dust in a wave around you as you do it. Who goes next? Uh, who hasn't gone? Uh, it's start of a new act. I should I should rephrase. Oh, yeah. um, let's go with Willow. All right. Willow is going to run forward. Uh, and how is so? What is the uh, robot thingy doing right now? It got blown back and is trying to recover from Basil, who just blew it up with an axe bigger than she is. <laughs> it's like, okay. it like looks up exactly as you get into its face, and it almost seems to be shocked for a second. It's going to try to assume a stance again, to try to prevent you from attacking it. It like strains up and assumes a, almost a martial artist's pose. <laughs> you think that's gonna stop me? Let me show you. And I'm going to grab his leg and squeeze. <laughs> oh god. Give me a roll to do. Oh my god, I barely. Add, add that add that two D6 to it. You gotta beat Nate. Boom! You start squeezing, and the entire body begins to sort of heave and give way. You're holding it in place. Who next? Uh let's do Argos. Alright. Argos is gonna Go on the offensive now. Not that this thing is uh, held in mm -hmm. place. Uh, I'm just going to shoot at it. Yeah, give me a roll to do. Are you going to shoot at the weak point you designated? I'm going to do my my damnedest. Bam! The shot flies out and impacts its knee. The same spot that Willow's grabbing. It, it grows increasingly wounded and increasingly feral. Distorted screeches move through the area. Who next? Uh, I think it's Ace's turn. Yep. All right. Oh, God. Uh, Jay, I'm going to do something. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? So uh, what Ace is going to do is, uh, so there's just all these tendrils and stuff, and that's yeah, the thing keeping us from here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to introduce a mechanic before you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Ace is going to uh, leave this area, dragging his sword, but right before this rusty sword leaves the circle, he's going to twist it, and have this space bend around the sword, and I'm gonna do a reality break. You absorb Riddle's ESP into your blade, and for a moment, um. for a moment, what is ESP? It is a focus of a single person's worldview. ESP is a connection between a person and the world. In this case, you take Riddle's point of view into yourself, allow the sword to pick it up, and it becomes a sheath for the blade as you lift it aloft. This blade is gifted with the power of isolation, but Ace, immediately your body is hit by a powerful wince. You feel, you feel Riddle's ESP spread through your body just the same. And as you brace the sword, you feel a dawning amount of horror of exactly what is happening inside of Riddle's mind and exactly how intense her worldview is. You see it spreading out in front of you. You see the distance between spaces. You see a forever on all sides. Riddle sees all things, even temporary things, as inattainable and distant. By focusing this into the blade, for a moment, you sense forever. You sense eternal bonds cut short, and you sense the eternal loneliness of isolation. But you coalesce her ESP into the sword. Give me a roll to do. No, right. and uh, Jay also, uh, yeah. <laughs> just because yeah. I know what I'm wielding right now, uh, yeah. can I spend 20 burn to summon a copy of myself? You can. Vault Watcher will enable you to do this for the moment. Yeah. All right. So I do two rolls to do. Yep. One for me, one for the clone. Fuck. The clone misses wide. Yeah. Where did you go? Uh, he's just going to try to use the isolation that he has, uh, to just separate the tentacles from the source. You swing the sword down. Give me some narration as you cut through this thing. So... Something walks about to happen again. Yeah, so... Uh, he sees these nerves. He feels the isolation that Riddle feels. And he looks at his blade, once blunt, but now sharpened with the ability to separate all things. And as he just gently slashes through these nerves, uh, he thinks, I'm not sure if this is a good idea. 
<laughs> you swing your blade down and you cut the source of this distortion at its very base. The blade cutting through and causing every single tendril to give way. The entire world begins to shift and shake and bend inwards with an ugly screech. And then your mind, your consciousness, everything is again pulled somewhere else. You feel, you feel distance again. Mm. You feel like you're being pulled towards the sky, the moon. Those who were put on that spectral train are, this feels very, very familiar, but um, for everyone else, this is a new sensation. This is a sensation of being pulled out of the depths of the earth and instead thrown high, high above and you feel your body suddenly, as this space is thrown away, tossed out of the coda. You're gone. Whatever was anchoring you here, no longer is doing so. But uh, downshot of things. You're falling. You're falling a great distance towards oh. the below you. You look down in abject horror as Ace. You realize you just. You cut everything indiscriminately. Whatever ties were determining your location, literally randomly selected one. And guess what? There's a whole lot more sky than there is Earth. Well, you're, th you're thrown into the sky and let me. You watch as someone panicking at least a little bit holds their staff out and thump. You fall one after the other <laughs> into a light curtain of ESP. Thunk. Thung, thung, thung. That one's, that one's gone. <laughs> yeah, that guy's not a guy again. She's, okay, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I, see, I told you I'd get you out of there. Good work, Ace. I am. <laughs> Ace is just looking at the floor below. It's literally a thin pane of glass separates you from the abyss. And then, whoom, the entire disc turns. Kerthung, riddle. Uh, hey guys. Yeah. Take care of that, or um, we all die. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> Everybody roll to die. Final <laughs> bit of combat. Let's fucking go. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> hey Argos. Mm -hmm. Your streams are back online. Ah. They all flare to life the second you re-enter the physical world. All right, and we are back. Thanks for <laughs> waiting. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, drones start to close in on your location, filming the entire process. <laughs> all right, uh, <laughs> uh, Mike, please, pre please prepare the uh, burn scrubbers for stream because. I'm about to 1v1 this guy, no items, final destination. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to bleep that, you know I have to bleep that, right? <laughs> We're like, okay, please take care of this. Uh, Shouldn't everyone ping burn for that? <laughs> <laughs> Mike is gonna bleep you. Um, Let's go. Uh, Basil, you get to go first. Okay. Um what she's going to do because we're all falling at the same pace you're floating right now we're floating you're, okay your falling has ceased completely final destination bro <laughs> the final destination <laughs> um so this uh teleportation field is a bubble correct it is functionally think of it as a platform you can warp anywhere on the platform okay i will uh warp underneath dancy robot friend oh excellent and uh, spin with my axe like a top. Ooh, and I'm going to attempt to take out both of its legs. Give me a roll. Do -do. <laughs> Dude, fuck this thing's legs. <laughs> yeah, this I legs really don't care for this thing's add legs. Add 1d6. Look at that in those knees. Oh Maybe my god. Uh, you swing through and... Uh... Oh boy. You slice through using your abysmally... Your abysmally cursed reflection, almost like a top, as you also similarly slice through the ESP, Riddle's expression and her focus 
really, really start to bear down at this moment as the entire platform pitches to the side. You see a drone skitter underneath you as this figure draws itself back up. Its legs are in such miserable shape. Who goes next? Did chat see that? <laughs> They're loving it. <laughs> uh, I will say Ace. Oh, God. Uh, Ace is just fucking just like tired as fuck. His nose is probably bleeding a little bit yeah, after what he did. He's bleeding a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And so uh, he's just like, God, this, it never stops. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so what he's going to do is he's going to uh, actually, <laughs> what I'm going to do with my turn is I'm going to uh, just position myself over here, float my way over, and it's like, Willow, just trust me a bit. And he's going to like rear his legs back. And what I want to do is I just want to fucking just full torque launch Willow into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, what? <laughs> I assume Willow's going next. Yeah, Willow's turn now. Okay. Hello, roll to do. Uh, what color did you were you using? What well, I was I, using? I'm using. I was in red. Oh, you're in red. So I guess my color's red now. Well, oh yeah. Six. Oh yeah. Let's let's coordinate this attack. Oh yeah, it's clear. Yeah, you have clear. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! You get a red stat. You get a red stat from trust me. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Wait. You already had a red stat before. I think it's gonna be two. Yeah, that's you get to, you get to you get to you get to pick another stat if you so wish. But for now, your red stat is functionally, trust me, you're sent flying forwards. Alright, I'm going to fly forwards and I'm going to uh, you know what? Fuck this thing's legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, let's stop until we break this robot's kneecaps. <laughs> As Willow flies through the air. She's going to uh, go for like a, a a flying kick. Oh, excellent. Give me that roll to do. Boom. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Roll. Yep, 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 yep. You flying kick and slam into its body as it boom. Boom. Flies backwards, you wounding at the final time, you literally kick it over the horizon, and you just watch it disappear into fucking starlight. Uh. Oh. No, oh. oh my god. Okay. 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 We're fine. Everything is fine. Uh, Riddle's ESP. Yeah. She flicks <laughs> off for a second. She's like, yep. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Things look bad right now. <laughs> yeah, we are, are, we're falling now. You're not falling right now. I'm maintaining it. It's oh, okay. a lot of hard, harder to see. Ace, <laughs> Ace is holding his nose, which is <laughs> uh, we form like a supportive circle around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ace is okay. holding his nose, which is bleeding, and he's just gonna wipe the black gunk away from Riddle's eye and just be like, "Yeah, there you go." <laughs> okay, okay. Um, if I look at at Riddle through my reflection, <laughs> can I? <laughs> Can you Can see I... how high her burn is? <laughs> or are you gonna shoot her to heal her right now? Are you gonna <laughs> shoot Riddle in the face to heal her? No, I would ne I would not shoot her in the face. Of course. Shoot her in the gut. <laughs> I'd look her in the eyes and tell her it's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a roll to do. Give me a roll to do. You. And. Hold on. Just... Probably not gonna feel great. <laughs> okay, okay, we're still. Thank, thank you. That was terrifying. You sh literally, you literally shot me in the abdomen. <laughs> she like punches you lightly. <laughs> did it help? It did. It did help. It did help. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's not zoomed. team killing. <gasps> Yo, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. Uh, what Ace is going to do is he's going to reach out of the bubble and try to grab one of these drones <laughs> real quick. Give me a roll to do. Yeah, I just fucking yeah. <laughs> you leap and grab a drone. What are you? What are you doing? With I, that? I go back. I go back into the whole, the thing. Okay, so I learned that there's this thing on Skypoint. Uh, he just fucking tears it open. Oh. So so apparently a lot of Skypoint people have gel on them. So when they fall, if they fall off of Skypoint, 
uh, it will soften their impact. So uh, Ace's logic is they probably put similar things in these machines to save them if they oh. like malfunction in the sky. So they, they don't one, went, so they one yeah. don't damage people on the floor and two don't damage the technology. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Like a sort of ablative gel. Yeah, no, 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 no. You uh, you rip some out. It will not be enough with just one of these. Well, I mean, <laughs> he looks at the other drones. I mean, it's. <laughs> Well, falling like this is nice. Might as well have some extra security, right? The drones are flying a little bit they're farther like, they're away. They're like a little worried. They're like, oh, 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 about this. <laughs> Riddle's like, okay, uh, I'm going to build a bridge over to one of those drones. Willow, get ready to grab it, okay? Yeah. All right. Her her wings start flapping. <laughs> oh, yeah, your wings. <laughs> yeah, Willow will be fine. <laughs> Willow does not understand. She's like, oh my gosh, we're gonna fall and die, too. <laughs> she doesn't understand Willow, she's got wings. Riddle's entire expression screws up as she's like, mm. as she creates a, she creates a long, like, <laughs> oval that you all are still oh balancing barely on top of. Riddle's like holding onto Argos' arm like, okay, 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 we're great. good. I think we're doing great. Uh, give me a roll to do. Give me a roll. Give... Actually, you know what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a roll to do just to see. Bam! You grab one. Rip it open and yank the gel out. Okay. Are we good? Is that enough? Is that enough? I I mean, okay. for five people? For five people. Oh. Don't worry about me. I will simply attack the land before it attacks me. <laughs> Riddle's like, okay, um... In this case, let's distribute the gel. Willow, can you fly? Are you good? Yeah, I can fly. Okay, good. I can try and pick up oh. someone. That, that'd be I've helpful. Got a very stupid idea. What's that? It was a very stupid idea the time I used it in the <laughs> in VR. And it's going to be a very stupid idea this time. What? I concentrate hard and try and alter my my weapon into that. Of a bomb. <laughs> Rocket jumping? What are what are you what are you doing? What are you doing with a what are you using with the what uh okay. you made a pipe bomb. Um what <laughs> So this is a healing pipe bomb. So maybe. <laughs> maybe. I what the fuck? <laughs> Your pipe bomb strategy again. Let's not count on this, but if we hit the ground, maybe this will go off. You guys are fun. Your reflection is wild. Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you yell as Kuchung, Kuchung, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you all fall to the world below. And hold on, let me, let me, let me figure this out. So it's time to roll. Who's using a blade of gel? Who's getting lifted by Willow? God. Uh, and who's I... using the fucking pipe bomb? <laughs> who's using the healing pipe bomb? <laughs> God fucking shit. I don't want any of these options. <laughs> Can I just oh, be carried by me? Do you want to be carried? Do you want to I, carried? The gel was my idea, so I'm gonna do the gel. Fuck okay, it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Who is holding the healing pipe bomb? I mean, Ar look, Argos. I mean, it's Argos' reflection. You yeah. better. You, and look, it's your plan. You better fucking use it. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. my god. Does Actually, Willow have her backpack? Willow would not have her backpack in this instance. Okay. Actually, Mike is the one who came up with this plan originally. Isn't Mike, that right, Mike. Mike? Mike, like, yeah, you're welcome. I mean, oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so, in this case, Riddle will absolutely get carried by Willow. <laughs> She's the lightest, and it's like, wow, I'm incredibly invested in not dying right now. <laughs> so yeah. she's like, yeah, I'm just gonna let Willow carry me. Those two are safe, the remaining three have gel and a pipe bomb. <laughs> and I'm attacking the Earth. You're attacking the Earth, of course. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, uh, to end stream. So I don't violate TOS if this goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure, everyone. Yeah, thanks okay. for com thanks for coming out. <laughs> How are it you was nice meeting you, chat. How are you all still doing this right now? <laughs> you gotta look on the bright side of a situation, you know. Yeah, the city's uh, getting real close. 
<laughs> I'm optimistic. Uh, kind of <laughs> okay, I can be down. real now. I don't want to die. <laughs> and, oh my god, one after the other. <laughs> Action time. Let me move you over. You feel like you've spatially changed locations. Yeah. Let me, uh... This time, traveling the good old-fashioned way, you arrive. What the fuck? What does that mean? Don't worry about it. So, you all are going to hit this hill. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move you two off to the side because you're fine. And then we're going to go one by one. Uh, I'm going to roll 1d3 to determine who's, who's going first. Uh, Argos, you and your healing pipe bomb are going to hit the ground first with your blade of gel. Give me a roll to do. Oh shit! Argos, you hit the ground and you bounce a few times. The gel just being like, thunk, 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 thunk. You're like, ow, 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 roll into a bench. The pipe bomb detonates and you're like, oh, good as new. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still glad I turned off stream for that. That was humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one sees this. And then, you two. Uh, Ace, what is the plan? Just hit the ground? I mean, oh, if you say it like that, uh, Ace is gonna be talking to his ring. Yeah? Yeah? I do, I look, this, this gel is gonna be good, but do you have any other idea, maybe? Mm, I don't know, what do you got for me? I, I could, uh, look, I could have left you over there in the coda, could you just give me one freebie? <laughs> Uh, you can't exactly- Oh, you see, this is extortion, because you're about to die. Go boom! Splat against the ground! If you could do this every time, you're gonna be able to weasel free shit out of me forever! Look, only free one, promise. Fine! <laughs> Ace, Give me armor! <laughs> yeah, you rocket towards the ground as, for exactly a split instant, everyone in the air sees a, a brilliant gleaming suit of armor slam into the ground, sending up a wave of fucking debris and dirt, and then you emerge and it disappears again. There you go. Yeah, that's all I needed. Nothing more, nothing nothing less. Thank you. <laughs> Basil, are you rolling to attack the ground? Mm -hmm. Mommy won't let me die. Okay. <laughs> roll, to, roll to do. Jesus Christ. Boom! <laughs> Basil, you hit the ground and are KO'd immediately. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit the dirt. There is nothing else to it. You just sunk out. <laughs> now, I hope this doesn't create mommy issues. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, back here. Try back here, you notice... The pipe bomb meta. You notice something. As you all float down very gently, um, there is a... <laughs> There's a sort of like, there's a sort of peace and tranquility to the area as you, hold on, let me, this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You float down and Riddle's like, oh, you think Basil's okay? Yeah, she's, she's tough. Thanks for carrying me, by the way. Oh, Riddle That's like okay. works around. Yeah, I kind of forgot I was carrying you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, hmm. It almost seems like as you float down, there's an anima supporting the pair of you as you flutter back and forth, and she's like, Well, it seems like we're fine. I... <laughs> Thanks. As always, Willow. You know I'm always there for you. It's my friend. <laughs> Brilliant smile as you two. You two have a moment, and the rest of you just kind of run basically yeah. crater. <laughs> you, you look... You, <laughs> you, you, Willow and Riddle look, and there's just like there's just like a, a gel left behind from Argos, a fucking ace-shaped hole in the ground. But Ace is up, <laughs> and over here there's a basil-shaped hole. But Basil did not get up. <laughs> oh. Argos takes uh, out another down. another reflection pipe bomb. Do I? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give her a give her a give her a douse of the sauce, I guess. All right, the new map. <laughs> Yeah. Boom. The pipe bomb detonates and Basil, you... B huh? <laughs> I knew mommy wouldn't let me die. 
I <laughs> looks over looks over to you, Argos, and is like, this feels like a really easy chance to say, oh, she's calling you mommy, but I don't. That feels inappropriate at the I moment. I get enough of that from chat. <laughs> 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 so, welcome back to the world of the living, everyone. Good job with your first Coda dive. That was really impressive work. No, I, I, I'd say I don't want to do it again, but uh, it's going to happen again. I mean, that's our job. That's signed up for. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, this is just the beginning. That was one Coden demon. One. <sighs> she likes size. It's not going to be easy, but I think, I think this is good. She sort of like smiles looking at all of you. Hmm. I mean, we made it out in one piece. Yep. And you all got your reflections, and everything seems to be fine. Yeah. Mike. Ugh, he looks at his reflection. I mean, he might get rid of this one, who knows. Mike kicks back up immediately next to you. It's like, uh, I've got a lot of reports from Dr. Verona, Opia, etc. Um, yeah, there's a lot of messages flooding in for you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let just, uh, tell them, uh, we select fewer fine. I do know if anything came in about the other people. Or enlist were discovered more recently than us. They were more worried because apparently they picked up our fall. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we're alive. We're, we're alive. Yeah. I mean, what's the worst they could possibly say about us? We heroically appeared over the city and defended it from a, from a robot and then fell. Heard a couple God. drones. Yeah, destroyed a couple drones. I wonder if that's going to come out of our paychecks. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not in it for the money. <laughs> Silence sort of spreads over the area for a second, and Riddle's like, hey, before we answer any... I'm going to send some messages. Let's just take a sec. She, like, yeah, moves yeah. over and lies down in the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll call our ride. Let me just... Uh, what Ace yeah. is going to do is he's going to call Seder and just be like, hey, dude, we need to pick up. <laughs> Oh, with your yeah. <laughs> it's faster that way. Yeah. I'll just uh, type into my channel and let chat know that we didn't die. <laughs> oh, Don't worry. I've got it covered. Hoggers didn't die. <laughs> Hoggers not dead. I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, what do you do now? We lie here uh -oh. on our backs. And we stare at we stare at the stars because we're lucky to still be living. I'm looking forward to water. That's yeah, can we get a pizza? Yeah, we can get a we can get a pizza. Oh, <laughs> uh, fucking uh, Ace realizes one of his hands is like fucking gripping that sword he had. He looks yeah. at it and he just fucking <laughs> chucks it in the water. You eat <laughs> it into the water and you see motes of flame disappear as it as it hits the surface. I hate that thing. <sighs> so. I guess I've got one last question for everyone. We're um, yeah. we're gonna be assigned together as a squad, so I think I'd like to know this before we move any further. I think I got a reasonable grasp on a few of you, but I think I'd like to hear the answer from your own lips. <sighs> Do you have a single dream goal or aspiration? Like, something that you're striving for? I want what's promised to me. You want what's promised to you? Okay. I don't know what that is, but I think I'll know when I get it. Do you want to find out what that is? Yes. I think that's part of getting what's promised to me. Okay. Uh, she smiles at that. She motions over to you, Ace, and then pats the ground next to her, and she's like, come on. All right. Come on, lie down. I. You can't hide that nosebleed from me. <laughs> It's you a nosebleed. Plop. It's not some sort of giant wound or something. It's not... I can just... Oh, no. It's just tissue damage to the most sensitive part of your head. Did you yeah. see something inappropriate? <laughs> That's not how it... I... It's not... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I... Yeah, so what's... Argos, you got a dream? Uh... That was a good deflection. <laughs> The name uh, of the show. <laughs> um, put on a, a a good show, I guess. 
<laughs> yeah. Reached well, a lot of done. people. Okay. That's simple. Uh, Willow? My dream? I mean... I guess my dream is to kind of save the world for a minute, and I kind of like this world a little bit. <laughs> save the world. Sparkles. <laughs> The reason I joined in the first place. Riddle offers you a very sympathetic look from the end of the line. Okay. No getting out of it. Pax you. Hey. Oh, I don't have a dream, but I guess my goal right now is to find my sister. Oh, solid one. Simple one. Riddle kind of goes quiet for a second. He's like, cool. Good. I think I've got a reasonable hold of you all now. So, um, from here on out, stands up. Pleasure to be working together. Yeah. Hold on hand. Wait. Hmm? Riddle. Yeah? What's your... Oh. Go on. She, uh, she's like, oh. Y yeah. Uh, yeah, what's <laughs> your dream, Riddle? <laughs> well, hmm. She sort of sighs. Uh... If this world refuses to change, then I'm going to change it. That's simple. I'm going to do my best to change it, and I might need to change myself in the process, but if this world is a truly cool, cruel place, I'll overturn that. So yeah, goals change the world. Pretty simple when you get down to it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the riddle I know and remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty cool dream. <laughs> Riddle's like, it's sort of similar to yours. Like looking over to Willow. <laughs> Different names for the same thing. If this end is foretold, let's push back against it with all of our strength. She like moves over and is like, I'm going to go buy you a water. <laughs> <laughs> and a pizza. <laughs> Why would you have to buy something? <laughs> oh, oh boy. She moves over to the vending machine and starts to dial in the numbers, and one by one, different lines flare in as your little group, beaten, worn, exhausted, arranges yourself around this tiny little park. All of you are covered head to toe in, well, wounds from the fall, and the glimmering lights of the city dance all around you. But even in this exhausted, worn down state, you look across the surface of the water and you see it reflected on all sides around you, like you're on the inside of the kaleidoscope. All of you city is bent into a large cone and you see how gigantic this world you're in is. On all sides, every single one of those lights, every single bit and moat of flame and spark is another person, another dream. All of these lights were kept on for someone. And tonight, at least for the moment, you make believe and pretend that they were left on for you. And that is where we'll end our very first session. What? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh. the, the reflection is real! The reflection is real! Can we get uh. much higher? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, everyone. Good fucking oh. session. Good set. Good set. So, that was um, amazing. Everyone asking, what was the final stat? Here's my homework for the cast. Uh, Come up with a stat related to that dream you just shared. Yeah. Uh, you knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate homework. Yeah, sorry. Welcome to the game that has homework. Um, everyone, Hi. thank you for joining. Thank you for playing. This has been a long mm -hmm. time coming. Get to do this again next week. Jesus yeah. Christ. Mm -hmm. But Holy we're shit. We liked it. We're we worked it. really hard on it. Please play. Yeah. Let me yeah. And, yeah. of course, I can't forget, not only is there fan art, I promised everyone something. What? I promised a reflection list. However, we're going to wait until after fan art for me to share it because I want everybody to stick around for fan art. Pay Scott. attention to the fan art. Pay attention yeah. to the fan art. We love it. <laughs> I. Hey, chat. You could be on the screen. You do. You do. I. So, uh, this fan art, this, uh, 
Imgur was put together by Lester 2020. Any of you who made art on this, don't forget, you can also tag this with hashtag reflection TTRPG on Tumblr or Twitter, and we may reblog or retweet this great, wonderful things you have made for us. Reblog. <laughs> reblog. All right. Uh, first off from Lester 2020, flexion touch screen. Yeah. <laughs> screen. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I got It's a mobile there, game. I'm screen sharing to you. It's a mobile game. Love it. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then uh, from Lester 2020, Inky's free. Yeah. Inky is indeed free. <laughs> yes, I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then uh, from Lester 2020. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Ruth, I'm going to be pissed if you die on me down there. Oh, pain. So I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll summon you back with my wizard powers and kill you myself. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fuck, pain. I forgot to mention Ruth at all this session. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, that's a that's a little treat for next. Oh, you and a character. Your dream. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then a character that didn't show up this session, Nekor twice. Oh, fantastic! You want yeah. to see that? Yeah. So many years. Twenty twenty. And then uh, <laughs> Willsy has made a uh, a track uh, which you can find over in the official Discord. Uh, just because we can't play it really on here. Yeah. But uh, check it out. Yeah. And then oh, Willsy's also made lyrics for it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, right. and next, ooh, from Miraculous Leslie, we oh, got an Ascalon. Love it. That's a character for later. That's a character. That's With a more surprise character for Stop later. teasing me. With more no. slugs. <laughs> it's like at the end of the uh, episode where they show the preview, and it's just like, yeah, yeah. next episode, uh, <laughs> different <laughs> characters. Na, 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 na. Oh, and Bummer. then from from B, we have some <gasps> oh, some. Oh. some oh. It feels so fucking bad. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. That's weird. Yep, yep. And then for me to have a funny joke. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. But uh, from BHP... It's a, it's, a, it's a reflection. Oh, I see. Oh! Oh, oh, oh man. That is a funny joke. Uh, from BHP with recognition. Okay, this is based. Reaction. <laughs> Rejection. Rejection. Reception. Reanimation. Repetition. Revolution. Our reflection. And then from Vanilla Sogolum, we got a roll. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. And from me, oh, jeez, that a fucking <laughs> anime? A fucking anime opening? Please God, dude. For the secret anime that was so fucking The secret anime opening that took me two weeks to make. Also, God. the images are on my Patreon HD wallpapers if you want them. Yeah, fuck, I God. You guys did it so own. good. And then from Starper, yeah. we have Willow. Oh. Finally got her. Yeah. yeah, the secret I, NPC. The secret, secret piece, not NPC, just a PC, man. Yeah, and then from Chad, step aside. <laughs> step aside. Step aside for the van NPC. Yeah. I'm losing my fucking mind. It's from Chad. Uh, next, yeah, from Dungeon Master Zero, OP is number one. Yeah, what a dream, what a, a Shmita dreamboat, dream as the can Shmita canonically dream. said. From BHB yeah. with Circuit, Circuit, Circuit. Uh, from Monster 2020. I'm a healer, but yeah, the Monado. Hold on to, hold on to that fucking Monado, everyone. Monado. <laughs> from South Frost, my legs first. <laughs> You guys, you guys, I forgot to give you your legs, and then you took it out on the boss. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, yes. More, more uh, music from Wolsey that you find in the Discord. Uh, if, if someone types exclamation point Discord in the chat, the link will appear. Wow. It's like magic. It's, it's robotic almost. <laughs> yeah, it's just the first base of fan art. Yeah. It has to be what you just did. Was the coffin <laughs> dance? dance. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, and then from Lester 2020, small Ruth with a gun. Oh, Every time I see Ruth. Who's yeah. that? Uh, who's heart. that? G I fucking Gaze. so 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 fucking basically I was saying I'm playing Ace. But it yeah, ran playing together. Gays. It's playing gays. And it's excuses. Freud <laughs> would miss. Yeah. I, I, before stream, I was literally just like, no one fuck up. No one fuck up. And I, I proceeded to fuck up the most in stream. Yes. Uh, from Vanilla Soul Gilm, yeah. Yeah, of course. 
Da, mm. da, 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 then, da, da, da. <laughs> VH Mima, don't make fun of people for liking the ocean. <laughs> uh, Ooh, yeah, God. from her uh, reflection comic start. Yeah. yeah. Buy Mike Schnasty meatballs, the most schmeated meatballs you'll eat. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is this is oh, lovely. It's the follow up to Queen's Watch comics, Tiny. <laughs> yeah, I can sell. Yeah, Bruce. <laughs> Uh, for, from Enid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then from Beach Oh, yes. yes, it can drift. Drift. <laughs> oh my God. And then oh, we have some more, so some more music tracks, which you can check out on the Discord from Wizzy. Yeah. Album. Yeah, and then from a uh, cookout trash bin. <laughs> Wait, fuck. Wait, fuck. It, it's shit so loaded. Dark. Shit loaded. So uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, movie star, we're gonna need your help. Really? Just got. Just to get a car unstuck? Yeah. Yes. I can't believe you uh, opened with Final Fantasy XV. Oh. Dude, I yeah, yeah. Oh. When the yeah, no. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, it's a Steptober prompt. Yeah. Yes. I, I look up a hashtag surprise Steptober on Twitter and you'll see a bunch of fan art from community event. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's from Pocky and then from Dungeon Master Zero. Yeah, look at them. Look squad, at all these. Squad, squad. Yeah, squad, 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 squad. And then, from Starper, a skeleton. Yeah. Oh fuck yes. God, I love Ace's design so much. I love the so coat. Good. And then from Enid, yeah, skirt. Skirt. Mm. And then, yeah, uh, from Lister Twenty Twenty, yeah, the Coda Demon. I'm glad, I'm glad the Coda Demon designs uh, hit with everyone so hard. They yeah. kind of they slap the two. All of them that we saw today were drawn by Brennan or Chad. I will say, yeah. Chad, Chad did the uh, Chad did the, ro the robot that you fought at the end. Brennan did everything else for the Code of Demons. Dang, Brennan, that's crazy. Damn, that's so Brennan. Cool. Yeah, and then from Bram, we got a oh! riddle. I'm yeah. in my best life right now. <laughs> then from Starper. <laughs> literally just, me. Ace was literally about, just screams. <laughs> Ace was about to suggest uh, Riddle slap her because that's what babies do when they're born. They scream. Would have been, that would have been the right answer. You slap the baby. Yeah. <laughs> Riddle like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> and from Fanoic, yeah! Oh, lovely. Extremely mm -hmm. lovely. And then, oh yeah, from Lizard 2020, <laughs> if Basil got rock, yeah. I wanted her to get the rock. And I'd never be able to beat paper. We all we all knew where it was going. Uh, then from Surfer, okay? yeah. She tries so hard. Yeah. And then from Radio. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, and then from uh, Mr. Glovet, we have oh. Willow holding up Aura and Riddle. Yeah. I love Watch that. Hands, pal. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And then from Dungeon Master Zero, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and then we got more music from Will Willsy, an Argos uh, Argos theme, preparing for stream, and then Reflection on a Fistful Lucy, uh, a Skeleton theme, yeah. And then Pure, yeah. No fucking... Those fucking Crunchyroll, like, videos that just spoil the shit for you, yeah. <laughs> and then from, oh, Lister 2020 Argos Facts, yeah. Nice yeast reference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting them to thank you, like yeah. like fucking Metal Gear Solid Five boss beating up the fucking guys on the oil rig. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and from Kyle <laughs> Trashman, just screaming. It's just screaming. It's only just screaming. screaming. Oh fuck! Reflection Comics hash number Among Us. <laughs> Rube, incredible. Rube, you're a hero. Nice. Sixty-nine. Yeah. If we start from here, oh yes, Mike. 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 <laughs> My god, Art, I'm psyched. Yeah, and then from Bidok, we got a bit of Willow. Yeah! Oh. Mm -hmm. And That's then from the <laughs> Same. Oh, oh. And, and then from oh. Dungeon Master Zero, we got a, we got a twice. Hello? We got a, yes. Hello. Yeah. That's excellent. <laughs> Yeah, and then oh, we got it. Oh my god, that's so, oh, so good. Yeah, Riddle. And then a Sophie. Sophie. And then we got a Verona. Oh, I fucking love that. I, I, I love that. 
<laughs> and then we have an Ascalon! Yeah! 69 nice! <laughs> what? Oh, calls me. Oh, she's not well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then from, from Nazbury, we got a fucking yeah. list, hashtag list sweep. Yeah. And then, oh my god. Oh, ah, I am sated. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have oh. a, a riddle from Nessie, a new artist. Oh, thank, you. Nessie, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. And then from the token relief, yeah. <laughs> God, fucking. Yeah, he, he's so psyched he got a reflection that didn't kill him. It was just too heavy to lift. Oh, maybe, oh. maybe you should go go kill some bitches or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Spread from, from Brynn. I love this. Uh, the lift and throw gauntlets. Yeah. Oh, Hashtag another reflection. Feedback, though. Yeah. Huh. Wonder what. <laughs> What this one is? It was a Googer. <laughs> Googer feedback. Maybe it's so fucking funny. Oh my god. From Dungeon Master oh Zero. God, I'm living. Yeah, destroying the coffin. Holy um, shit. That was my bed. And then from Chad, yeah, yeah. the mysterious ah. eye creature will never see again. You will never see that creature again. <laughs> evil champ. <laughs> Some would call him a mastermind. <laughs> Some would call him a mastermind. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh hey, yeah! Okay. Everybody is rad your as hell. Yeah, long. God. Yeah, God. sticks out. <laughs> Yeah, and then from uh, BH Behemoth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, your weak point is the legs, and that's the only thing we're attacking. <laughs> yeah. Reflection coming, hashtag, oh god, the fire is leaking out, we need a bigger cup of water. <laughs> it's just <basil. laughs> Oh my god. He's just happy, like a fish. Yeah. <laughs> Healing pipe bomb. I'm from so BH happy BH with that. <laughs> And then from Nessie, okay. we got a basil! We got a basil! It's a reflection comic. Number, it can't turn- it can turn off into what? Uh, that's a pipe bomb. <laughs> that's a pipe bomb. The yellow means it's healing. Extortion! <laughs> fuck, let me- fuck. Oh my god. And then, oh, it's Mr. Coda! Oh, it's when Mr. Coda is attacked by the reflections! <laughs> yeah, let me refresh to make sure there's, a. Uh, Money. Oh god, this is gonna be a big scroll. You guys did so fucking much, Jesus it's, Christ. You guys are yeah, so totally. good. Thank scroll, you scroll, scroll, so scroll, much. scroll, scroll, oh scroll, 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 scroll
I hope you yeah. all enjoy. I hope you all yeah. enjoy. And remember, this is going to be happening next Tuesday as well. Next Tuesday! You can yeah. watch this every week. Yeah, every week. And also, tomorrow, this will be uploaded to the YouTube. So You can watch uh, it again tomorrow? Yeah, uh, and this is a very important <laughs> thing. Uh, and we're stressing it really hard with the series uh, compared to other stuff. Uh, share this around. Show your yeah, friends. Please. Tell your Show friends. Your just tell your mom. Uh, maybe she'll like it. Maybe she likes Re Shemita Dreamboat. I don't know your mom. Yeah. Maybe she's uh, a giant battle axe. Who knows? Maybe she's uh, fucking battle axe. But, you guys showed up fucking extreme. We had like 300 viewers at like peak for like oh, a oh. while. Right? That That's is indeed yeah. peak. That is a big fucking deal. And we even have 200 here for after fan art too. Holy you guys shit, did everyone. absolutely amazing. I like literally I don't think we'll ever get bigger than this but uh share around maybe we will uh, uh, everyone much, much higher, higher. <laughs> everyone has worked so fucking hard to the point we were like Jay was working up till stream like we had oh, last yeah. minute shit that was just like we were butts to fucking nuts oh, working yeah. on stuff I was uh, drawing icons last night. <laughs> to we, bring this to you, right? Uh, and if you want to support the show monetarily, which isn't necessary uh, because you just being here is honestly fucking big support, uh, check out the uh, Sentiment TTRPG Patreon. Uh, that is where uh, you can uh, get access at the $9 tier to the uh, Patreon chat where a lot of people talk about the show. Uh, maybe get some special peeks at certain things like characters that will show up in the future. Uh, and also just uh, buy Jay a burger. Uh, buy, me a, buy me a burger. Buy him a burger. Uh, oh, apparently there are two more? Question there mark? are two more? I mean, there's always going to be two more. This is a trick. <laughs> this is maybe. I don't, I don't fucking uh, know. This is a trick. Oh, uh, we're already. Well, we're, look, we'll, we'll, we'll look at them in the Discord. Uh, we already went through uh, fan art again and yeah, stuff no, like, you're, you're right, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're yeah, right. Like, it, once there's a point where it's just like we have to stop refreshing, so it's it just like, I'm sorry, right. but uh, yeah. Yes, thank you. We will react to it in the Discord. Y'all are the best. I, yeah. Please take a look at the reflections. Tell me what you think about them. Yeah. Throw out your whack theories. Mm -hmm. This game is game's going to be a weird one. You could probably guess. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, right? That's it. So, thanks again, everybody, for joining me. Thank you, Roma, for working your absolute ass off on this project. And, yeah. Um, I hope you all continue watching. I hope to see you next week. Yeah. Uh, good night. Good night. What? Oh, you're waving. waving. I thought you said wait. Okay. Later, everyone. <laughs> say bye. 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 -bye.